Why, hello. Also, I saw your channel point request go through, and I refunded it. And the reason why I refunded it is because you did it in the first frame of the stream, and the queue wasn't set up yet. You gotta give it a moment. <laughs> Literally frame one the stream, dude. What's the matter with you? Now I have to fix that for next stream. Now I figured out why this is broken. What's up with the 500% inflation? Chat wanted that. It was either get rid of it or do that. I chose to do that. Are you actually botting? I bet you're botting. Are you? You're botting, aren't you? Troy Tech. You frame perfect in it, dude. The queue wasn't even set up yet. It takes like a like a good quarter of a second when the stream starts up. Have to be botting. Yeah, you iframed it somehow. I'm botting? No, you're botting. I'm gonna be right back. Get my water, dude. I need to do the announcement.
Now it's been almost done. We have a special thing today. Special thing today. is out. We have a special stream today, chat. It's new. We have a new thing. Look, it's me. I exist. I exist. What the hell's going on at Apple? I don't know. They're pulling a Unity. <laughs> it's not the smartest move, but it is the move they're making. I'm waiting to see what happens with that. That's a weird one, man. Yeah, spoiling with special streams. Spoiling with special streams. Alright, so, today... Today at 6 a.m., we're doing a sponsored stream. That's right. No, not cooking today. Cooking is going to be in February, dude. It's in February. You finally finished downloading? How dare you? How dare you? But yeah, we're going to do a sponsored stream today. It's something that I haven't done in a long time, but it means Steets gets a lot of video. And we can do yeah, it's a sponsored stream today. We're going to have that. It'll be at starting at 6 a.m., so about five hours from now. So we're going to answer the queue, help some people out with things up until that point. Let me see if I got all my stuff set up. Do I? Do I? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, we're good. I think we're good. Think we're good. There we go. What is that? Wait a minute. What is that train doing? What are you doing? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. No, it's not Raid Shadow VPN, you goblins. It's in the announcement. It's not Raid Shadow VPN. Get out of here. <laughs> What's happening at Apple? They've changed their business model over. I need to read some more into it. I was talking to Theo early about it today over on Twitter. Really strange move. But it looks like they were going into the model of pay per download. You know, like Unity did. Because that worked out so well. Right? It's great. You love to see that. Let's watch as they light on fire and burn to the ground, is kind of how I feel about it. Who? Apple, my dude. <laughs> yeah. It's not really good. I'm waiting to see how it goes, because it's, it's not going to go well. Please, that'd be great. Well, I have a tweet on it. Where I talked about the dangers of this. Let me see if we can go find the damn thing. It's just, it's one of the... I don't know why this is sweeping the industry right now. I don't know why this is happening. Yeah, so here, we'll talk about it from here. Under Apple's new terms to the EU, this is from Theo, users installing an app now costs the devs 50 or like 50 cents in euro, right? For an app with 8 million installs, that's over $310,000 a year in fees, even if the app is free. I said, have they learned nothing from Unity? Let's say I have a, I'm a rival business and created a clone of your game. I want to shut you down. I set up a few servers that randomize hardware information and download your game millions of times. You're now out of a business, and I am no longer a clone. <laughs> now, each one of the installs needs to be an individually verified Apple ID for each download for it to count. This guy's totally right. However, there are farms for those. I could just hit up a shady company to do it, and they'll generate all those IDs for me. 
and we have the exact same goddamn problem. None of this is good. When the industry learns that pay it for install doesn't work, maybe this shit will stop. First Unity, now Apple. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's not the smartest move. Not the smartest move. Where's the Aussie hat for Australia Day? Actually, you know what's funny? I actually just ate Tiger Toast. So I I actually just got back from upstairs because I ate Tiger Toast. I um I put the toast in and I got Vegemite, put it all over it, and then I put cheese on it. It was delicious. It was delicious. I ate that for Australia Day. So yeah. Happy Australia Day. Yeah, I did. It's so good, dude. God. And I did it like stripes. Which is why it's Tiger Toast. Also, I made the toast too toasty, and now my mouth is ripped up like a, like I ate Captain Crunch, which is... I'm gonna be honest with you, it's... If you eat the toasty toast, and then your mouth gets ripped up, and then the Vegemite gets in the wound... It's rough. <laughs> so that was my day today. It's good. It's totally fine. Marmite is better? No. Ban that man. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's so good. Am I Australian? No. I'm here in the United States, dude. I'm the one American that likes Vegemite. Have I tried Marmite? Yeah. Way worse. I, I like Vegemite a lot more, dude. I just do. The flavor's weird. Vegemite's better than Marmite. That's it. I'm the one American that likes Vegemite. I know. I have. I actually just got three jars of it off of Amazon. I kept having to go to this this store. Like, this this one store to get it. Oh my god, you guys got it to round 10. Look at you. Also, thank you for the $25 to the mods. You rock, dude. What is Vegemite? It's uh, like a yeast extract spread. And it's basically delicious, frankly. Yeah. The only thing Marmite beats Vegemite in is sucking. Sorry, bud. Sorry. I mean, it's it's at least it's number one in that. You know? It's number one in something. Not my fault. It's not my fault. Can't blame me for that, dude. I need to try Bovril, actually. So, everyone kept talking about Bovril. I thought I had tried it, but I hadn't. And I want to try it, actually. I need to get a, a jar of it. You're not American is clearly ruse. No, I'm American, dude. I was. I grew up in California. Why do you think I call everyone dude? Have you tried putting Vegemite in your soups? Yeah, it's actually really good. Like, as an extra, like, soup additive, like a soup base kind of a thing in there. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Try fairy bread? I want to. But I'm gonna be honest with you. You guys call it hundreds and thousands? Those are just sprinkles. They're just sprinkles. <laughs> I have Tim Tams. I've done a Tim Tam Slam. I have Milo in my house. I've done a- I've done a Tim Tam Slam where you- where you drink the Milo through the Tim Tam. I've done the whole thing. That's delicious. I like Milo because it turns into a brownie. I like hot Milo, I like cold Milo. I like uh, Ovaltine because it melts into it. So I drink that sometimes. De depends on what I want, right? What's a Jimmy's? What are Jimmy's? Explain this to me. Hundreds and thousands of the round ones. Sprinkles of the cylinders. Here in the United States, we call both of those sprinkles and we eat them by the fistful. Yeah. We actually sprinkled them on our Big Big Mac Mac. If you haven't seen that yet, it's the Double Double Big Mac. Have you seen that? Yeah? We put the sprinkles on that. We're American. Normal tradition. Yeah, it's normal. Just a guard, thank you for the $15 to the mods. You rock, dude. Wait, wait. Who here hasn't seen the Big Big Mac Mac? Who hasn't seen that? This is real. They, they made this. We're calling it the Big Big Mac Mac. But it's actually just the Double Big Mac. That's true. Look at- look at it. It's real. That's real now. That's real now. So, if you don't call this the Big Big Mac Mac, you're doing it wrong. That's what that is. It's incredibly American. It's the most American thing that exists. All you have to do is do like a honey glaze on it, cover it in sprinkles, dip it in chocolate, cover that in butter, cover that in, in like... I don't even know, like at that point, deep fry it. You know? Put it on a stick. Put that in a bucket. And then eat it with a spoon. America. 
That's what we got. That's what it is. That's epic meal time, too. It's true, actually. Thank you for the $10 to the moderators. Very nice of you, dude. You rock. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of want one, and I can't even eat the buns, technically. Gross. I'm, I'm going to have to eat it. You know that, right? Like, I'm going to... I'm going to have to eat the Big Big Mac Mac. I can't not try the Big Big Mac Mac. I don't want to, but there's a part of me that needs to know. It needs to know how much I'm going to shit after I eat it, because that's all that can happen in that story, is shitting yourself afterwards. The amount of grease involved in that, there's no other way. There's no other ending to that story other than shitting yourself. Like, there isn't. That's... It's horrific, frankly. Yeah, the biggest Mac, dude. Big, big Mac Mac. That's what it is. Terrifying. I wonder how much it costs. I bet it's over $10. I had a funnel cake burger in Florida. Gross. It's so America, dude. Oh, it's so gross. I know, I have to eat pizza with a controller fork. I know. I gotta find a controller that looks like a fork, dude. Have you tried the McNet code? It's so gross. It's gotta be over $10. What a ridiculous cost for that. King Reacher, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. What a boss, dude. I gotta start getting through this queue. Through the queue! Alright. I think I've got everything set up. I think we're good to go. We've got all of our stuff ready for the sponsored stream later today. I have all of these things. So many things. Should be fun. Should be fun. How are the timelines today? Well, I exist in all of them, so some of them suck, and some of them are great. This is one of the good ones, though, so congratulations. Yeah, we have a sponsored stream later today. Look at the announcement on Discord. I'm going to be sending out a tweet on Twitter once we're ready to do it, which will be fun. Let me actually grab that out right now. Oh. Oh, another $20 to the mods. Thank you very much. Oh, God, I have so many tweets. That's working in. And including this. I think I've got everything that we need on this. Linked channel, thing there, bop, 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 boop. All right. We're doing it. Give me just a moment. I've saved all of my lunch money from the past month so I could afford the Harbaugh demo. It's free. The demo is free. Did you know that? I rolled today? Maybe. Uh, at 6... AM PSD. We're going to be going and doing a sponsored segment of the stream, which will be fun. It'll be a lot of fun.
Boop. All right. The hype train. Wait a minute. Have, have you guys seriously not stopped the hype train? Is it still running? You absolute madlands. Is it still actually? Is it actually still running? You complete. And then no, no. You already have the world record. Don't do it. Don't the Q. The Q. They it can't even take it. The Q can't even take it. No. I can't even see it, by the way. It doesn't show up for me. The UI is completely broken. It was very funny. Thank you for those gifted subs. My God, dude. That's incredibly nice of you. And happy Australia Day to our Australians. And thank you for the $20 to the moderators in that same way. Australians, happy Australia Day. I did, in fact... I did, in fact, have my, my Vegemite. I should have taken a picture of that. I was just... I wanted to eat it so bad. <laughs> I wanted to eat it so bad. That I just didn't take a picture. You know what I'll do? How long? How much longer is it Australia Day? How much longer is it Australia Day today? Also, I want to let you know, you guys got to level 12 hype train and it ended, and it just told me that I received a level 3 hype train emote. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't understand. I got 4.5 hours left. All right. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run upstairs. I'm going to make Vegemite toast. I'm going to show all of you. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to post it on the internet. Give me a moment. Just give me, just give me one moment.
All right, chat. I'm back. I have your picture. Wait, what in the name of science is happening? I'm going to post this on the old Twitter, dude. I'm gonna post it for my phone actually. Posting for the phone sucks. One moment. Oh gosh, delicious. Oh gosh, delicious. It's everything I wanted to be and more. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's so salty, dude. You can say, ew, no, all you want, man. That's good as shit. Can to share? Nah, it's already half gone. Delicious, dude. Yeah, it's cheese on it. There's so much. That's how I like it. That's how I like it, dude. Yeah, look at you. Look at all you weak, weak chatters. Look at you like, oh, oh, it's too much. Oh, oh no. Oh no, spread it thinner. Oh no. No, if you can still see the toast, you haven't put enough on. If you can still see the toast, it's not enough Vegemite. That's how that shit looks, dude. Delicious. Delicious. See this spot right there? I can kind of see the toast through it. I failed you. Rest of this, perfect. That spot, weak. Weak. Damn right. Damn right. Just eat straight from the dark jar? I do sometimes, actually. Every once in a while, I'll take out a spoon, and I'll take some of it out of the jar, and I'll just eat it, and I'll walk away. And Shay makes this face. It's a very specific kind of face. It's a face that isn't made at any other time, ever. It is the specific, why are you eating the Vegemite out of the jar with a spoon face? And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that being a unique and strange face. You can say you all you want, man. There you go. Is this your breakfast? Thor dinner, dude. 100% Thor dinner. Happy Australia Day, everybody. Mm, your tiger toast for it looks very nice. Thank you. I used really sharp cheddar because I like sharp cheddar. You need help? No, I think I can eat this on my own. I don't think I need anyone's help. It's almost gone. And it's gone. You Australian? No. I'm American. I'm just one of the better ones. <laughs> Evolved American. That's right. Try Marmite? I have. It's not as good. It's weak. I'm an American that's not afraid of yeast extract, dude. Yeah, exactly. Not a coward. Why isn't it as good? Because it's bad. Oh, look. Bezos is excited about the Tiger Toast. Look at that. Look at him. He's so excited right now, dude. Look how excited Bezos is. Look how excited he is. He even wants my Marmite. 
Oh, not my Marmite, my Vegemite. I was thinking about how bad Marmite is. <laughs> Dude, my mouth is so full of Vegemite right now, it's great. The one thing that I like about Vegemite is the flavor sticks around. How dare you? How dare I what? Marmite is as strong as light beer with ice cubes. I wouldn't know. I'm allergic to hops, man. That's the one thing I can't do. The one Australian thing I can't engage in. I can't have beer. That's so much Vegemite? Yes. It's not so much Vegemite. It's the right amount. It's true. How allergic I get covered in hives. Which is not the best. It's actually the worst, frankly. I do this thing where I get covered in red patches of itchy garbage. Yeah, it sucks, dude. It's really bad. My dad's allergic as well. It's genetic. There's nothing I can do about it. Alrighty. I have returned. It's time to do the queue, but we have to wait for Lord Bezos to leave. Whew. Whew. What's the trick to only sleeping f five hours? Eating Vegemite. That's the trick. You're welcome. How could you use that much Vegemite? Pretty easily, actually. It's pretty easy. Like, first, if, if you'd like to know how to use that much Vegemite, first you need to get a knife. Uh, then you need to put the knife in the Vegemite. Then you need to not be such a bitch. Right? That's, that's part of it. That's actually the third step. Then you put it on the toast and you eat it. Yeah, that's... I know. I know, it's difficult. It's difficult to understand. I know, I know. Yeah. Using your spoon works, but then it's hard to spread it. It's hard to spread it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start the queue up. Is this gonna work today? Adorkably Autumn with 500 bits said good morning again, you beautiful man. Good morning. Good morning, chat. That's all I got. I hope everyone has a great day ahead. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. You're awesome, Autumn. Thank you. Seriously. Spiridon FL with 1000 bits said Thor, thanks to you and your support for this community, I'm down to 11 hours out of my 72 hour stream while working on my Zig WebAssembly HTML video game. That's cool. Don't worry, I took some short naps. I'm all right. I've made it way farther than I thought I could and I've redirect all the attention to other fellow devs on this category who are working Dude. hard on their projects too and deserve way more attention than me. In no small part, you inspired me to do this. Thank you again. Dude, that's really awesome. I'm really glad that our categories like kind of banded together to support each other. One of the things that you find really quickly about Twitch is that if you are supporting other content creators in here, they end up supporting you back. The more that you share, the more that you show your audience that they can talk to other people, the more that they interact with each other, the more everybody, you know, everyone's channel grows and people find places they want to be. So like if you, for whatever reason, get bored of watching me or don't want to watch me, there's a ton of other creators on here to watch and it's rad as shit. So like, yeah, do it, do it. Vegemite emote? I can do that. You know Vegemite's in Champions of Breakfast, though. Do you consume any caffeine? No. Water, orange juice, and chocolate milk. That's pretty much it. I like it. Yeah. Vegemite burrito? Yes. I could do that. I think it'd be good. I, I feel like it could... I feel like it could make that work. Yeah. Is that... Here's, here's what I want to know about the Vegemite burrito, alright? If we're going to take Vegemite... Would you just take the entire jar and just put it inside of a tortilla? Like the only ingredient is is Vegemite? Is that just one jar in a tortilla, right? Isn't that how that would go? Okay. 
Because that would be a Wellington. No, I don't think it'd be a Wellington, because Wellington has to be fully encapsulated. Wait a minute. What if? Okay, hold up. What if we took an entire jar of jet Vegemite, right? And then we put it in the center of a Wellington. What if the, the core, instead of meat, was Vegemite? See? Now it's delicious. With the plastic jar? It's glass. What? Plastic jar. Glass jar, dude. You bastard. <laughs> That's ravioli. Yeah, a ravioli is in fact a Wellington. That's true. What's Vegemite? Is it Marmite? No, it's better. They're different. How are you under something similar? To no, I'm not going to stop. Is that you under Mr. Stroming? That's not true. <laughs> Vigenton, dude. Grim underscore cynicism oh. with 500 bits said there is no truth in flesh, only betrayal. There is no strength in flesh, only weakness. There is no constancy in flesh, only decay. There is no certainty in flesh but death. Praise the Omnisire, praise the motive force, praise the machine god. Thank you. Praise the Omnisire, indeed. Vegemite is ravioli, if you're brave enough. What about Vegemite brand Pop-Tart, right? Like a Pop-Tart where the center is Vegemite? I'd eat that. I feel like I'd eat that. What about Vegemite Hot Pocket? Where the inside was just Vegemite and then you like put it in the microwave and then it came out like... warm? I mean, we're just... We're just spitballing ideas here, you know? And if corporate America wants to serve a growing market. We do exist. I will buy that item. I may even eat it unironically. We'll see. We'll have to see. Who made you this way? You did. This is your fault. You made all of this happen. This is 100% on you, man. 100% on you. You did every bit of this. I'm like a weird, shitty Captain Planet that you summoned into the internet. You can't blame me for this. That's you. Heated yeast? Isn't that basically the start of booze? I feel like if you heated... If you heat Vegemite enough, it turns into a liquid. So it would basically just be like... You'd have to... You'd have to take the Hot Pocket, peel the, the end off of one side, and then drink it. You just drink, like, warm Vegemite out of it, right? It's gonna leave that image with you. Who introduced me to Vegemite? I think what introduced me to Vegemite originally was the internet, where people were talking about how disgusting it was, and I was like, what's it like? And they're like, it's like it's like eating a boot that you have liquefied, and I was like, that sounds ridiculous. I have to try that shit. So then I, I found it at a store. There was like an international store, and I, I tried it, and I was like, this is really good. And all my friends were like, that's disgusting. You're disgusting. I was like, no, I actually really like this. <laughs> that was it. I was like, all right, yeah. It's mine now. Try New Zealand Marmite, I dare you. I've had Marmite before, and it's not as good. I'm sorry that I choose Vegemite over Marmite. I've had them both. I've never had Bovril, though, so I gotta try Bovril now. You know? We're gonna go back to the normal music playlist now, though. Thank you very much for that hype train. That hype train was enormous, by the way. Wait, not that one. It makes me feel like the stream is starting. There we go. That's fine. One man's trash is, trash is another man's Vegemite. I don't think so. I think Vegemite's a treasure. And some people just don't have the mental fortitude to realize this fact. That's all. That's all it is. P.O. Box is exclamation point P.O. P.O. Box, I think. Might be exclamation point P.O. Box to give it to you. Are you an Ovaltine man? Damn right. Love Ovaltine, dude. Abyss Dark Star with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, greetings hey. from Wales. Mm. Love your content. As a full-time software engineer, I'm really struggling with motivation to work on my game at the moment, but okay. your content is slowly helping with that. Good. Speaking of your content, hearing about your recent experience with the mail inspired me to make this as notice board clutter for my next D&D or Pathfinder campaign. HTTPS colon slash slash imager dot com slash a slash Isagal Yar cheer 500. What is this? Pathfinder Parcel Force. We at Path... Oh, this is cool as shit, actually. I really like this. 
Dear valued customers, we at Pathfinder Parcel Force must regrettably remind you that packages need to be correctly addressed to be delivered. In order for an address to be valid, you must use the recipient's primarily, or primarily give or arcanely registered name, as well as their country and or province. Pseudonyms such as Snuggle Muffin, <laughs> she who should not be named, and Thor Goblin Lord are not suitable. And our druid carriers will be unable to deliver your package. God damn, people send... Dude, people send me mail all the time that's named, like, to the Thor the Goblin Lord. And then I have to go up to the USPS and then tell them, Hey, I'm here for my mail for, like, this thing. And it said that there's, like, a note in here. And they're like, yeah, are you Thor the Goblin Lord? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And they're like, do you have an ID with that on it? I was like, no, I... No, I don't. I'm sorry that they labeled it that. I don't have an ID that says Thor the Goblin Lord. And then they're like, well, you need to get them to stop doing it because we'll have to hold your mail. Like, you have to stop doing it. You have to. They're going to they're gonna return your packages. They're going to do it. And there's not anything I can do about it. God damn it. I'm not getting an ID that says Thor the Goblin Lord on it. You have to stop doing this. People have actually... Dude, people have not just put Thor the Goblin Lord on it. They've put, like, Lord of Farts. They put Goblin King. They put, like... Throngus and like all kinds of weird shit on them. You have to stop doing it. The, the USPS, the United States P Postal Service, is getting irritated at me. A, f a federal agency is mad because you are putting weird names on the packages. You have to stop doing it. You have to. Oh, speaking of weird packages, you guys want to see something cool? You guys want to see something neat? Who wants to see something neat? It's neat. Let me go grab it. One sec. I have a fancy piece of paper that got absolutely destroyed in the mail, and I've already let them know, so they can send me a new one, hopefully. <sighs> but it says, you did it. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Congratulations. You may have started with just a few viewers, but your voice, passion, and creativity have now touched the lives of people around the world. Let's stop that for a moment. And the community you've built is enriched by the stories you've shared as you bring people together. To honor this milestone, we're proud to present you with the Gold Creator Award. We hope this special recognition will remind you how much you mean to so many. Every day, you are redefining how content is created and watched, one voice and one video at a time. It's a privilege to be a part of your journey. We can't wait to see what you do next. Sinc sincerely, Neil Mohan, YouTube CEO. And this is dramatically larger than the silver play button. There it is, the gold it's huge, actually. It's enormous. Also, I got the other two silver buttons. And if you look really closely, if you look really closely at the gold there, I don't know if you can see it, that bastard meatball stepped on it, and there's now cat prints on the mirror. <laughs> and I just noticed this right now. God damn it. God damn it, meatball. Yeah, he's, he stepped on it. His little oily feet, dude. Leave them there? I will. I'll leave them. I won't leave them there. I won't. How dare he? But no, this is, um... This is cool as shit, man. It's really, really cool. And, um... I've ordered two extra ones for our, our editors. And I have their two extra silver play buttons now. So we have the two extra silvers for them. And, uh, eventually the two golds will arrive as well. So, that'll be a thing. And I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, you can order extra ones for the editors. You only get to do it once, though, so if they get lost in the mail, I'm screwed. So I'm gonna send them, like, 
like FedEx and like all the, the stuff on it. When do I get mine? Well, Alka, unfortunately, you're not one of my editors, so. F. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down. Where am I gonna put this thing? It's enormous. Let me actually grab the silver one, one sec. I was... I was legitimately expecting... I was expecting these to be the same size. So I was like, oh, I'll put them on the wall, and it'll be fine, right? Because, like, they'll be right next to each other, and they'll be the same. Yeah, no. This is the silver one. And then... This yeah, is the gold one. And if I move the microphones so you can actually see them, they're dramatically differently sized. So, it's a whole thing. It's a, Now I don't know how to put them on the wall. I don't know what... What am I... What do I do with this? <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to put them. Because it's enormous. Make a shrine? Yeah. There we go. YouTube shrine on the wall. So I have to find somewhere to put it. I don't know where that's gonna be just yet. Yeah. I have a hallway for awards, but these are too big for the hallway now. So maybe you have to put it on the other wall in the hallway. I don't know yet. But yeah, it's like two and a half times the size, dude. Yeah, their first letter came like this, right? And the second letter came like... This. So, I reached out to them like, Hey man, can you... Can you give me another, like... Piece of paper? Because I want to frame that, and it's destroyed. <laughs> so hopefully they'll do that. Yeah. How does it even happen? Well, they had it... Basically, they have the entire thing in, like, a thin piece of cardboard around the entire, like, award. And then that was it, right? That was all it was. What are you talking about, Little Ham? Who? What? What? What's going on? What's happening? Silver and left, gold in the middle. I'm in a room for the next stuff. I mean, I guess, dude. Oh, Moo Hoodles. Okay, you just said Moo. I was like, that could be a lot of different Moos, man. How's it going, Moo Hoodles? By the way, I need to go pull this up. Uh, what is it called? We're almost there. 318 of you have already submitted. You have 16 hours left. I'm proud of each and every one of you. And I hope, even if you think you're not going to win, that you submit anyway. There's a game jam. You've, you've missed it. There's going to be another one in six months. Don't worry. There is a secret prize. The secret prize will be announced in 16 hours. Or when I stream tomorrow. One of the two. Depending. Depending. Is 11 hours enough for me to make a game? Technically, yes. We had a working prototype for Champions of Breakfast in six hours. So, you can do it. You can. It just might be a little difficult, you know. Might be a little tough to do that. I work at FedEx in Washington. I work on one of the two as one of the two sorters. So there's a fifty percent chance I'll touch your play button box. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I should put your name on the outside and then write smells next to it. Just Karkic smells. That's what it feels like. I f I feel like that would probably do the best. You know, I might just do that for you. <laughs> but that'll be the bait package. Yeah. It's important. Have you ever grown a beard? I wish I could. I've grown what some people would make fun of on my face, but I've never grown a beard. Yeah. Yeah, it's grim. It's grim. So I'm going to edit the jam real quick. We're going to be adding some new some new people to it. We're having some new judges. So give me just a moment. 
I've got all this stuff written out for them. And Mahoodles is now a judge. Mahoodles, say something in chat. New judges, I bet they're cute. Whoa! Sounds, sounds, a, could be possible. It could, it could be, that may be true. That might, that might be true. Banjo is pretty cute, that is true. Shame about the worms, though, to be honest with you. Big shame. I'm glad that I can just type Moo into my browser and it auto-completes as your channel. There you go. New judge for the jam. There you go. And I think... I think that's everybody for now? Watch as I accidentally put Ludwig on twice. Nice. As you do. Okay, we're gonna take this throw this up into the Game Jam stuff. And I think we now have enough people judging. I don't think we need any more judges anymore. I think we're good. I'm gonna look at this. We're gonna look at voting criteria. Everything there is good. We've got judges of Admiral Baru, Baju, Co-Carnage, Doig Swift, Excessive Profanity, In-Game Asylum, Kit Boga, Ludwig, Muhoodles, and Pirate Software. The moderators are not on this list. This is all the streamers involved. We've got moderators are already all set up. Felix is set up as well. Two Ludwigs in a trench coat to make him normal person height. That's rude. How dare you? Although it may be true. How tall is Ludwig? I've never actually met Ludwig. I don't know. I don't know how tall he is. Is he tall? He's four feet tall. Hmm. I need the rolls in the Discord. Oh, you actually had to say something in there. One sec. Oh, you did. Roll. Wait, I gotta click on your name. Oh. Judge. And now I delete the message. There you go. There's a special channel in there so that people can't accidentally give out the, the invite for that. Yeah. He's a, is he actually five foot five? I'm six foot two. I think. I think the one thing that I'm going to find the most interesting of going to the Stream Rewards is finding out the true height of the other people that stream on this platform with me. Because <laughs> I'm six foot two, and I'll be and I'll be able to find out. You know, I'll be able to find out. I think the the one person that I've met that I was very surprised about that I've seen was Doctor Disrespect because he's he's actually if you take like a normal human being and then you put him in Blender and you just scale him up because like he's he's like six foot eight or something ridiculous. He's enormous. And he's perfectly proportional enormous, which is rare. Normally, it'll be like, oh, they got like really long legs. He's just a perfectly proportional human being, but giant. And that's it. That's all it is. Please don't put people into Blender. I mean, they did. They just dragged the top right corner. It was insane. He's huge, dude. Like, he's actually enormous. He's half giant, yes. Get to meet all the VTubers. Nice. That's, that's, I think that's one of the scariest things if you're a VTuber. How do you go to events? I, I bet there's a lot of, like, worry and fear about revealing yourself at an event. You know what I mean? If you're a VTuber? Yeah. A printed mask? I think that's always, like, a big fear. I can, I can understand that. They don't? Yeah. Telepresence robot? That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, next. The amazing Lord Milo with 500 bits said hello, Pirate Father. It's me, the guy who normally begs for jam. You oh. gave us a jar in the Game Jam announcement channel on the Discord. Yes. Anyway, last stream I mentioned I was 6'6 six six and you asked what it was like seeing the top of the shelves at the grocery store. It's not that bad. The real crime is the top of the rims of door frames, the amount of dust up there could kill a number of toddlers. That's true, actually. Um, I routinely clean the top of my doors in my house, like, once a month. Because it's gross. You have no idea how gross it gets on top of the door. Even at six foot two, that bothers me. You know what else bothers me? If I'm too excited going down the stairs, there's a spot of my ceiling that's just a little bit too low, and I have smacked the shit out of my forehead on that multiple times while going down the stairs. Feels bad. 
If I was an inch taller, it'd be so much worse, though. So much worse. Foam padding? I probably should. Yeah. I might have to put a cushion on it, dude. Put a pool noodle there? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Pool noodle is probably the easiest choice. I regularly hit my head in, through secret doors and escape rooms. That's right. Now, Crux, you're, you're also a giant. I understand. Traveling in planes sucks. Yes. I'm gonna have to do that soon. I'm not looking forward to the plane. I hate, I hate planes. Oh. Oh. It's, it's gonna be grim. I don't like planes at all. Chris R34444 with 10,000 bits said from Bloody Pizza 17 and Chris R34444 thank you Thor for being your awesome self. We are submitting our game today and this has been an awesome ride for these two weeks. We learned how to actually work on Unreal and ASAPRite and the difference in two weeks is actually incredible and it lets us know that we can do this. Yes. Seriously thank you and here's to the future. That's why I run these game jams. Exactly what you're seeing right now is exactly why I run the game jams. People given an opportunity to learn in a short period of time, learn so much. Two weeks is, it may seem brief, but you can learn a ton if you are focused during that time. And given a task like this, you're absolutely focused. So I'm glad you did this. I'm glad you learned a bunch of stuff and I hope you keep making things after it. Yeah, 100%, dude. Forgotten Feces with 500 bits said hello Goblin King. I joined the game jam. Turns Ooh. out I know nothing about making games. Can That's I fine. buy the Heartbound demo for $77 and submit that instead? The, the Heartbound demo is free. It's free, you literal goblin. It's free. Why are you like this? Oh, by the way, um, I have to, I have to announce this. It has, it has finally opened. Are you ready? The streamer awards are now open. You can now actually vote for the streamer awards. You can, you can vote for my ridiculous face. Here we are. There we go. You could vote for me. For software and game development. Oh god, I clicked off of it. Please, please, the one pixel, please. I just need there we go. There we go. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. I actually put out a rundown of all of the people that are in this category too. Um I was talking to Code Miko a bit. She's super nice. I've never had the chance to talk to her before, and she's very, very nice. Let me pull this up. So I wanted to show this off because this is kind of a breakdown of all of the streamers that are in here. Um, I am I think the thing I'm most proud of, whether I win or lose in this, I'm most proud of the fact that not only did we build this category for everybody, like the whole game development community came together, we're now getting recognized as a category. The fact that there's a software and game development category is awesome as shit. It is huge, not just for us, but for everyone who comes after. And I'm very, very excited for that. I think it's I think it's amazing as hell. So yeah, so I gave a rundown of all of the streamers that are in the category. Um, so Code Miko, there's me, there's Doug Doug, and there's Vidal. Even though it's supposed to be Vettel, but <laughs> Nero Sama calls Vidal all the time, so it's fine. But uh, just kind of a, a rundown of all of their content, a little bit of of what they do, and I think that's that's something that's rad as shit. So this is this is my showcase of everything that they are doing, so that you guys can make a choice. Of who you want to vote for, even if it's not me. I, I want you to vote for somebody. And it's it's important because this is a big moment for the software and game dev community. This is, it's finally, finally we are real on this platform. And not only do we have a category, but we're being recognized by the greater streaming community, which is awesome. It's awesome as shit. And I, I, I can't be more proud of it. So, hell yeah. Absolutely, hell yeah. And it's not just these people that are, that are you know, pushing this kind of content on this platform. There's a lot of people on there. And uh, I, I just think it's f fantastic, honestly. I really do. Is this Twitch or It's any, any streaming at all. And I'm streaming on, twi on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. There's about 5,000 on Twitch, another 1,000 another on YouTube. And Jeff Bezos is here. Jeff Bezos is also excited about the streamer awards, as you can see. Look how excited he is. Pogzos. Hello, Pogzos. Lord Pogzos himself, dude. So excited. We're so proud of you. Well, thank you. I'm only here because of you. So, I am... 
I am absolutely overjoyed to be surrounded by such awesome people and to have our category finally recognized. It's phenomenal, dude. Link for voting? Let me link it to you. Boop, boop, boop. Go vote. Go vote! There we go. All of chat is ruined by my spam. And the mods can do nothing. <laughs> I think we got it? No. More. Why do they call it laying off when it's actually firing? Uh, because of soft language. Unchained Diablo, raiding with a party of three. What's up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. Why do they call it taking a ship when you're actually leaving one? Same. Same problem, right? You actually take a shit? <laughs> I feel like that's a crime. I don't... I don't think it is a crime, but I feel like it... I feel like it should be a crime. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that should actually be a crime. Yeah. That's a crime now. I get to decide what's a crime, and that's a crime. Yeah. And making it a crime now? Thank you, Kronos. Resident lawyer. Creating it... You know, making it a crime. Legally. Good morning to you and good night to me. Well, you have a good night, Unchained Diablo, and thanks for the raid again, man. What life of the vice would you give to a younger person? Don't half-ass anything. It's really easy to half-ass stuff. But right now you have more energy than any human being known to man. And you should use that to augment your own future. Gain as much experience as you possibly can, as early as you can, because it's going to open up doors every day for the rest of your life. And then... Then you can half-ass everything, because you can be lazy as you want. Because you've get, you've opened all the doors, and your career is good, your life is good, and everything rocks. Full ass. Whole ass at all. Until you don't have to anymore. I'm gonna keep whole assing it, though, because I like the whole ass things. You get used to it, and then you just whole ass for the rest of your life. But then you have a good time, so it's fine. The whole ass. The entire ass, yeah. You make tests for your scripts? Depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes we do unit tests, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's not appropriate. Like, if I do a unit test, it's because I want to find out if the system's going to break in some way. Um, most of the time I have to do manual testing, though, because I'm doing a narrative RPG with thousands of routes, which means it has to make logical human sense. The dialogue does, not programming sense where it crashes or doesn't crash, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so I, I put out this, this write-up of all the creators that are on here, I'm going to link that out to you guys so you can learn about the other people that are on the software and game development section. And I I wanted you guys to find them because no matter who wins in this, all of us win. All of us do. The fact that the software and game development category has been recognized is a big deal. It's a really big deal. So, that's cool as shit. No, Code Miko's not a judge. What? <laughs> no. Code Miko is in uh, the software and game development category for the streamer awards. They're one of the people you can vote on. It's me, Doug Doug, Veal, and Code Miko. So all of the information about them, just comes some kind of snippets of them, I've put into this Twitter thread. Yeah. Yeah. Best wins are the ones where everyone wins? Yeah. Doug Doug said he can't wait to lose to you? What does that even mean? That's so rough, dude. No, Doug Doug stuff is really awesome, actually. Um, I've watched his streams. I didn't get to watch his streams very often before, but I started watching his streams since this. And he's funny as shit. I think one of the things that I really like is he tries to create scenarios where chat drives the stream, where he'll just make something. He's like, today we're going to play a game. And I made this weird programming game, and now chat drives the stream today. And it, it's just really funny. It's really funny to watch. It reminds me a lot of what Cardboard Cowboy does. Cardboard Cowboy tries to do it in kind of like a, a scenario in his universe, and Doug Dud just does it in like the most, I don't know, chaotic, ridiculous way possible, and I just think it's fun. Yeah. He makes a story in his YouTube videos. Yeah. It's very funny. It's very funny. Buy Doug Doug a big, big Mac Mac? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Code Miko. If you haven't seen Code Miko stuff, Code Miko actually is a 3D VTuber, but they have pushed that medium to like... Basically, just the, the limit of technology. 
they've pushed it completely to the limit of technology. It's she's insane, dude. Like 3D environments, fully mocap suit live. Like it's just it's insane to me. Yeah, the big big Mac Mac, dude. That's the that's the four patty Big Mac. The big big Mac Mac. You gotta use the words for each patty. That's how it works. Link to Code Nico. I already did. That's what this is, dude. Here. It's on my Twitter as well. There you go. Yeah, you can read about all the contestants here. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. Vote early. Vote often. Vote for pirate software. True. I mean I have to say it. I have to, right? This is the moment. It's a contest now? What's a contest now? This? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you ever think you'll tackle long form videos? I mean eventually, yeah. We're just gonna keep making tests and trying stuff. You said contestants? I mean they are. It's a contest, technically. Message is approved by Pirate Software. True. The Mac part is the patty or the bun of the cheese? Well, the big, big is the first two patties, and then the Mac Mac is the second two patties, is what that is. Planning to go to the awards? Yeah. I actually, um, I have a suit. The suit is ready. I have to pick it up this weekend, so I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. And, um, I'm going to be wearing a suit, but I've realized something. I forgot to buy shoes. So, I have black Converse's, and I wonder if anyone will notice. They're the same ones I've had for 10 years. <laughs> uh, no one will know. There's the only shoes I have. Ludwig will approve Crocs. I wonder if I could get some black Crocs. I feel like I could Amazon those in time, dude. I feel like I could. Sounds fine for a streamer word programmer. No, I'd have to have like programmer socks. I was actually planning. I have sh I have socks I'm gonna wear that are covered in aliens, so I might do that. Yeah. I don't see Kitbug on award uh, just chatting award voting. He's not on it. I voted for him, but he didn't. He didn't get the nomination. I hope. I was wishing he would. You know. Yeah. I did vote for. Where is it? Quackity, Extra Emily, Lethal Company, Alvius Sanctuary. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Ludwig. There we go. I voted for Cardboard Cowboy for League of Their Own. So, if you're out there, Cardboard Cowboy, I voted for you. And I voted for you because your content is unique on this platform. You make something that is as close to a live-action Adult Swim cartoon as the internet will ever see. It is the most bonkers thing I have ever seen in my life. And no other human being has built an infrastructure and system like you have. Also, your wizard is going to get you banned eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only if you keep letting me have him write poems. I was, you know... It's true. It's true. Stream of the year? Mm -hmm. I put Quackity for stream of the year. The The one reason why I ended up putting Quackity for the stream of the year was the SMP that they put together that has the, like, automatic translation to break down barriers between different global locations. That's incredible. That's really cool shit to me. Because it, it creates a, a bunch of individual countries that couldn't interact with each other that all loved the game bringing all of them together into one area where they can all talk to each other, that's incredible to me. That's a very big deal to me. So I voted for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's the QSMP thing. I voted for Quackity because of that. Because I, I think that's a, that's something that promotes interaction on a level that we haven't really seen a lot of the times. And so I voted for him for stream of the year, specifically. That, that kind of movement is... It's beneficial to every streaming platform. It's beneficial to every streamer that's involved. And it's beneficial to the overall Minecraft community because it removes those type of barriers in a very tangible way. And I think that's I think that's brilliant, frankly. Yeah, it's done so well, too. Yeah, no, I think it's brilliant. I think it was really, really well done. I think it's awesome as shit. So, yeah, definitely voted for him. Yep, 100%. Yep, you can eventually build a new Ferret Sanctuary with all the rewards and flags you're giving. Maybe. We'll see. I am going to be building the new Ferret Sanctuary, though. Best fighting game streamer? I don't watch fighting games, so I skipped it. What is my shoe size? I don't know, dude. Big. What's skeletonesis? That's when you pull a bone out of somebody's body. 
using your mind. You hear about the layoffs at Blizzard? Yeah, so to talk about that for a moment, because I knew this was going to come up today. I have a lot of friends at Blizzard. I, I have a lot of friends at Blizzard, and many of them got fired today. Many of them. Um, a lot of them didn't know that this was coming. They had no idea. It is really, really sad and shitty. Many of my friends that have been there for over 10 years were fired. And it sucks, dude. It really sucks. But the, the thing that you have to remember about this, while this is normal in the industry, there's something to understand about all of this, is that there's no, there's no regaining that kind of talent. You can buy new employees, but you can't buy new employees that have that kind of knowledge or that kind of direction for games. You lay off the creatives, it's over, dude. You'll never get them back. You won't. And I think that's something that's important. Yeah. Yep. Also, is that Simple Flips in my chat? Simple Flips, are you here? Are you here? Simple Flips. Shout out to Simple Flips, by the way. Good morning. Hey, Simple Flips, do you have a date? Do you have a date? I want to tell them. I want to tell them. But, I, but we need a date. We need a date. But I want to tell them. Yeah, actual shout out to Simple Flips. I'm putting you on the spot right now. I'm doing it. Putting you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to be do, doing something cool with Simple Flips. And he's on the spot right now. He's on the spot. We don't have a date. We're going to be doing something really cool. It's going to be really... The, all you guys can be involved. It'll be neat. It'll be really neat. Let me message you or something, by the way. I just messaged you with it. Simple flips. That's about the Riot layoff. It sucks. Um, I think that Riot gave the, the most generous severance package I've ever seen in my life, though. Like, the most generous severance package I've ever, ever seen, frankly. It is absolutely wild. Simple Flips, please ban Zaphiroth from your channel. Dude, you have no idea. One of my mods, Zaphiroth, he's been watching you for years. <laughs> if you banned him, it'd be the funniest thing on the planet. <laughs> he's like an he's like an old school Simple Flips enjoyer, dude. Yeah. He's I don't even know. Is Zaphiroth in the chat right now? I bet he's, if he is, he's vibrating in rage currently. Worst thing about the Riot Laugh is the unannounced survival game set in a new world. You know, you know what's funny is, um, they fired Riot. Riot fired a bunch of people and canned an unannounced survival game. And then Blizzard fired a bunch of people and they also canned an unannounced survival game. Hmm. Huh. Oh, oh, and also two survival games just came out, and a third one called Once Human is coming out soon. Pal World came out, and Shrouded came out, and Once Human is coming out soon. Could it be that the market is very saturated? Could it be? I mean, it could be. There's a lot of open world building, crafting survival games that seem to be happening all at once. I don't know what happened there, but the industry aligned on that subject for some reason. A little bit weird. What is this? What is this? What is this f false claim in the chat? Power World is now in trouble with a copyright lawsuit? No, it's not. Power World does not have a copyright lawsuit against it. Are you talking about the statement that Nintendo made? And you have somehow extrapolated beyond that, stating that it is now a lawsuit? Is that what you're trying to say? Or do you have proof of your claim? Are we just making things up on the internet? Is your source... That it came to you in a dream? See this? This is me waiting to find out if TikTok is your source. Yeah, 
thought so. Thought so. So let me show you something. I'm going to show you exactly what they stated. Because I've made a public notification about this. One moment. It is incredibly important for you to do research on the internet before you state things and show your entire ass. Remember, chat. Research first. Let me find this. Doop 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 ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop boop boop. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I have so many tweets today. I made too many tweets, Jet. I can't find my own tweet. It's a mess. My timeline is a mess. I had so many takes on the internet. I had so many pictures of ferrets. I like showing my ass. Well, there's a website for that, and it's not this one. I mean, you could do it here, but only once. Oh, here we go. I'm getting closer to it. I know it's in here somewhere. I don't know where it went, man. Anyway, Nintendo did not actually sue. Pokemon Company did not actually sue. Neither of them sued. What they said was this right here. And they said, we have received many inquiries. This is from the Pokemon Company right here. We received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. They didn't even name Power World, even though it's no, we know it's not. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets of that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and bring back the world to get and oh, work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Now, what does this say to you? Is this a lawsuit? No. This is them saying, we know, you've all kept messaging us, please shut up. We understand your fears, we have listened to all of your emails, you're sending us tens of thousands, please stop telling us about it. If we want to do something about this, we will. Please shut up, please stop. That's what this is. That's all this is. If they want to make a legal action, they will. And we know they've made a legal action, do you know why? Not against them. We know that they're aware of the situation through their legal team, we know. Let me pull this up. Do 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 ba do 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 Where is it? Where is it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I put Nintendo in friends. There we go. Someone said, I, I lost credibility for this. I said, I don't lose any credibility here. My stance is and always will be that Nintendo and friends are the rights holders here. And if they want to form a legal argument, then they should. Not the people on Twitter, regardless of their stances. This also isn't a lawsuit. It's a we're looking into it, which it would be absurd to think otherwise, considering who is involved. The only legal action taken was against a modder who actually put Pokemon into Power World using a mod. And all they did was DMCA claim it. That was it. They said, take that shit down or we're coming after you. And they're like, all right, we're taking it down. That's it. That's all it is. So, it's not a lawsuit. And a DMCA is also not a lawsuit. Stop spreading bullshit on the internet. My God. Why are you like this? Yeah. All right. Next alert. Killer Squid also, thank 2603 with 500 bits said, please ignore my message on Discord. It was important for me personally to send, but I'm not sure I actually want you to read it. Name on disc is Squid. Hmm. Hmm. You want me to ignore it, so you send me a message to ignore it. You know you can delete your own message, right? Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to ignore it. Now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? You will be permanently ignored. That's right. Actually.
Does that make sense, Simple Flips, by the way? Does that make sense? I've sent a bunch of things to Simple Flips. I wasn't joking, I wanted you to ignore the message, so thank you. Oh, now I have to read it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you've doubled down on it, now I have to. Now it's, now it's by law, I have to read this. Adventure Quest, I know what that is. Daphne, I've played that. I've played it. You know I used to play Adventure Quest when it was a Flash game? You know that? Hmm? Hmm? I won't read it on stream and I won't read it with audio. Yeah. Am I Ice Frog? No. Yeah, simple flips. Can I tell them this is going to happen now? Mm -hmm. I won't tell them what. I don't. Well, I won't tell them when, but I'll tell them that there's an event coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So, is this is this like a yearly thing that you do? By the way, simple flips. I don't know how often you actually run these. I've seen you run them before. I just don't know how often you do. It's three to four of them a year. Can you write up a description for them in chat of what it is? Simple Flips does the Simple Flips does a whole bunch of stuff around Mario and modding, like the modding community, and makes like just basically his community makes these wild ass mods and then he gets to play them. They're freaking rad, dude. They're really, really cool. And he does these events that are modding community events to try and encourage people to make hacks and mods of Mario 64. And it's awesome as hell. Yeah. It's really, really awesome. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to collab on this one. I want to help sponsor the event so that we can have even more people join in. I'm going to be announcing it out to our Discord as well and there's a whole lot of you. So cash prizes and stuff for it and we should have a blast doing this. Cuz I want I want to show you guys that there's a pathway forward for making games in the act of modifying games like this. Yeah, Mario 64 mods. It's really really cool. It's really, really cool. So, like, there's a whole section of the community for, like, modding games that wants to try these types of things, and Simple Flips is, like, the king of that in all of Twish. It's, like, the whole thing, dude. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be rad, dude. It's gonna be really, really rad. And he'll have all the details and, and stuff for this going forward. And, um, you said around March, yeah? So that'll be, that'll be really awesome, because there won't be a huge amount of stuff that we're doing during that one moment. So March is like a perfect time. And it'll it'll have enough downtime between the game jam and then. So you guys have time to recover is the whole idea. Yeah. I think it's going to be really fun. No, they've been doing it a lot. CZ Ghost. They've done it for a long time. The Mario the Mario modding tournament thing has been a long, long thing. Mario 64. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Do you remember the Voltaire Adventure Quest Worlds partnership? No. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Just the GDD need visual examples for each of the mechanics? No, it doesn't need them, but it's helpful. It's helpful. It's good stuff. Released last year in the NES? Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll look into it. I'll look into it, Taffy. Where did you come from? Love the content? The internet. I've been here for seven years. Mid-March would be the deadline. Oh, here we go. Mid-March would be the deadline. Like you said, romhacking.com hosts a competition where we try to get people into making a Mario 64 hack for the first time, and we play all of them on stream. Chat votes on them, and we pay out everyone who, who learns the basics just for participating. A lot of people end up taking the feedback and sticking around. Yeah, so everybody who actually submits something ends up getting part of the cash prize is the idea. It's not just like one winner, two winners. It's everybody wins and then there's tiers of prizes and everybody gets something, which is kind of a cool thing. So it's romhacking.com. You guys can check that out. And I guarantee, Simple Flips, just to let you know, now that I'm going to link this to chat, when I do this, the website will die. There are currently 7,000 people between both platforms. This is the website. You guys can go and check it out. Bookmark it if it dies. If it does go down, bookmark that. Because 
because it's good. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to the next alert. Did it not die? I'm impressed. Wow. The goblins weren't able to kill it. Rarity. 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 YouTube chat is breaking. YouTube chat is always broken. Not enough goblins. It'll die later. Is it down for you? Oh, it's... We spoke st too soon. Um, so, yeah. Just just bookmark it. Just just bookmark it, chat. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. It's it's just a little sleepy. It'll be fine later. You know, we'll just, just put that over there. And then it'll be fine later. <laughs> Happens every time. Yeah, bookmark it. Bookmark the site. That was a strong opponent. There were enough of you. There were enough of you to look at it. Are we your manual DDoS student? No, I just link you guys things that are cool and then it happens. No, it's back. Yeah, the page is back. It's already come back up, so we're good. You guys did... You you did what we call a hug of death. A hug of death is legitimate users that are actually interested in something. And then you guys load the page all at once and it acts just like a denial of service. It's called the hug of death. It's a normal thing. You're not doing anything illegal or bad. You're looking at a web page because the page is cool and you want to you want to be a part of it, right? That's all it is. That's all it is. It's normal shit. Yeah. Hug of death is crazy. I mean, it's that's welcome to the internet. If I wanted to start making games, where should I go to learn? Develop.games. It's a website that I make, and you can learn everything that I want to teach you here with no paywalls, no ads, no bullshit. Enjoy. That's yours. All right, next alert. Star play guest with 500 bits said Yashir 500 good morning Thor. Good morning. I have been semi holding off from playing PAL world because I thought it wasn't my kind of game and now I'm loving it. I'm yeah. also cheesing some PALs to attack each other so I can catch them. Yep. Now my centaur like question, what do you think the skeleton of a drider looks like? I mean it doesn't have one. It, it's a drider, I mean it would have... It would have an exoskeleton. I guess maybe the humanoid part of it would have bones, maybe? You know what I mean? Like, maybe... Because this is what a drider is. This part would be chitin. This part would maybe have bones? I guess it would have half a skeleton. But where does it terminate? Does it have a spine? Maybe this is jelly. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know where that spine terminates. I'm not sure. Do you think maybe the spine just floats in there? Too many questions. 09PETER with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm an Hi. indie filmmaker and together with an indie dev friend, we'd like to make a documentary about our local indie scene and its history here in Austria. Are there any particular things you'd be interested to see here in such a documentary? We have hmm. contacts to people who were there at the start, literally the 70s, and current developers, so we should be able to cover a lot. I think it's really important to cover not just making video games, but the kind of the mental of that. Any any type of thing where you can get their feeling at the time would be huge. I think that would be a huge thing because a lot of times get they get skipped over. A lot of people just want to focus on the technical aspects of that, but get their take on what it felt like to be there, what it felt like to make things when they failed, when they succeeded. That's a very important part of that. Yeah, very important. And we got an ad. We gotta wait. Jeff Bezos. What happened to the worm? Well, Jeff Bezos swooped in and slurped up the worm. Yeah. Yeah, devs have emotions too, and I think it's something that they gets missed a lot. Yeah, old interviews too. You know? Some people get ads right now. It's some people on Twitch side. I'm having a blast enjoying your shorts. Just wanted... But just enjoyed the entirety of your inscription playthrough. Oh, yeah, dude. Did you see the new one that we put up for, um, uh, Knuckle Sandwich? I have Knuckle Sandwich on now. Yeah. What did you miss? Jeff Bezos. You think ads are broken on Twitch? No, they're not. You just don't always get one. They ran out of ads. 
There's too many of you and too few ads. It's not even a joke, actually. It's called ad fill. It'll either not fill for your region because they don't have an ad to deliver to you, not fill for the time of day or your interest group or whatever it's going to be. If they don't have enough ads to deliver, you don't get an ad. And it's based on your region, so maybe there's not advertisers aren't interested in your region. It's kind of how it works. Is Knuckle Sandwich a card? What does it do? Knuckle Sandwich is a video game. It's an awesome video game, actually. There you go, simple flips. <laughs> oh, man. What song is playing right now? I don't even know which one this one is. This is Echo of Regretto, which is actually part of a secret area in Animus that is not implemented yet. You can technically... You can technically, like, glitch yourself into there? Well, not glitch yourself. You can, you can change, edit the save file to get into it. You can edit the save file to do it. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, for the $25 to the mods. Thank you very much. Also, good band, Little Ham. Good band. Proud of you. BB Jess, how's it going? Next. Capits on my back with 500 bits said, Good morning, Mr. Ultra Master Goblin. How did your day start? Hope you slept well, I finished my exams and oh god, how good does it feel you can't imagine. Have a great stream and get burgeoned. My day started 14 hours ago. That's when I woke up today. <clears throat> I'm going to have a really long day today and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep good tonight. My day started about 14 hours ago. I woke up, I had a meeting with the money people because we had to move a bunch of things. And then I had a meeting with the business people because we had to start the formation of the corporation. And then I had to go to... What was it? Was it UPS? What the hell was it? Where'd my brain go? I had to go to the UPS store because we found out that you can get a business location that is actually a UPS box. You can't use a USPS PO box for this, but you can use a UPS box for the location of your business. So we did that, which was great. So now I have a UPS box, and then I brought that back to the businessman. Then I had a meeting... I didn't have a meeting with. I had a meeting with one thing for an interview. So a meeting after that. And then I had another meeting that I was 16 li minutes late for. Like a dumbass. And I entered the call. And there were all these people sitting around, like kind of looking like. And I, because they were having a meeting with me and I wasn't there for 16 minutes. And I had to explain to them that I was doing all this thing and I had not been able to get back to my computer in time. And then I had a meeting with the mods, too. And that was the thing. And then after that, I had to... What, would I, what did I do? I took a shower. And then I ate Vegemite. And then I worked on the Power World server. So now the Power World server is a little bit more stable and is up on version 1.3 or whatever it is. What else did I do? Oh, and then I hopped into Block Game. And I have a solution now for the the timer problem that's in block game and I'm going to fix that so then we won't have a problem there and that'll be done and then I got on stream oh wait no then I also set up all the sponsor stuff and now I'm on stream hi this is my day how's it going <laughs> Oh, uh, I didn't even get to hang out with the ferrets today. Shay did it. Shay got to hang out with the ferrets. I, I got a little bit of ferret. Just a small amount. Oh. Oh, also, I also called, um... I also called Animal Control. And they contacted me. And they're looking into stuff now. Which is great. So that got happened. That happened for the, the stuff that happened with Rose. So, good. Screw those people. Yeah. Yeah, that got happened, dude. Yeah. Did you miss ferret meeting? No, I got to see the ferrets for a couple of minutes, and I forgot to put on socks before going into the ferret room, 
and Pickle decided that my toes looked delicious. And then all the other ferrets noticed my toes and they also thought they were delicious. So I had like five adult male ferrets trying to eat my toes at the same time while I was screaming. And that was my experience with the ferrets today. And I will never walk in that room again without socks on. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Ferrets love biting toes. I think it's because they look like tiny little animals, right? They're like, oh, that's like a small baby mouse or something. And they just... And that's it, you know. No, there's no clips of my toes. What's the matter with you? All right, next. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, recently I've been posting some of my writing, mostly poetry, in the writing section of your Discord. Nice. I first wanted to thank everyone there for being so kind, but also wanted to thank you for creating a space where we can find such support and encouragement. I'm currently in the process of compiling my work into a book for publishing, which wouldn't have happened without you. So, thank you for being you. Dude, I'm really glad. We built all those sections of the Discord, hopefully to, like, give you guys something cool, where you had, like, a micro-community inside of the, the community to do this. I actually made it into this system up here, where you can say, do you want to learn a specific skill? I'm going to be adding streaming to this. So we're going to have a section for streamers, and um, that'll be the next update to this, so there'll be, like, nine different sections of the Discord. And if you look at this, if you, like, select game dev, it'll actually give you the section to... Where is it? Where is it? Game dev. It'll give you this section. Art will give you this section. Audio gives you this section. Video, voice acting, writing. So like your interests become these sections. And that's it. It's discord.gg slash pirate software. That's our link for a discord. So yeah, if you want to learn a skill, if you want to do some fun stuff in the community, like compete in game jams and everything like this, or play some games with us, we have all these different sections specifically for this. And I, I'm really glad. I'm glad that it turned out this way. The Discord's really fun, and it's it's a blast. Herbet's repeating the roles. You'll notice that they're different. What's your opinion on Pokemon going after Power World? Ace, I'm going to say the same thing that I said to the last person. Show me where they went after Power World. We're going to wait. This going to be another one of those. Yeah, did you did you actually stop to read it? Did you did you stop to actually read the statement or did you just see the words Pokémon and Power World in the title of an article and then blindly copy paste that into the internet saying that Nintendo is going after Power World? You didn't read it, did you? You didn't actually read the statement. Did you? You do know that, right? You do know what you, you actually have to read. It may be surprising to you. I'm going to go find this again. To shame you deeply. Because you didn't stop to read before taking the emotional stance, panicking on the internet, and then releasing it to everybody in chat. I'm going to link this to you. And you're going to have to go read. It's down here in English for you. You need to go read it. To actually read it. I know it's difficult. I know. This right here is them saying, stop telling us about it. We already know. That's it. That's it. Stop telling us about it. We know. Leave us alone. That's what it means. This is not difficult to comprehend. That's it. Imagine being a company... That is the most litigious game company in the world. A multi-billion dollar corporation with a multi-billion dollar product. And tens of thousands of people from Twitter and Reddit are sending you emails. And your legal team is inundated with reports of something that you have decided not to litigate against in the last three years. I also would send out a message saying, we're looking into it, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a it's a pretty obvious move right 
If they're going to sue, they're going to. You know what they did? You, you know the guy who made the mod that put Pokemon in Power World? They hit him with a DMCA in eight hours, man. You think they don't know about Power World? You think somehow, like, poor little Nintendo, tiny indie game company was just blind to a multi-million sale video game? When they hit a modder in eight hours? They just want people to leave them alone. They haven't sued yet, and none of this matters unless they do. And if they do, then the only thing that matters is the court case that ensues beyond that. The internet needs to calm the hell down and move on to the next big thing, whatever that is, because this one is tired and old and stupid at this point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting tired, is what it is. It's getting tired. Depressing. And nobody reads. Nobody's reading this shit. You have to read it. You can't just be like, Nintendo's suing, but they're not. They're having it all. Whatsoever. Yeah, they're watching Power World like a hawk. Bingo. Next. Undead Meddler with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 high Thor. It's been a couple that, of Alka. weeks since my hmm. last message asking you to check out my voiceover I did for the Heartbound demo. I know you are a very busy man and it would take some time to watch, but I'd still love to hear your thoughts on it. Hmm. If possible, could you put me in your YouTube queue please? Yes. Here is the link for ease of access or if the other goblins want to hear it. Thanks. HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash b1602gjrbmq. So notice something about this. I will watch this without video. I'll listen to it. So if you hide a gnome in it, I'll only be hearing it and it will do nothing to me. You will not be able to know me with this because I made Heartbound and anytime you're saying a word in the video game, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly what you've done. And I know exactly how you got to that route because I built it all. So I can already see it in my head. There's no need for me to watch, but I can hear it. Philip DeFranco pulled up a clip of you saying the same thing on the Power World. Lol, people don't pay attention. Yeah, no, I, I actually really like Philip DeFranco. I like his content a lot. I've been watching it for years. So seeing that I showed up in one of his videos was kind of cool, actually. Um, I like the way that he tells the news because a lot of the times he just goes, this is the news. This is what's happening. This is what this person's claiming. And then he just, that's it. He doesn't even really give like his take on a lot of stuff. He just goes, this is happening. This is what people are saying. And um, I like that kind of news. I, I think that's that's very respectful way of doing it, frankly. Um, he'll, he'll give his take on stuff sometimes, which is kind of cool. But I, I really do like that he just goes like, this is what's happening. This is what people are saying. Yeah, fact, factual with no bias. And I, I like that a lot. I've always really liked factual, no bias news sources. And I think Philip's good. Yeah, Phil's good shit. You say he's really biased lately? In that video, I saw no indication of that whatsoever. He was just like, people said this. This is what they said. And that's all. And I don't think that's a problem. You know? If you're just covering what people said and then walk away, I think that's fine. If if you found indication of him being biased on something, it's probably because he's giving his personal take on something, which is fine. You know? As long as his preface is like, this is my take. Cool. You know? That way, if you don't want bias, you can just cut that part out. It's it's politics. He really shows it there. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got an opinion on politics. You you That makes sense. You can say that's fair. Yeah, Phil's great. Philip DeFranco, dude. I've watched his stuff for a long time. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, too. It, it, you say he's not biased, he just gives his opinion. And he prefaces it by saying it's his opinion. He'll say, like, this is my opinion. What do you guys think? Tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you think about the situation. I always, I like that. Because it's not just a, this is what it is, screw off. It's a, it's a, let's have a conversation so I can find out if this makes sense. That's why I enjoy that. And he's always been like that in his content. I always enjoy that. It opens a conversation. Yeah, bingo. That's exactly what it is. And I like that. I like that a lot. Wait, they asked? Oh, no, snor, no. Nom Nom with 1,000 bits oh, said, Hello, I have a fancy flavor of autism so I can memorize extremely long strings of binary up to about 50 numbers. No shit. I use them for passwords. Do you think that is very secure? Not of just binary. No. You need to add a lot of other symbols because you have to remember it's based on on the total um, character sets that you're using. I'll give you an example. If you use lowercase a to z, that's 26. If you use uppercase a to z, that's 26. If you use 0 through 9, that's 10. 
And then you have to add in a special symbol. You get a whole bunch of special symbols. That's the whole thing there, right? And then the next thing that you can do on top of this, let's put in a single Cyrillic character from the Russian alphabet. Now you've added the entire... the entire Unicode set of Russian characters. Let's say that you put in one of Hebrew. Let's say that you put in one of Korean. You're adding all of the character sets for those? Easy. And it just com complicates the shit out of your password. Yeah, put an emoji in it. There you go. It complicates the living shit out of your password, dude. And it's great, honestly. Yeah. Entropy being the keyword here. Yeah, but I'm trying to I'm trying to explain it in a way that layman's can understand. The idea is that you're making the total number of characters that have to be used when someone's brute forcing dramatically larger. And the whole idea is it's still possible to brute force it, but the sun may burn out by the time that they're done. That's the idea. Yeah, Snur, I didn't know that they got rid of the Cork and Versailles offices. I love those offices. Those are my favorite dudes. That's really sad to hear. Damn. <sighs> my password for sensitive me medical documents was Court 123. Of course it was. You and everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Versailles was already closed years ago. Austin 2 yesterday. Wait, 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 wait. They fired everybody at the Austin office yesterday? They closed all of Blizzard's regional offices? Shit. They're outsourcing all of CS. What about QA? I saw a bunch of people in QA got fired. My Facebook was on fire today. All of my friends got fired. Like everybody did. There's very few people I know that are still there. I've never seen a layoff this heavy on them. Yeah, they got rid of a bunch of people. One of my buddies is still at, still in QA there, but many of them got fired. And a lot of them were like 10 plus years there. My, Microsoft's cleaning house, yeah. It really is sad. Microsoft picked up Blizzard and is just now cleaned house and fired a lot of people. Fired a lot of people. I think the problem is this, man. What Microsoft may not understand is by doing this to a company like Blizzard, Blizzard's going to have a very hard time recovering. It's going to have a very, very hard time recovering. Like, I, I worked there for a long time. I grew up in that company. And if you lose talent in the way that they are hemorrhaging talent right now, it is generally not recoverable. Why? Surely they can afford those people? I don't know. I don't know why they would do this. I'm not sure what the business reasoning is. Yeah. Is Mike Yabara my friend on Facebook? I don't know. Let me go look. I've got a lot of friends on there. They're like my old buddies. Yabara. Nope. Nah, he wasn't one of them. I've got a bunch of people, but it's only people I worked with directly. I didn't. I couldn't remember if I worked with them directly or not. Yeah, no, it's pretty rough. It's really rough. Thank you for the rating party of, of three there. A whole turkey. I hope you're having a good day. It's sad as shit, though. I heard these are residual firings left over from the mass hiring of COVID. No, dude. Like, I have thousands of friends from, from Blizzard, and the grand majority of them got fired today. And the grand majority of those had been there 5 to 15 years. So this has nothing to do with COVID hiring whatsoever. Nothing to do with COVID hiring whatsoever. Yeah. Like one of my buddies just posted and he's like, I've been there for 11 and a half years and I just got fired today. I had nothing to do with COVID. Why do they let go everything? Heard the WoW team was almost untouched. I'm not surprised. There, are, It looks like what they were doing is they were firing a whole bunch of satellite teams and a whole bunch of teams that were like working on some secret projects that they just didn't want to, want to go forward with. The survival game got completely canceled, which is sad as shit because that looked cool as hell. Unionizing isn't going to fix that. 1900 fired, that's so huge. Yeah. Blizzard was like a a 5,000 person company. I don't know how many got fired from Blizzard specifically, you know? Yeah. So I don't know, man. Like this, this sucks. And it, it's even worse because it came back to back with people getting fired from, from Twitch. And I have friends at Twitch that used to be my friends at Blizzard. So, like, one of the things that you can learn really quickly is if you work somewhere in tech specifically, when you work there, you meet people, and you're going to know those people for the rest of your life. Because if you leave, all those people are going to go other locations, 
they spread out across the industry. And you'll always have contacts at like Facebook and Twitter and Google and, and Microsoft and, you know, Twitch and wherever, because these people spread out across the industry. It's exactly what happened because I spent seven years at Blizzard and then all those people left. So a ton of my friends got fired from Twitch and then a ton of my friends got fired from Blizzard. And it's just like, God damn it, dude. Like everybody I know is looking for work now. It's really awful. Do you think Microsoft will deprecate Battle.net? I don't believe so. Battle.net is the is a core technology for Blizzard. That would be very silly. It, it's it's one of the best like gaming networking systems in the world. That there'd be that'd be absurd. That wouldn't make any damn sense. If they did, I would probably. I don't understand what the hell they would do. They might repackage it as in a like a Microsoft product. That would make sense. I could see them doing that. But you know, I don't. I don't think they'd just shut it down. That'd be weird. That wouldn't make any sense. Is Diablo not performing? Diablo's kind of not doing well. Their season three has been kind of an egg. I haven't tried it yet. People are not happy with it. I need to find out why. I want to look at it first before I give a, you know, my own interpretation on it. I don't want to just base it on somebody else's feeling. Diablo 4 is crashing and burning. Well, I'm going to be real with you. So did Diablo 3 before the expansion. You know what saved Diablo 3? Josh Mascara. Josh Mascara was the game director for Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Diablo 3 sucked ass. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls was awesome. And that's coming from someone who worked on Diablo 3. Like, it sucked. It sucked. And that's it. You said it's one of the worst networks you've ever seen? I work with a lot of CDN technology. That's fine. It's one of the biggest and most reliable gaming networks in the world. That's what Battle.net is. And it is phenomenal for that. It has done very, very, very well. Very well. Wait, Alan Adam left? One moment. That's not good. Shit. Okay, that's actually not good. I hold Alan in very high esteem. I hold Alan in very high esteem. Right up there with Mike Morheim. That's not good. That's actually really shit. Legitimately. Yeah. Who's Alan? Alan at him. Here, let's go back. I'll show you. Let me go back to the very beginning. Let me see if we can find the original. This one's colorized, which is weird, but we'll look at this one anyway. You know this photo? This, like, iconic photo? That's Mike Morheim, young Mike Morheim. That's Alan Adham right there. There he is. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal for him leaving. Yeah. There's my dad, by the way. <laughs> right in the middle. But there's, there's Mike Morheim, there's Alan Adham. So... That's not good. That's really, that's really not good. Yeah, Mike Yabara leaving too. That's not good at all. Is there anybody left? I think Sammy's still there. My dad doesn't work there. He works at uh, at uh, Jagex now in the UK. My dad looks a lot like you at that age he did, yeah. He chose to leave along with Mike Yabara. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I just looked it up. He left on his own. If, if Alan is leaving... Which he did. Alan has left because he doesn't believe in the company anymore. And that's it. That's damning, to be honest with you. For me, that is that is damning. And I think that's super important to understand. If if he doesn't believe in the vision and direction of the company. I'm worried about that now. I wasn't before, but like that's this layoff is it's a bit much. Yeah, it's not good. Next. Game overloads with 500 bits said hello Thor. I hello. do wish to ask, have you ever played XCOM2, Vanilla, War of the Chosen? XCOM? Yeah, XCOM. If I'm you afraid. have, do you have any favorite mods? Um, I don't have any mods. I don't play modded games a lot of the times, unless it's Minecraft. I think Minecraft's the only thing that I play modded, to be honest with you. But XCOM, I think, is very fun. Except for the fact that 95% is basically 1%, to be real with you. 
there's no such thing as 100% XCOM, and, and all of the values seem like they're lying to you. It'll be like, 87% chance to hit, and it's like, no, that's a 10% chance. You get XCOM'd all the time. It is the worst. It is the worst. It is a lie. All of, all of them are a lie. All the numbers in that game are a lie, and you can't convince me otherwise. Yeah, XCOM'd. You're getting XCOM'd, that's what it is. 100%. Every time that happens in Pal World, and it's like, oh, it's got like a 99% chance, I'm like, nah, I'm gonna lose it, and then I do. It's, you get XCOM, dude. Yeah. Power World Spheres XCOM you all day. 100%. Ridiculous. Rolkus with 500 bits said thanks for the opportunity for the game jam. Mm. Unfortunately, unless I get some drastic work done while watching you, I'll have to pull out as I haven't completed my prototype. But I still learn many things. Also, happy birthday and happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day to you and it's not my birthday, how dare you. How dare you. Scott Rouch with $5 said finished a second run of Heartbound. Mm. Stuck floating in a void now. And Fern's final line before going was surprisingly savage. I know what you did. I know what you did. Now do it again. But go to lunch with Road. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said hark ye, and praise. For I proclaim it, him on earth once walked among mortal men, but now sits upon the golden throne on terror as a god. It is in his holy name that ye are to purge the heretic, beware the mutant and the psyker, and abhor the xenos. Mm. Every human soul has a place in his imperium, and by word or eviscerator shall ye be brought into the fold. Praise be, kindred, praise be. But I play as psyker in dark time. How dare you? How dare you? Calix Van held with 500 bits said I bought the demo for $10 and used the leftovers to send this message. The demo is free. You and your community have inspired me to get back into audio engineering after years of health issues. Dude, I'm glad. I want to share a couple indie games you and chat may enjoy. Hmm. The first is Papo and Yo. Pretty sure it's a single dev and it's a really clever and emotional passion project. Other is Else Heart. Break, a Scandinavian adventure game in which every item in the world can be hacked. Yes. Go go Wormcats rah rah rah. I've actually seen Heartbreak before. I'm actually going to this. We'll pull this up real fast. Hoppo and Yo, I've never seen this. Quico's best friend Monster is a huge beast with razor sharp teeth, but that doesn't scare Quico away from playing with him. That said, Monster does have a very dangerous problem, an addiction to poisonous frogs. What? Dude, what is this game? Look at that art style. I love the runes on it. What? Is this an isekai? Is it like a school kid entering another world thing? It is? This looks cool as shit, man. That's interesting. I love the environmental design. I love this. Oh, that's brilliant. That just feels nice. Like, this, the solve on that feels nice. Or it's just kind of simplistic, but it stands out. That's cool. He starts becoming part of the world, changes the, like, the whole look of his character and everything. We got ads, by the way. Even Jeff Bezos is excited. This is neat, dude. That's really neat. Definitely recommend playing it. Yeah, it looks cool. I think that's really interesting. Cool looking monster. I dig that. This looks great, dude. A lot of interesting looking characters. Cool, interesting character design in this. And it's an isekai, so like, you're trapped in this other world. That's sick, dude. Yeah, thanks for telling me about that. I've never seen this game. Played it on PS3 back in the day? Really? It's sitting at 94% positive. Isekai. Game is it a PlayStation 4 launch or something? I think they said PlayStation 3, which is neat. I had no idea. It's really, really sad. I like sad games. If a game can make me feel something, then they've done it right. Is usually how I feel about that. What happened to the worm? Bezos ate it. I know. 
Yeah. It's upsetting. Can I develop that game to the credits of my game? Go for it, dude. Spread the knowledge. Why can I hear you and Addict still playing? You can usually still hear the streamer. Yeah. And that's it. What was the name of this game? My headphones died? Here you go, dude. I got a link for you. There you go, bud. Plague Tale made me cry. Plague Tale, I heard, is rough. Really rough, actually. Can we fuse Bezos and the worm? I kind of want to change Bezos' graphic to hypno eyes. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to modify Bezos. Oh, it's good. Yeah, no, this game looks sick, dude. Thank you for telling me about that. Penguissimo with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. Good I've morning. been listening to your VODs virtually every day when I'm at work. I was just listening to Here Comes Nico on my 85-mile drive to work. I've been doing a ton of studying for EMT Academy and you're always a great person to watch or listen to when unwinding. I couldn't pick a better way to start my birthday. Go get Em and thanks. <laughs> dude, happy birthday. You're awesome as hell. Powerless with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, this Hi. game jam was an eye-opener that I can get things done if I have a time constraint. Yes, you can. I've learned so much, for example, how one line of code can completely break the entire game. And how using Git with GameMaker is a pain when you have to merge three branches. Yes, it is. Can't wait for the jam to end so I can finally get some sleep. Just joking. Happy you Friday. I bet you had a whole bunch of conflicts, didn't you? <laughs> the nightmare is real, dude. <laughs> it's not my birthday. How dare you. Next. Formerly unknown with 500 bits said hi Thor. Just wondered if anyone ever told you about the Plunder Patrol from Yu-Gi-Oh. They're a tribe of goblin pirates and that felt very on brand for you. Have a good stream. The Plunder Patrol from Yu-Gi-Oh? Why do I not remember this? Now I have to look this up. One moment. Plunder Patrol... Yu-Gi-Oh. The only thing I remember from Yu-Gi-Oh! is that when you, you lose a card game, you actually die. Oh my god, they're amazing, actually. Why are they so ridiculously cute? Who? Why are the goblins cute? Look at that bright little shiny face, dude. Look at that one with this huge beard. These noses are hilarious, actually. Yeah, they're actually cute. Chat is cute. It's true. Chat's cute now. You're small, cute goblins. Which one is that one? Which one's the bearded goblin? Which one are you? Which one's Blackbeard the goblin, dude? You're saying that's me? I don't even have a beard! It's Kronos? I think that's Kronos. I can agree with that. It's just like a bunch of shiny, happy goblins all, like, excited about stuff, and then Kronos in the back going like, Please, God, no. Please stop putting in tickets, please. It's true. It's exactly what it is. By the way, um, we're gonna be playing Ashes of Creation together, and if you put in a ticket on that Discord, Kronos has to solve that ticket. So, just go and, and sign up for that on that Discord there, and then Kronos will have to deal with those tickets. And he will continue to have the face that you see right here, that one right there, with, like, the half-lidded eyes. He'll get those. You'll get those. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at card art? I'm aware I'm looking at card art. Amazing, right? Yeah, Ashu's tickets. Next. Yokolab Ducty with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, what is your stance on password management software? Is it something people use or it a bigger security risk than we are aware of? Also, with your extensive MS Paint skills, can you illustrate the perfect burger? Get burgered. So. The perfect burger. You grab this here. What you do first, all right, is you you draw a box. And then, after you draw that box, right, you take out your eraser. And you start erasing that box. Anything that doesn't look like the hamburger, you start erasing it. And then, oh, there it is. It was hidden. It was hidden right under it. There it is. The Big Big Mac Mac. The new perfect burger. The most American thing you've ever seen in your life. 
Big Big Mac Mac. Not the double Big Mac, no. The Big Big Mac Mac. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's how it is. How did you do that? That's how you bake the burger, dude. Look at it. Just look at it. Look how horrific that is. <laughs> Something so deeply American. You'd think it would have guns and oil right in it. But it doesn't. There's there's not even an eagle involved. Because it on its on its own is already full of freedom. That's right. Big big Mac Mac, dude. Ridiculous. I don't even eat McDonald's and I feel like I need to get one of these just for the meme. And it's probably gonna look terrible when I get it. <laughs> it's gonna be like this big or some shit. Insane. Insane to see. And that's how you make one. That's how you do it. The Big Big Mac Mac, dude. Horrific item. Cursed food. Maluan underscore with 500 bits said good thorning. Usually I meme in TTS but I'm gonna get serious with this one. Two weeks ago I never thought I would ever be able to make a game and here I am about to submit a game to the Game Jam, who would have thunk it. Thank good. you for all of your inspiration and support, not just to me but to everyone here. You're right a shining here. light in this dark world. Keep doing what you're doing. We all appreciate it a lot. Right Much love and warm regards. <laughs> Cards. God damn it. Oh no. Oh no. They didn't bring back the make it yourself thing, did they? You just sent me that? Blizz Blizz cows. You have too many syllables in that. Did they actually... Did they bring back the thing where you can make your own sandwich? At McDonald's? They bring that back? Please don't say they brought that back. I remember, oh, god damn it. Last time they did this, last time they did this, they allowed people to, like, name their own burger. Let me explain something to you. Anytime, yeah, they did. They let you rename it because it's called the McLand Air and Sea. Did they, did they really do this again? Where you get to make your own burger and then you get to name it and, like, the image file name is actually McLand's Air and Sea? 4chan found this last time. Do not, brands out there, let me explain something to you. Do not allow people to name a product using your brand, even in the URL, even where it's not visible. Don't do that. 4chan will find it. They will remake the cum burger, which is what they did last time, which was just two buns and a bunch of mayonnaise. And they'll name it that, and they'll spread it everywhere on the internet. And there's nothing you'll be able to do to stop them. Because you've allowed this again. Don't do this. That's what they did. That's what they did. They called it that. And it was everywhere. And it was just the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, why are you... Why did you do this? Why are these brands doing this? God, it's stupid. Or the one just called Girth that was like 50 patties. Yeah. God damn it, dude. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's brand awareness. It's not the kind of awareness you want, man. God, it's the worst. Serex Barimlane with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, currently I'm having a kind of disturbed relation with my work and include scripting, <sighs> automating mundane tasks as little passion projects spicing up everyday business. All right. We'll take a new position as senior systems architect in another company with 99% home office soon and I'm afraid the disconnect stays the same so that I think more about private projects and interests rather than working. Any advice? Hmm. Let's think about this. New position as senior systems architect in another company with 99% home office soon. So there's a couple things that you needed to do, right? If you're going to be doing a home office, you need to have separation in some way. So keep your work hours separate from your personal hours in some way. Sometimes this means that you set up an area of your house. Let's say that you work on a laptop. During your work hours, sit on left side of the couch, right? Or wherever it's going to be, or at your desk. During your non-work hours, sit on the right side of the couch. Separation of area is how you handle this. Because... I do stuff for, you know, recreation. I do stuff for work at home. And I separate the areas of my house that I go to. Maybe I sit in, maybe if you sit at a desk, maybe you sit at the desk over here or at a table or over here. Maybe you sit at your desk and you have the window open during work hours and you have the window closed during not work hours. Changing something in your environment to be like, this is, this is play time. This is work time. This is side project time. This is this is day job time. 
anything that you can do to separate those two things in a physical way helps to reinforce that it's time for that to work, right? You can do it in an apartment too. It's the same, dude. It's the same. It's it like different colored lights, different times of day for stuff, an alarm for doing this kind of stuff. Something you can also do is after your work day is over, after your work day is over, you can actually stop, take a one hour long nap to be that barrier. So that one hour long nap can be that barrier before you start your, your personal hours. And then you take your, your nap for the night and then you wake up and do it again. There's all kinds of different ways to separate this, but what you really need is separation of activity. Activity separation. And then you turn it into a habit, it becomes permanent, you're good to go. Spare time underscore gamer with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 good morning Thor, hope you are well. Unfortunately my superior hit me in the gut yesterday with two warning strikes. Oh. After asking for exact examples I just got told, I know what for, and avoiding my request. Of course as an employee I was devastated and I have a serious lack of trust now. I'm thinking about quitting the company, but don't know how to prep for it while avoiding a third strike which would leave me with a serious black mark. Your boss said that you have two strikes against you and he didn't say what they were for to? Go to HR. Yeah, go, go to HR immediately. Yeah, there's, this isn't high school. There's no you-know-what-for shit. You go to HR, you document that, you take the documentation to HR, and you talk to them about it. You also should probably talk to a lawyer. Legitimately. Go get legal counsel on that. Speak to a lawyer. That's not how that shit works. If, an, if a boss says you are being struck in some way, yeah, that's, and, and they don't give you reasons and examples for that, depending on where you are in the world, there may be laws against that. You should talk to a lawyer. You should talk to HR. Now, remember something, and something you have to, you have to understand. HR is there to protect the company, not to protect you. They're there to protect the company from you. Talking to a lawyer may allow you to figure out what the company has done wrong to put HR into a position where you can only win because they have to protect the company from the thing that they did to you. So do keep that in mind. But talk to a lawyer. S seriously. That's... I don't know what the hell is going on there, but that seems like something's wrong there. Yeah. Some weird shit. I've never seen anything... Like, that's... No, nah, that's not great. You missed the password manager question? Oh yeah, sorry, the password manager question. Let me uh, let me go back and talk about that. It's because you brought up the burger. You wanted me to illustrate the perfect burger. If you ask me multiple questions, one of them's probably going to get answered. That how that, that's how that works. Uh, so the biggest thing is is I don't use password managers. I use steganography. Hide my passwords. Yeah. I use steganography to hide my passwords, and I, I think that's something that's kind of fun. Um, that's not required. That's, I'm, a, I'm a mutant in that way. There's no reason for me to do that. It's just fun. How? Let me explain. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you an image real fast. Let's go and open this up. I'm going to open this, and it will be funny for you, but this is unironically my Twitch password, that one right there. It's actually my Twitch password. This is this is my Twitch password. Yep. I use steganography to hide my passwords. It's in this image somewhere. Not visible, by the way. No, you you can't see it. You can't actually see it. It's quite funny. <laughs> so yeah, there's no. I don't use that stuff. Um, I, I don't like the idea of online password managers grand majority of the time. What I really like is I like, if you're going to do a password manager, a local password manager is generally better in my opinion. That being said, I don't use any password managers because quite frankly, I like doing my own thing because it's fun for me. Yeah. Yep. That's all. She3N with 500 bits said if someone were interested in creating an ARG, where would you suggest to start and what kind of skills would be required to design interesting puzzles that are challenging but not impossible to solve? Do not design an ARG first. Go do them. Go join in other companies' ARGs. Learn the tactics, learn the understanding, try to solve other people's puzzles. As you do this, you will get better and better at making your own. It's incredibly important. 
incredibly important. Am I reviewing them live on stream? Nope, because some of them are going to be malware, so we're going to do them offline. Yeah, on a machine that is off the network. What if I make my own password manager? Have fun, you know? I don't know, that's up to you. FA771N9 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, the day is upon us. I'm going to be coding the S out of my game today, but won't have much to show for. That's okay. Not easy for a solo dev with a full-time job. I have learned so much though, and had loads of fun. I'm really Something glad. I wouldn't have accomplished without this jam. So thank you, you are awesome. Can't wait for the next jam. And chat, can I maybe get a 7 or 3? Oh, how dare you. No. Don't do it. Keep continuing. And when the jam is over, you don't have to stop. You can finish. That'd be great. Noobs Gaming with 5 euros said thank you for being an inspiration. Thanks to you I actually made my first design doc to help guide my development. And it helps my mind concentrate. That's awesome. I'm really glad. I'm really glad actually. Made your first design doc. That's... That's kind of what it's all about, man. It's like getting you guys to try something you've never done before. So, good for you. Kick some ass. Rare Devil with 1000 bits said Ya Cheer 1000. Thanks for the thousand bits, man. The checkmark with 500 bits said Hey Thor. Thank Hi. you for being a part of my morning routine. <laughs> you inspire me to be the best game dev I can be. I am currently working on a 2D rage platformer called Is the Floor Lava. Based on the floor is lava, but you don't know where the lava is. Oh. My goal is to make six games in three years, as I oh. want to get my games out there and learn to improve game to game. Is there any advice you have for me to achieve this ambitious goal? Thank you again for being awesome. The check mark. So as you go through this process of making games, you will find very quickly how long it it takes you increases like it basically it reduces over time. It it will be easier and easier for you to produce a game in the same amount of time. So as you go through this, that idea of six games in three years is going to become 12 games in three years, 24 games in three years, because your initial idea of the size of a game you can solve in three months, eh, it's going to be a one month game soon, maybe even a two week game eventually. Because your toolkit is going to increase. Your ability to do this is going to increase. So I wouldn't even say six games in three years. I would say, I want to make a game in three months right now. And then after you finish that, say, I want to make a game in two months. I want to make a game in a month. What can I do in this amount of time? Try that stuff, right? Don't level out your entire next three years. Take it project by project, because you're going to learn a shitload along the way, dude. Red Bull Royalty with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I just won an important battle against cancer yesterday. Hell Lost yeah. an organ, but it's worth it in the end. Haven't told my family yet, but you've been unknowingly keeping me super sane this month, so I wanted to share with you. Thank you for your unwavering positivity. I'm glad you won. I'm glad you won. And w whatever that organ was, it was holding you back. You're more powerful than you could possibly imagine. That's right. That's right. Also, unironically, fuck cancer. Takes away some of the best people I've ever met in my life. And one day we will win. We'll beat it, dude. Every form of it, but not today. So, I'm glad you won your battle. Awesome as hell, dude. Miko underscore makes with 500 bits said done my jam game. Gonna spend today doing some improvements and maybe ship an update in the last stretch. Okay. Loved the experience so much and excited to go back to my other projects. Little bit of caution on this. Little bit of caution. It's, um... If you're going to do a last-minute update, please test your build before you do this. There is nothing worse than doing a last-minute update, throwing it up onto the thing, and then it gets to me and we can't play it, right? Yeah. It just... We, we just can't do it. And then and then you've, you've failed. And so don't do that. Don't do it. Please, God, test your build. Test it all before you submit. Please, please, please. Yeah. Thunderjaw495 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, you are so great to watch. You have given me some enjoyment in a terrible point in my life. Thank you so much for what you do. Well, thank you for being here. You're awesome, dude. HPF3 with 500 bits said, Yarchir500, I won't be able to finish my game sadly as I am still missing some major core aspects. Should That's I okay. still submit my GDD and dev level? Yes. I wouldn't consider it a game yet, but it runs. Remember okay. everyone, don't get distracted writing an XML level importer and validator, no. or configuring Home Assistant to auto-play the stream on the TV. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, submit it. Um, we're going to try and give feedback to everybody. In fact, the, the general sense that we have across this, let me go pull this up. 
Let me grab this. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Let me grab this. So the judging method that I've put up for everybody is I've told them go to the entry panels here, select a game that you want to judge. If the submission breaks the rules, then report it in rules reporting. So we have that. So please don't break the rules. Play the game and rate it through the interface because there's an interface for it. And then leave some feedback for the developer and try to be constructive about it. So, and that's it. And I said, remember that games are subjective. This is about what you think is the best. So the judges are going to choose what they think is the best because it is a subjective experience. That's what that is. And that's why we have so many different judges, so we can get a lot of different opinions about the types of things that you're making. And then we can choose one that is the most popular among the judges group to determine which which games win, right? And we're going to have three, three games that win, one grand prize and two runners-up. And in 14 hours, we're going to announce what the bonus prize is, because there is a bonus prize. So yeah, and that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun, dude. I'm curious, what game would you like to see made on a AAA game company without AAA games, politics, and drama? Hmm. Without AAA politics and drama. My favorite kinds of games are social sandbox MMOs. And I think the one that I have my eye on the most right now is Ashes of Creation. So I, I don't even think about, like, what game would I want to see without politics and drama. I just want to see more developers that are willing to engage with their communities. And they do that. They're already doing that. I also like what Power World is doing, where they're so willing to talk to their community and send out very clear announcements and like run a Discord. The more that we see this kind of stuff, the more that we see developers willing to engage with their community, the better the games are going to get. The worst thing that can happen is an ivory tower where devs can no longer talk to their players. They can no longer interact in the community. The moment that happens, you end up getting games that are disconnected from what the players actually want, and developers that are out of touch because they can't talk to those players. And it sucks. Communication above everything. Every time. Communication above everything. And it it shows in the games. It really shows in the games. Yeah. A crystal soul with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500, what's your thoughts on the Pal World dev stance on AI art? Pal World dev stance on AI art? The only thing I care about AI art is this. And this is very simple. Because a lot of people talk to me about AI art. AI generated art is generally done like this. When we're doing generative art, you have the artificial intelligence system. You have what is called training data. Training data needs to be created out of art. Art has to, be, has to exist that is made by a human being in the first place. If that art is paid for in the form of a license, and that art then goes into the training data, and then is used by the AI to produce a new piece of art, that is then bought by somebody in a commercial setting, as long as the artist was paid for the license, this is fine. If the artist was not paid, and they're still producing commercial works out of this, then this system ends up not being fine, because they are stealing from the artist, because they don't have a license to the work. That's it. That's all I care about. And it doesn't really matter what other companies are doing. It doesn't really matter what anyone is doing. It matters about the fact that you are using art for commercial use, that is unlicensed. That's it. That's all it is. Simple shit. Yep. Troy Tech said time for a firmware update. Rollerblades Boy meets World Dial Up Tamagotchi Rugrats Cathode Monitors Degaussing Slap Bracelets Spice Girls Friends Clap 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 Perfect Dark Dial Up Lex Did I Do That Sister Sister Sponsatility Life Is Like A Box Of Chocolates How You Doin' It'll Be Back Super Soaker After These Messages Will Be Right Back Sabrina In Sync Mrs. Doubtfire Golden Eye Talk Boy Zip Drive Another World Oregon Trail Burger Timed Mentos The Fresh Maker Circuit City Khan What? Murdrock with 500 bits said yard cheer 500 <laughs> hey Thor, the other day I said I liked helping people workshop and build their ideas into something better, and then you told me I smell like a producer. I thought it through and I'm you not do. sure it's quite right, I don't think I love meetings enough for it to be the ideal. True. In my okay. day job I'm a technical troubleshooter and second pair of eyes. That works better. Kind of like a human rubber duck. Problem solving brings me joy. Is producer right for me, or is there a different game dev role I should try? No, in that case, uh, if you don't like going to meetings, if you think that meetings are, are death, then being a producer is not for you. Generally, a producer is everything that you're talking about plus meetings. Everything you're talking about plus meetings. You're, you're describing more of a technical role, for sure. 
Uh, I don't know the exact title for somebody that's doing that, but you are effectively being a producer without going to meetings. So it's got to be it's got to be a technical pr- problem solving role that might actually work on more of a security side of stuff because there's so many things there. It works on a QA side of stuff because you're solving a lot of puzzles in there. It works on I'm trying to think of what else is like a heavy puzzle solver. Yeah. It could be a technical, maybe a technical manager. Yeah, a technical manager could be that. Could be a technical manager, but even then, that's meetings. It's going to be meetings. Tech director is kind of up there. That's that's more meetings than God, to be honest with you. The higher you up you go, the more meetings it becomes. It's consultancy. A consultancy could work for that. That could work with that. I, I think that's it's it, it's one of those things where like. The, the higher up in the corporate structure you go, the more that you solve problems, but also the more meetings you go to, you're not really going to be able to escape meetings. You're not going to be able to. So like what you're describing reminds me very heavily of what a producer is because you're solving work blockages for other people, but you're also going to a lot of meetings. Yeah, the higher up you go, the more meetings there are. You know how many meetings I had to go to today? I had like five meetings today. No, I didn't even make any of those meetings. They were just meetings I had to go to. I had like five of them. I hate meetings. Do you know how often I have to use Zoom and Google Meet now? I'm slowly dying. <laughs> oh, why are you meeting so many people? Because I'm forming a corporation so that I can pay the moderators and give them benefits. Did you know, do you know what I'm doing? You know all that money you guys throw at me? I'm making a corporation. I'm going to be the, the CEO of a corporation so that I can hire the moderators so that I could create a benefit system to them so they can have 401ks and health care. That's what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of it. Let me, let me tell you how obnoxious it is to form a corporation. It's horrific. It's horrific. And that's what I've been doing for the last two and a half weeks. And soon, soon we'll start being able to hire some of the moderators in. Not everybody all at once because I have to do it slowly. So don't bankrupt myself like a dumbass, but I have to, I'm going to be doing this. And then I'm going to be talking to more business people in more horrible Zoom meetings. So I can set up new accounts that can then run benefits accounts. So we can have like medical benefits and healthcare and 401ks and all of that shit. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a freaking nightmare. All of it is. Yeah, but it's for the mods. Basically, what I've learned about this is if you want to make the machine work a year from now, you need to build the machine. And the idea of building the machine is really, really annoying. But once the machine is done, it basically runs on its own and you don't have to give a shit anymore. Then all I have to do is I have to have a meeting with myself every year where I go, Why Thor, we'd like to offer you the position of CEO again for this year. And I go, oh, well, thank you, Thor. And then I put a medal around my own neck, I record it, and then we file that. And I have to do that once a year. And that's not a joke. I actually have to do that every year as the CEO of the company. It's the dumbest shit that you could imagine. But that is that is what you have to do. That is what you have to do. Which is hilarious. Yeah, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. It's, that's real. Be like, we'd like to offer this to you. And I say thank you for the opportunity to myself in a mirror. And then I record the thing. And then, and then we go forward and I'm still the CEO. That's not even a joke. That's not even a joke. Welcome... Welcome to being a corporation owner. It's, yeah. I have to I have to have a meeting with myself alone in a dark room. <sighs> anyway, ads. <laughs> it's the worst, dude. It is honestly the worst shit. I'll have that meeting for the mods. Once a year. I have to do it once a year. It's not even a joke either. It's real. That's actually real and awful. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? I think it's the right thing to do. It's kind of rough right now to go through the whole process, but I know it's the correct action. So because of that, I'm doing it, right? That's all it is. That's all it is. Publish that meeting with yourself on YouTube? <laughs> Dude, I might. <laughs> I'm like, here's the permanent record of this. Yeah, Jeff heard CEO. He heard corporation and CEO, and he just arrived. Don't want any troubles from the tax man? Oh, that's the idea. All of this is to make the tax man scared of me. Make him go away. 
I'll be like, no, I don't have the money. It's in the company. And they'll be like, ooh, corporate taxes. And they'll devour them. And then all the money goes into the corporation instead of into me. And then I pay myself as an employee. Nice. I'll be an employee of Tower Corp, finally. Oh, no. This is how it works, chat. You work for Tower Corp, and then eventually, you work for Tower Corp. There's no way out of it. What's Tower Corp? Play Heartbound, you'll find out. <laughs> uh, are we employees? No. Legally, you are not employees. <laughs> Don't pierce the veil, it's too late. It's too late. Did I actually catch a live? Impossible. When will the IPO? Never. So, let me explain something really quickly. The way that this is going to work, as far as I know, is we get a certain number of shares in the business. I immediately give myself those shares, and then I elect myself CEO. Then every year I have to make a video electing myself CEO again. Alone. Because I am the board of me. And I have to have proof of this. This is a stupid thing to do, but I have to do it. Then, no one can own the business but me, and also I elect me every year. Which is great. Welcome to owning a corporation. And then on top of this, this allows me to hire in the moderators as actual employees, and then I can pay them money, and I can also give them benefits like healthcare and 401ks. All I have to do is my once a year meeting and also do all the tax things that I have to do, which is terrifying, which is great. What is a mod's official title? Goblin Wrangler. I will... I will put that in their title. Your official title within the company is Goblin Wrangler. That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, do we get dental? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. We're going to have to figure it out because this costs everything. Can I be your moderator? No. I smell nepotism. You're right. Here, let me, let me show you this. If you want to know, if you want to know what this is going to be like, just so you know, um, basically, it's just me alone in a room with a video in front of me, like me videotaping myself doing this. That's all. That's all it's going to be. All right. It's just, it's just me doing that every year. That's what it's going to be. Like this is a hundred percent what it's going to be every year. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not even a joke. Like, that's how it works. It's ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, but that's that's how it's going to go. You guys hit the bit goal? Holy shit. Hold up. Um, bop, 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 bop. Let me go to the bit goal. Uh, what is it called? I have to move things. We'd be offering an IPO of your company? Hell no. Do you want to know the best way to ruin your company? Let other people have a hand in it. Hell no. You know what happens when I... Do you want to know how the company is going to work? If I die, I'll dissolve it. I'm going to have all these stipulations in place so that when I die, the company dissolves and just pays out to everybody involved. Nah, dude. That company dies with me. That's how that works. That shit doesn't exist without me in it. Not even a little bit, dude. Yeah, no. Not even a little bit. That shit dies with me. Who's going to run that? Without me. No. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. Sit you on a throne for 40,000 years? Yeah, feed me the psychers, dude. You know that... You know that same thing happens with Heartbound, right? A year after I die, the source code for Heartbound goes public. I have a server set up that gets logged into every day. And if I don't log into it for a year, the source code goes out. Just unprivates the GitHub, dude. Yep. 
I have a ton of shit like that. I have a lot of kill switches in place, man. A lot of them. Assassins have been sent out. Yes, you can get the source code to my unfinished indie game. Enjoy. <laughs> we got him, boys. Let's get that giant array that he shows on stream every day. <laughs> oh, you guys are mad. Okay, hold up. Wait for it. Wait for it. They're too... Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can go back to tier ones. We can go back to tier ones. Hey, you guys ready? We can do tier ones again. You ready? You ready for this? The big goal is now. Back to tier ones. Let me do a calculation. One moment. All right. Here we go. Enjoy the bit goal. There it goes. There it goes. There's your hundred tier ones, dude. There's your one hundred tier ones to Twitch chat. Thank you for the bit goal. You absolute goblins. You're the best. Actually the best. Yeah. Oh wait, one second. Somebody's message. Why are you messaging me on on here? No. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy your easy dodge. Next. Spare time underscore gamer with 500 bits said Yarchir 500. This one is for giggles. Mm. Apparently, pal in Portuguese is a homophone for the male lower part. No. You can imagine the rest. Dot the Portuguese community has a field day. <laughs> no. no. No, no, it better not be. It better not be. Don't tell me that. Is that slang? Is that slang or is it real? We, so we had a problem like that in Heartbound. There was a joke that we tried to tell where in most of Brazil it was fine. And then in one area of Brazil it was slang for like a really, like, really just... I'm going to say detailed sex act, right? But the rest of Brazil thought it was funny, and then that part of Brazil was like, whoa! So, like... Like, that's that's just how that works, right? That's just how it is. I'm not detailing it for you, but this is, this is how this works. It's impossible to talk seriously about this game. Oh, no! It's impossible to talk seriously about this game in Brazil. Pal has the same pronunciation as... Pal de oh, so it's so the other way. The other way of saying it. Which is a common way of saying dick in Brazil. I don't know if other Portuguese-speaking countries use this slang, too. You guys use the same word for bread that you use for dick? What's happening in Brazil? That's not good. That's not good at all. What's happening over there? What the hell? It shouldn't look like bread, chat. Go to a doctor. Jesus. Cole Cows with 500 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 Just a small toast to you and all those who did the game jam. We're submitting later today but we are all so proud of our game. Good. That's awesome as hell. You got 14 hours left man and I am excited to see what you make. I am excited. I am excited to see what you make. I read about someone making an AI like this of you? No. Um, to be real with you, something that I already did, and this is like a pretty simple one. I went to my bank, and I said, Yo, uh, if you're ever going to be doing any transfers of any kind, you need to make sure that I am there in person. And they said, Why? And I said, I am a streamer. My voice is on the internet, hundreds and hundreds of hours of which people can make a very simple AI of my voice, and they will be able to call into you to trick you into sending my money away somewhere else. So I have to be there in person, and if you contract any of my money into any location if i'm not there in person then you're on the hook for it because i have warned you and you've added it to my account and they agreed to that contract so i'm not too worried about somebody making my likeness on the internet i'm not too worried about any of that kind of stuff every group that i work with outside of my bank also is under the same guidelines they're not allowed to do that you change your mic nope same mic same mic so yeah pretty normal shit um if you're a streamer you really should look into that 
to be honest with you, we're in a time where it's really easy to clone somebody's voice, incredibly so. And if they dox you, get enough information, and then clone your voice, they can make your bank do stupid things. So, not good. Yeah. Yeah, AI voice scams that make their grandparents think that they're in, in jail. Yeah, I've been hearing this a lot. It's really shitty. I've also told my grandmother anytime she thinks anything is going wrong, just call me. You know, that's it. That's all it is, you know. So if she thinks anything is going wrong, anything's happening, just call me. Yeah. Some people are nuts. It's true. That's why I spend all my money. Can't steal what I don't have. <laughs> Sounds good, I guess. Uh. Vimarana underscore doofus with 500 bits said hi. I have my first graduate role interview coming up mid-February and I wondered if you had any words of encouragement, wisdom or advice for me. I'm nervous yeah. especially as I'm a woman with ADHD going into a male-dominated field, finance. Hey, it's an informal day of networking, problem-solving and meeting the team, I'm so nervous. I've been loving the streams, thanks for making them so accessible to people not in the gaming industry. So, if you're having an informal day of networking, problem-solving and meeting the team, you likely already have the job. The reason why is when we get to the point of meeting the team, they're checking usually for a culture fit more than anything else. You, you likely are getting an offer after this. I have never had somebody meet the team that we weren't hiring. You have nothing to worry about in this situation. Yeah, if, you, if you're meeting the team, you, you're probably just getting an, like an offer at the end of that meeting, dude. That's, yeah. Smile and wave and, and thank everybody and be cool. Yeah, just don't, don't like vomit on someone or say something stupid to somebody. Like, don't insult somebody, you know, like, or show up drunk. You know, <laughs> like, you, you, it's going to be really hard for you to screw this up is what I'm saying. You know, like, yeah, congratulations on your new job. Because, like, to be real with you, if they're having you do an informal day of networking, problem solving, and meeting the team, this is the final round, usually. I'd be surprised if this wasn't the final round for you at that point and usually the final round is just it's a yeah it's a vibe check it's it's checking to see if you are a good culture fit for the company more than anything else if, if it's not that i'd be surprised now the the couple of pieces of advice that i have for you in these types of situations is let's say there is another round after this um one of the things that i would say at the end of that meeting is the same question i always tell everybody to ask which is if you were to hire me today how best would you utilize me in the company? What would you have me do? Where would you see me having the most impact for your business if you were to hire me today? Because that immediately starts getting them thinking about, you are already hired. We're going to have you work on this project. Even if they don't have an answer for you, they'll think about that after the meeting. And that's an important mental change for the people hiring you that you should definitely plant the seed for that. It's a social engineering thing, 100%. Do it. Like, definitely do that. The other thing is, when they do give you an offer, ask for 5 to 10% more every time, you will likely get it. And the reason why is they've already spent a lot of money through the hiring process for you, and this is trivial compared to the cost that they've already sunk in. So always ask for 5 to 10% more. Negotiate with them. And when you ask them, you don't demand it. You say, hey, I was looking more at this kind of a number. Do you think that we can negotiate on that pay and find something that works for both of us? That right there. That language, that language of mutual benefit, that language of negotiation is where you want to be when you have this conversation. Because it immediately shows them that you're an expert, you're at the table with them, you'd like to work together, and you know your value. And it's always a positive thing. Yeah. Always. Specifically saying the words, I'd like to negotiate this, that's important. And if they stray, say straight up no, if they say straight up no, then they say straight up no. The worst you can get is a no, right? And you usually won't. <laughs> that's the most important thing, man. In your AOC Discord, your Minister of Truth are a bunch of fools. Does that worry you? Well, they're head by Kronos, the largest fool of them all. So, no. 
No, I don't think so, to be honest with you. It doesn't worry me whatsoever. So I have about 15 years of experience in, in EVE Online. EVE Online is a, a massive social sandbox video game. I was the leader of Strybug Clade. My character name was Maldavius, M-A-L-D-A-V-I-U-S. I was a villain in EVE, very well known. We built Pochvin, kicked a lot of ass, and I did a lot of horrible things in that video game, which was sort of the idea of being a villain. Kronos was the corporation leader of the oldest corporation in EVE Online. Between the two of us, we have over 30 years of experience in social sandbox MMOs. We're going to kick a lot of ass in that game. You've got a team of people that know exactly what they're doing in there. And... Ministry of Truth is definitely full of fools until you make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Neko with 1000 Hungarian forint said, Hi Thor. I finished my university. I am really thankful for our study tip. Info Humble Bundle Store has Winter Wonderland sale. Chat 7. Mm. Can you send that to me? I don't know what that is. For our study tip. I don't know what study tip that is. Did you seven? Don't you seven. God damn it. I'm going to look into the Humble Bundle sale. I don't know anything about it. Dinamanon with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500. Do you have any tips creating a demo? Like any do's, don'ts, or any tear? Yeah. Um, when you're creating a demo, make sure that it is showing your core gameplay loop, right? Leave it on a cliffhanger if you can. Show the core gameplay loop if, if you don't have like a cliffhanger for a story or anything like that. It is about giving them a taste of what you want. The best thing that you can do is if your demo comes out and the only angry feedback that people have is I want to play more of this, you've done it right. That's the biggest thing for that. That is always the biggest thing for that. Yeah. And I, I think that's good. What is this? What just happened there? Whoa. 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 Uh, one moment. I'm gonna message something. All right. Whoop. Dinamanon with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500, my cat jumped on my keyboard and cut the previous cheer short. FML. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits. That's rough, dude. Follow the void 1994 with 500 bits said, Just submitted my team's game jam. We used Unreal Engine 5 and was a definite learning curve. Any tips for a few noodles that want to get better? Hmm. Unreal Engine 5. Definite learning curve. Any tips for a few noodles that want to get better? Yeah, I mean, here's here's the thing, right? The process of you doing this game, Jen, the process of you building some stuff, right? And learning a little bit of Unreal Engine 5, and it's got a learning curve. Will you finish something? It may not be perfect. It may not be what you envisioned in the beginning. There may be features that are missing. Might run like shit. Might look a little bit like shit. But think about all the stuff you learned in the process of making that thing, right? You may look at it and be like, oh, this isn't our best work. We could have done better. That's never going to be different. You're always going to have that feeling. You could have done better. But each time you make something, it's definitely going to be better than the last. Every single time. So don't stop. Make another thing and another thing. And another thing. And then you'll be making things that other people go, man, I wish I could do that. I could never make something like that. You'll be that guy. Instead of the one that's just starting out and being like, man, there's a heavy learning curve on this. You'll have a little bit more mastery than you do now. So just don't stop. Keep making those weird little things that just don't quite work the way you want them to. Until eventually, eventually, there's very few things that don't work the way you want them to anymore. You find a way to do all of this stuff. Do it. Do it. GB with 1,500 bits said as someone who wants to make a story-driven tactical RPG with experience in writing a storyboard and some bits of experience with coding, how should I go about the artistic side of things when that is my weak spot? Such as digital art, music, sound, animation. So I actually have sections for this on developed.games. Um, let's go into here for skills required, right? Number one, no such thing. 
You don't need any skills. You don't need to be an amazing artist. So let's look at Suits of Business RPG. Let's look at Thomas is Alone and West of Loathing, right? Suits of Business RPG drawn by hand with pen and pencil, scanned into a computer, and then used in the game. Absolutely wild to look at, right? Completely and utterly wild. I love this. I actually love this. How many games have you made that you didn't publish? Four. Yeah, four of them. Happens all the time. In fact, one of them we got really close to publishing, and I just don't know what to do with it. So it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, from our studio four, outside of that mini, because I worked at Blizzard for a long time. There's a lot of stuff out there that just Blizzard never released. Kind of how it is, right? There's even stuff that Amazon Game Studios didn't release. It's kind of how it works. That's it. Anything that was from those places I can't talk about, but yeah. Yeah, Kill the Moon was one of them that I was trying to work on for us, and it's just not working right. That's it. It's the timer for it. It's the amount of time, usually on average, that you have to wait in the queue before I can answer your question. Thomas Was Alone is all about rectangles. That's fine. Yeah, it's shelved for now. You see Nintendo started investigating Power No, it didn't. Nintendo told all of its fans to stop sending it mails. The idea that it hasn't been looking into Power World this whole time is insane. They, they canned a mod for Power World in eight hours using a DMCA claim. If somehow Nintendo was like, wow, we didn't notice these millions of fans bitching about this thing that has eight million sold copies in six days. Whoa. That is also in Japan. How c And the creators are on Japanese TV, like some of the major news sites in Japan. Wow, how would... If Nintendo's lawyers couldn't smell that thing in the last three years, I will buy a hat, deep fry it, and eat it live on stream. That's fine. That's fine. Nintendo is one of the most litigious companies in the world, dude. The second only to Mickey Mouse. The mouse is the only more terrifying lawyer pack in the world. That's it. That's all that is. Yeah, you're, you're looking at an article from IGN. Don't go to IGN for this shit. Don't go to any news source for this shit. Go directly to what Nintendo said. And you know what you'll find about it? That Nintendo isn't doing shit. Watch. Let me show you this. So you can calm down. Stop going to third parties. Stop reading headlines. Go into that article and actually read what Nintendo has stated. And you'll see very quickly that the article makes no goddamn sense on every single one of these. Look at this. This is the one from the Pokemon Company. Not actually Nintendo. The Pokemon Company. We've received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. Pow World. We have not granted any permission to use Pokemon intellectual property or assets in the game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. You know what this means? Please stop sending us emails. You have sent us a million emails. Please stop. We will handle it if we're going to do something. Please stop sending us emails. That's all this shit is. Yes, we own Pokemon. Please leave us alone. There's no... Legal claim being made here. There's no, we're sending a lawsuit. There's no DMCA. There's nothing. It is stop sending us messages. We get it. Go away. That's what this is. It's very simple to read. Stop reading all the sensationalism from IGN and everything else. This is please leave us alone. Oh. It's a nothing burger. It is. It actually is a nothing burger. Unironically. Wild to watch, dude. Yeah, stop stop reading Twitter about this. It's the worst, dude. None of the... Look, let me be real with you. It don't matter. None of this matters. Unless the Pokemon Company, or Nintendo, or Game Freak actually sues. None of this is news. As much as everyone's like, Oh, it's news! It ain't shit. It ain't shit. All it is is generating clicks. All it is is generating ad revenue for all of these news cycles that have the, these new sites that have nothing else to talk about, frankly. There's nothing else going on. So everyone's like, look at that video game. There's so much shit going on that we have to generate news out of it. 
every time that the Pokemon company farts into the internet, talk about it. We gotta we gotta spread the fart around until we can get as much. Everyone's got to know about the fart. Every single person on the planet needs to know. It doesn't matter if there's nothing in the fart. It doesn't matter if the fart doesn't even exist at all. We have to tell everyone about it. That's what this shit is. That's all it is. Read the actual thing that, that, po- that the Pokemon company has said, and you'll find that there's nothing going on. Until, and if, they actually form a lawsuit, which there has not been one yet. So who cares? None of this matters. Also, Delver TV, thank you for the rating party of six. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. But yeah, no, if you're trying to make a game and you're worried about your your ability to create art or do any of this kind of stuff, don't be. Make it shitty. Make it weird. Make it to the best of your ability. And to be honest with you, you can form a style out of that. Look at West of Loathing. West of Loathing is by the people from Kingdom of Loathing, and they formed a style out of stick men and silly drawings. And the game's fun. It's great. And it's sitting at 97% positive reviews. Did awesome. Fantastic game. So, use that understanding to do this. Why are you doing this, Tafina? Don't you do that. Don't you bring out the burger. Leave my fry brows in the past where they belong. Long time watcher of the shorts, and happy to see you were live, so I figured, why not full send it? Oh, well, thank you, Delver. That's very nice of you, dude. And thank you for the raid. You're awesome as hell. I'm gonna look at this Winter Wonderland thing. Whoa. I may send an, an alert about that later. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, good lord. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Back before my voice dropped, too. Back before it turned into, into this. What is this voice? So when I was 33, my voice dropped. It actually started when I was like 32, and then slowly dropped until I was about 34, and I'm 36. And it kind of settled here, and it's just stayed like that. I went to the doctor, got like a... I had to do an endoscope where they put it up in my nose, and they had to check everything, and see if I had like vocal cord nodules or anything, that kind of stuff. And it turns out there was nothing wrong. My doctor let me know that, like, sometimes in your mid-30s, as, like, a guy, you can have, like, a second puberty, basically, and your voice drops again. Yeah. So I just had that, and now I just, I have this voice now. And now I can talk like this. Or I can talk like this. Or I can just not give a shit, right? Whatever it's gonna be. I'm a man now. It's finally happened. It's finally happened. At the ripe old age of 33, became a man. And they also said it might happen again when I'm 60, so then my voice will drop all the way down here. And I'll just talk like this. Every In 30 years, it's going to be this, Chet. That'll be me. <laughs> the nightmare is real. Yeah, 30 years from now, it's going to be that, dude. <laughs> now it reverts back high. I go back into my sinus stocking again. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. Deep base. Go deeper. I, I don't know if I can go any deeper than this. I think this is the lowest that I can go. Yeah, I think that's as, that's as low as it goes, and it's kind of hard to do that, to be honest. <laughs> it makes me want to cough every time I'm saying it. I think it's as low as it goes. I think it's as low as it goes. We got ads in a moment here. Taffy timed out by the mods. F. F, dude. <laughs> For good reason. You know better, Taffy. You know better. Are you able to speak out? Wait, are you able to speak how your voice used to? Nah, I can't even do it anymore. I used to be able to do like a good lemon grab too. I can't do lemon grab's voice anymore. It's kind of shit. I used to be able to do like a really high pitch, like obnoxious you know, unacceptable. I can't do it anymore. How old am I? 36. Yeah. Yeah, I can't lemon grab anymore, man. Whoa. Why, hello, Lord Bezos. Are you here to eat the ferrets? I think you are. You are. Terrifying, I know. Yeah, it's terrifying. Drink honey plus raw egg and sing for us, please? That sounds awful. That sounds horrific. Not only can I not sing, but that's gross. Everything you just said is gross. In 30 years, we'll have Ogren Thor? Yes, I'll be all the way down here. Look at you, Eumis. Not like us big Ogren. Look at, look at you, Eumis. 
I can't get any lower than that. I can't do it. All the way down here. <laughs> I need to practice that voice, to be honest. With you. What's as high as it goes? You kind of have to have to move it all the way up here into your sinuses. Then you can talk like this. This is also really hard to do. And it kind of sounds like a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nerd voice, dude. That's that's as high pitch as it goes now. I can't I can't actually do it. I can't get any high, higher pitch than that anymore. A little bit of Urkel. A little bit of Urkel in there. A little bit of helium. Sounds like a 1920s reporter. <laughs> Gives Ned Flanders vibes. It's my um actually voice. That's true, actually. I have a new set of glasses coming, by the way. I had to change my glasses out. No shit. Dude, I can't do the Urkel unless you got the suspenders, man. You'd be like... i flip them out. Squidward, too? No, he's got to sound depressed. Squidward always has to have, have the, like... Uh, kind of, like, depressed, nasally. I don't even know how to do that voice. Thor in a French, French made outfit went, look, all right. I can't pull it off like Sea Dog did. It's just not going to happen, dude. Sea Dog pulled off that, like, Sea Dog made. There's no way I can do what he did. I voted for him in the streamer awards because of how well he pulled off that made costume. And I, I think that out of everyone in the entire community of Twitch, Sea Dog's made, made costume was probably the most powerful made costume any of us could wear, frankly. I, I can't even get near that. I can't even touch that. You won't know until you try? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Zendoria with 500 bits said, Ya, cheer 500, you have been cursed. Your D20 die has now been replaced with a D19. All interactions as a dungeon master in your next campaign or one shot must use this replacement die. D19 plus one. Thanks, bud. This is fine with me. You just remove the one off of it. It's got 19 sides with no one. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. You've just made me impossible to destroy. That's right. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You take the one and you turn it into a 20. No one will ever know. Mitsunari with 500 bits said ya cheer 100 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 apparently twitch increased animated emote slots yes baru had like 50 extra yesterday yeah so we didn't know about this we didn't know twitch was going to do this this is actually a massive w um i i think this is cool as shit i i woke up to this today and somebody said oh you've got i think it was yesterday actually i woke up to it and they were like oh yeah we've got more emote slots these are our emote slots we've got 60 of them because of how many subs you guys threw. We now have 60 animated emote slots as well. So, we're going to be animating a lot of shit. We're going to be animating a lot of shit. So, we're going to have a ton of animated emotes. And I got a dude that already does these for us. So, like, yo. Yeah. And these are separate. So, we're going to have 60 emotes. Ugh. A60 animated emotes at the same time, which is going to be wild. And I don't even have enough ideas for this. So I've reached out to the moderators to try and come up with some ideas. ChatMD is going to be one of them, but that's a normal emote. So I don't even know what we're going to do in there. Maybe I'll have to make my own face in a 4x4 on this. You know what I mean? We'll just have like the largest neat possible. The biggest of neats. I mean, it's got to be, right? There's got to be a massive neat. There's has I don't even know what to do, dude. There's going to be so many emotes. Like we're there's so many emotes where I have to come up. They're they're adding slots faster than I can think of ideas for this. It's wild. Animated Wellington. Oh. How do you keep your hair so luscious? I wash my hair every three days. Suffering from success. It's not even suffering from success. I think it's awesome what Twitch is doing, because they did that not just for us, they did it for everybody. You now have unlocked animated emote slots in line with how many emotes you have. 
So every time you unlock a new emote, you unlock an animated emote slot as well. And that's rad. Yeah, we're going to have sponsored content today in two hours. 6 a.m., my dude. Yeah, from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., we'll have some sponsored video game. Which is kind of interesting. We're going to be playing a game. You guys want to see what the game is? You guys want to see? Hmm? 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 Something new. Something new. We're going to be playing a sponsored video game today. I put it into the announcement already. Let me grab this. Where's Where's the stream announcement? I found it. This is going to be the emote. Or this is going to be the, the game that we play today. No, it's not Raid. I'm never going to play Raid. I don't believe in that game. It's not Raid Shadow VPN, you goblins. Yeah, we're going to be playing Witchstone. It's actually a CRPG. I'm pretty excited for this because the idea is that it has a lot of different choice mechanics. And it's a turn-based CRPG. So I'm really into that, actually. Which is why I was like, yes, I would love to find out about this game. And now we get sponsored by them, which is cool. Yeah, we're going to be playing it today. And um, I'm excited for that. I, I only want to choose games that, like for sponsorship stuff that we are interested in. CRPG. Um, like BG3. That's the, that's the closest that I could say that is in similar, similarity to that. So if you don't know what that kind of genre is, that's that's the kind of game you're looking at, which is cool. Yeah, classic RPG. Yeah. Yeah, so you, that's the kind of thing that you want to look at. Some Bow World today too? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe today. We'll have to see like how I feel after the after the sponsored game. No, I don't want any... No, I'm never going to have... These, these are the things that I will never do on here. You're never going to see energy drink shit. You're never going to see supplements. You're never going to see raid. You're never going to see a VPN. None of that shit's going to be on here because all that shit sucks. All of it sucks. It sucks and you'll never see it. And that's how that works. Not even a little bit. Nope. 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 No. <laughs> what, dude? They got deleted by Nightbot before anybody else. Oh, that's why. Sick. Your message didn't even make it through. You got banned so hard that Nightbot banned you. Insane. Nightbot worked, dude. Took him down. None. 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 All right, next. While Chroma with 500 bits said to err is human, to R is pirate. Hmm. To R is pirate? <laughs> Saiyan GQ said, hey Thor, feeling absolutely today. How do you deal with an absolutely lowest of lows? What's your mindset? And what if it's not a day but much longer? Thanks, my favorite internet uncle. Less than three. Well, think about it this way, right? Let's say you're having a shitty day. That's one in your entire life. You can deal with that. That's one. Let's say that it's longer, right? Okay? So you start positioning yourself so that it's shorter. You can adapt to any situation. You're good at that. You've done it before. You can look back at all the things that you've gone through in the past that were terrible and know that you're still here today, having gotten through those. And that's fine. That's all fine, right? So, like, when you do this, when you realize that you've gotten through all these terrible things in the past, you no longer have to worry about it. Because you realize that you've made it through these types of situations before. Let's say it takes years. It might. It may. But once you're on the other side of that, you go, okay, well, I made it through that. I can make it through other things, too. And you start to realize that the small problems, the weird small problems, don't matter anymore. The ones where people say stupid shit on the internet doesn't matter anymore. The ones where somebody insults you, you realize, you know what? I know what that person's saying isn't true. I don't give a shit. Because you've dealt with bigger problems before. You become way more powerful dealing with those issues than anyone who's dealt with none of them. So if you have conflict, if you have problems you move through in your life, you're going to kick a lot of ass on the other side of those. You will. You just can't let them tear you down permanently. You have to realize you're leveling up through the process of dealing with that. And you can do it. You absolutely can. I did. I know you can too. Just don't lose sight of, the, of yourself in the process. You know? And make sure that you treat people, each individual person, on the other side of that, based on the way that they treat you. It's easy to fall into a trap where you treat everyone based on the way that some shitty person treated you. And it's never going to work. So treat them as individuals. I think that's one of the hardest parts about that. That ends up being very difficult for a lot of people. And it's hard to learn. Hard to learn. 
If you're chronically depressed, you should probably talk to a professional, to be honest with you. Someone on the internet like me is not going to be able to help you through that. But I will tell you, you can make it through, and there's no shame in talking to a professional. In fact, you should. Help sort things out. Works. Legitimately. Lord Conti with 1000 bits said, Ya cheer 10 I blame you for me playing Pal World. I blame you for me thinking about making a game called Gobbos vs. Pandos. I blame you for the things that make me happy in life. I blame you, Seven. You can't, you can't blame me, that's your fault. I exist because of you. You summoned me into the internet, this is all on you, bud. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said, I know this will be very delayed, but you just described several culinary abominations involving Vegemite. That's true. I need you to understand deep in your soul. Inscribe this into your very bones, if necessary. That's fine. Those culinary abominations sound delicious. The Vegemite Pop-Tart should exist. It is Australia Day. Vegemite Pop-Tart should exist for Australia Day. Imagine putting that into a toaster. And the sweet, delicious smell of the Vegemite wafting through your kitchen. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said absolutely. Do. Not. Oh, I am. Please don't celebrate Australia Day. It's Invasion Day. No, I'm going to celebrate Australian Day because Australians are awesome as shit. Every single one of our holidays is tied to something shitty in history. It is fine to celebrate Australian culture on a day that they call Australian Day. It is fine to celebrate 4th of July, even though that was a big bloody war, right? We shoot fireworks from the sky to remember what, it's, what it is like to have feelings about our country that are positive. And there is nothing wrong with that. Just because our ancestors did something that was shitty doesn't mean that we can't be confident and proud in the country that we are today. It is a remembrance of where we were and where we have come from and what we are now, which is no longer that. It is not a callback to return to the times that we were then. And that's something I think a lot of people forget. It is okay to have pride in the place that you live, the country that you're part of, without returning to the way that you were in the past, which is objectively shittier. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. Little X Harpy with 500 bits said hello, not a question. Just wanted to thank you for all the inspiration you have provided for everyone. Your words made me get back into my artsy stuff after a nearly two year long art block. Thank mm. you, truly, and thank you to the goblins, too. Anytime, dude. You're awesome as hell. Thank you. You rock, man. Gold Ship Racinont with 500 bits said Thor, you need to incorporate Thor the Goblin Lord, Inc. Then you can just tell the postal workers that it is corporate mail. <laughs> no, that's not how that's gonna go, dude. Thank you for the rating party of 11 there, Sheep. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, thank you very, very much. You're out as hell, dude. If this makes... It to you. I'm currently writing a paper about you in English class, and my teacher really likes your shorts on YouTube. I won't let the Goblin King Lord of Ferrets down. <laughs> it's kind of amazing, dude. You know what's the funniest thing on the planet? I think I still have this. Hold up. A long time ago. Oh, I've got to have this. I think it's in the Me Memes folder. Oh, it's totally in the Me Memes folder. I'm going to find this before we go forward because it's really funny. Somebody turned me in. Oh, I found it. Just chilling did this. They turned me into an art project. So in their art class, a lot of times here in the U.S., you'll have like a like in high school, you'll have an art class where you have to take the other half of an image and then you have to draw the other half. They turned me in for a grade, dude. <laughs> they had to draw the other half of me. <laughs> and they turned this in and it was pinned up on the wall. My face. Very goddamn funny. It's so good. I don't even know what the grade was. Just chilling did this ages and ages ago, dude. Have you seen this man vibes? Yeah, dude, 100%. So, like, yeah. Hell yeah, turn me in for a grade. Whatever. That's funny as shit. That's so damn funny, dude. Some teacher had to look at that and then put it up on the wall. And then every student in that class had to see it for, like, three months. God, it's so funny. It's so damn funny, dude. I love that shit. Studio Dread with 500 bits said I did a dev live stream where I worked 28 hours straight to make sure I finished my game jam entry and I just submitted a prototype I'm very happy with. I Damn hope right. you enjoy it. How many Thank submissions you for all of your there? inspiration. This was my 8th game and 6th jam game and it's by far my favorite I've ever made. 
That's so awesome, dude. We go to the awards. I am going to the the awards. Yes, I am. Um, and if you'd like to vote for me, you can. So let me go pull that up real fast. Boop, 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 boop. If you want to vote for me, you can do it. Vote early, vote often, chat. There you go. If you don't know where to vote, there it is. We are real stream the awards now. No, I'm gonna be there though, and I'll be wearing. I'll be. I'm gonna be wearing a suit, which is horrifying. Did QT ever answer about which? About what specifically? Vengeance. So hell yeah, dude. Love this song. Your red carpet suit? Yes. Not a not a red carpet suit. I got a I got a suit, a real suit. Yeah. What did you want to know about uh, QT? Would you want to know? You need a large top hat so we can see you. You're gonna be able to see me anyway. I'm six foot two. Where am I gonna hide? Oh, I'm not looking at Thor Chan right now. I'm not doing that. All right, next alert. Gandlav underscore Taz with 500 bits said, Yarchir 500 Hi Thor, you said you love puzzle games. Have you played the Zaktronic games? Zaktronics is cool as shit. I highly suggest this, actually. Let me pull this up. Oh, God, what is it called? What is the name of that game? What the hell is it called? Did you say Thor Chan? Yes, I said Thor Chan. It's a channel inside of our Discord where people just post memes of my face. <laughs> There's also egg posting now. That used to be Thor posting, and then chat demanded that I change it to Thor Chan, which is really funny. Yeah, Shenzhen is the one I'm thinking about. Is it not up here? Wait a minute. I think it's the TIS one that's on here. Yeah, TIS 100. TIS 100 is awesome as shit, dude. I highly, highly suggest this game from Zactronics. That is my proudest recommendation, Thorchan. Dude, the goblins demanded it after you talked about it, Kronos. TIS 100 is awesome. It is phenomenal. It's an open-ended programming game by Zactronics, the creators of Space Chem and Infinifactory, in which you rewrite corrupted code segments to repair the TIS 100 and unlock, unlock its secrets. It's the assembly language programming game you've never asked for. Phenomenal. Yeah, Zactronic is awesome, dude. It is an amazing, amazing game. These are fantastic. You said about Greyhack and it has the world's worst community? No, Greyhack does not have the world's worst community because, no, that's not how that works. If you want a community to be what you want, you need to be that community. If you don't like the way that people are acting inside of a community, you make your own. That's how that is. And when, when people go and say, hey, X game has the worst community, it means that they see people inside of that community that are loud and obnoxious and they immediately say, well, they already won. They own this place, so I'm going to leave. If you don't like the way that people act inside of a community like that, especially in a competitive video game like, like Greyhack, then make a better one. If you don't like them, make a better one. Make one that you want it to be, right? Why do you think we have a section of our Discord devoted to it? That's it. Also, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. League of Legends already has that crown. Let's be real. Jakob underscore Loki underscore Corridor with 500 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 Hey Thor, I found a flash drive in the parking lot. Is it another Stuxnet or a new version of Palworld that blew away in the wind? What are your thoughts? Um, I think I have an image for this. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, I found it. This is um this is probably the the best advice that I have here. Um if you're cold, they're cold, put them in the computer at your work. That's This is this is definitely good advice from an offensive security specialist who who definitely doesn't want to just get into your work network. No, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Hmm, no. Def definitely a good idea. Nothing could go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. People really do that? Yeah, dude. Do you know how many pen tests we've just been like, 
we're going to get the basket of USBs and you just kind of sprinkle them around the place and you put a bunch of files on it that looks like it's from the Christmas party of whatever year and then they then they're like oh I really want to see the Christmas party photos <laughs> and the network's owned fantastic we're in happens every time every time don't do that shit don't be dumb do not plug in the USB it's not cold you know it's not cold it's not cold car kick with ten dollars said I work at FedEx in Washington I work one one of the two sorters so there is a 50% chance I'll touch your play button boxes how dose that make you feel as I said before I'm gonna be writing car kick smells on the box so there's a 50% chance you're gonna get owned by my by my packages which is gonna be really funny to me that's right yep 50% chance of that 50% thanks HTTP Kirby with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 I've been following Heartbound's development for several years, and it startled the hell out of me seeing you blowing up on shorts. Hearing your words has helped me through one of the worst times in my life where I've struggled to find support from the people in my life. I feel hopeful for my progress and the future in a really dark time. Small steps every day, looking forward to see what you do from here. Thank you. Dude, you're awesome as hell. Oh, I need to go handle something. Beans is being a butthead. Beer be. All right, I'm back. Shay's going to be handling it. Yeah, Shay's got to handle it. Beans is being a butt face. Shay turned the top left corner and did not the thing. Thank you. 
You see the big mode game gym? No, I haven't seen it. I had no idea they were doing one, to be honest with you. What happens to games submitted that are malware? Will they be reported? Oh, so I'm part of a hacking group at DEF CON called Psychoholics. There are a lot of friends of mine. If someone does send us malware, which they usually do, I, uh, I'm going to be sending it to my buddy Gern, who is a malware specialist that has worked many, many jobs over his years. And um, yeah, that's just kind of how that's going to go. He's going to tear it apart like a rabid dog, man. Like it's... <laughs> <laughs> you think it's too late to join the jam? Well, seeing as we have 13 hours yes uh, left, I'm going to say yes if you haven't done anything yet. Hmm. I'm going to have to read Tim Sweeney's stuff later. I'm not sure yet. All right, so let's see. Following Heartbats development for several years, and it startled the hell out of me you were blowing up in shorts. Hearing your words has helped me through one of the worst times of my life. I've struggled to find support from the people in my life. I feel hopeful for my progress, and the future is really dark time. And the future in a really dark time. Small steps every day. Looking forward to see what you do from here. Thank you. Any time, dude. You're awesome as hell. Keep it up. Troy Tech with 500 bits said one day a farmhand fell asleep at his job and when he woke up his boss was yelling at him, if I catch you sleeping on the job again you're fired, now get back to counting the sheep. Found a brewery that makes Gruet beer. No hops in it, I'm currently yep. negotiating with them about making a hopless Gruet beer for me. They also mail to private residences. I failed the game jam. All data lost. Clean Slate Vegemite Burgers are here https colon slash slash www.messybenches.com why did you... What do you mean you failed the, the game jam? What do you mean all data lost? What? What? Did you... Did you not keep backups? Did you not keep backups? No. 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 That's not good at all. Do you like Bovril? I've never tried it. I want to. Project got wiped? No! Keep backups! No! No! Git would have saved this man. Git would have saved this man. I'm so sad about that. God damn it. Code Exorcist with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 high. Huh? The guy making small project on a side to see his work having an impact here. Decided to start properly and make a GDD, unlike Good. with my previous projects. Any advice on working on it other than editing the Mass Flux's GDD? You'll find sections of the Mass Flux GDD that don't make a lot of sense to you. Refine it from there. That's a starting point, not a finishing spot, right? So, like, there's always improvements that you can make and little touches that you can change that work best for your team in your style. If you're just blindly copy-pasting what they're doing, it's not going to help you. Not at all. You need to modify it for your own your own methods, right? That's the idea there. Same as with tutorials. Blindly copy-pasting a tutorial doesn't do shit for you. Taking the ideas and teachings of the tutorial and modifying that for your own team, your own game, that's the way to do it. Most definitely. Bezos is about to show up, by the way. The horror is real. You gonna be here? Bezos, you, you arriving yet? I'm waiting. Well, maybe he's not gonna show up. Maybe he's, you know, he's late. Where are my ads, Bezos? Where's my ads? You told me there was going to be ads. Where's, where's my ads, Bezos? You're supposed to be here. It says ads starting soon. You're lying to me. Where's my ads? You give them to me right now. This community de desires ads. Chat yearns for the ads. You're not even giving them. Look, ads starting soon. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. What is, what is this? There's still no ads. The bit is over. Finally. Finally. It waited so long the bit died. There was no more content. I had nothing left to say and he finally shows up. Ridiculous. Bezos frightens me. Good. Good. Sp still no progress, no. It's not the weekend yet. Gotta wait for Shay to be on the weekend.
Why isn't the jam ending called the expiry date? Because <laughs> no one's expiring. You might be perspiring, but not expiring. Amazon standard delivery for ads, five to seven days. When will you be at the streamer awards? During the streamer awards. So the 16th, 17th, and 18th, I will not be on stream. What happened to the worm? Devoured by Lord Bezos. Is that my real voice? Yes. Yes, it is. And so is this one. All it takes is streaming for seven years and a little bit of voice control. And you too can sound like whatever you want. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. If you're desynced, you gotta refresh the page. That's on Twitch's side. You gave the worms to Bajo? Every time. Always give the worms to Bajo, dude. Ugh. You need a beard to go with the incoming gray? No, dude. I'm happy with the incoming gray. I just want long gray hair. Did Bezos at least keep the worms hat when he ate it? I don't know. I don't know if he did. I'm gonna have to ask him, dude. Did you keep the worms hat, Bezos? I mean, you can tell me. You know, you're not gonna be shy about it. Did you keep the hat? But what? Well, he just left, dude. He didn't want to tell me. Shy bastard. Ridiculous. Ridiculous to watch. Ridiculous, dude. He didn't even answer. He just left. It's terrifying. Reem 2K with 2 euros said hello, Pirate Paparin. Chat, how are you today? I'm doing good. It's a good day. It's a good day. I've been fighting pals all week. Performing a little bit of war crimes, you know. Just a little bit. You know, with a musket. It's fun. It's a fun time. Today we're answering questions. We're waiting on the end of the game jam. I announced something cool that I'm doing with simple flips. So that's going to be neat. And I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. Who wasn't here for the, the Simple Flips announcement? In fact, who here knows who Simple Flips is and doesn't know the Simple Flips announcement? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Shout out to Simple Flips, by the way. So Simple Flips does um, kind of multiple times a year what is called a modding competition where they mod... Uh, Super Mario 64. And his whole community does this. It's actually really awesome. It's really cool, and it gets people into the idea of making games. It gets people into the understanding of modding stuff. And it gives out cash prizes to all of it. I'm going to be sponsoring it this, this next time around. So we're going to have our all, whole community engage in it, and then I'm going to be sponsoring it so that there can be more prizes for people. And I think it's going to be something that's really fun. And my hope is that by injecting some money into that, we can incentivize a future of people that want to make games and are more willing to modify an existing structure than they are to make something from scratch so that they can go on and, and do creative things there, which I think is going to be cool. And um, let me actually go find the website for it real quick. This is actually run by them. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. It's probably going to die when you guys hit it. And this is going to be in March, so you're going to have enough downtime between the game jam and this to, to recover. So don't worry about it. And you guys will learn all about this on there. There's a lot of stuff that you can learn from this. Um, he does a lot of really cool stuff, and I, I think Simple Flips is awesome as shit, frankly. Really, really awesome as shit. Yeah. I think it's neat as, neat as hell. So you'll learn a lot of stuff from that. Yeah, the website might die. Just, just bookmark it. You know, there's a lot of you, so... Yeah, I know. I've known Simple Flips for a really long time. Um, dude's awesome as shit. Good friend of mine. We're the world's shittiest botnet. You're the world's best botnet, dude. Most positive community I've ever seen in my life. Awesome as hell. Always willing to engage, even if it kills the website. <laughs> Barnovi with 20 Swiss francs said, Good evening, love listening to your work and voice. I played lately a wonderful game called Slay the Princess. Which is oh, so cool yeah. made, which made me go back to draw on my tablet again, like my avatar. So this is nice. Yeah, no, that's cool as shit. Slay the Princess is like super gruesome, man. I, I have heard that it is like really gory. Is that the case for that one? Because I heard it was. Yeah, is it, is it awesome? Hmm. Hmm. 
you share some resources to learn modding, go to ROMHack. That, that's the website I just linked. This is the best. That's the best one you got, man. Like, Simple Flips in that community there, if you want to learn modding, that's that's the place to go. 100%. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not the sexual kind of slay, guys. It's that. It's the exploding into blood, blood mist kind of slay. That's what that is. It's a different kind of slay. All right. I know it's the internet. You you may not realize this, but you know, it's not good. It's the blood mist slay. It's the blood mist slay. Yeah, could be both. It's not though. Yeah. Orange music with five hundred and ten bits said Yarchir five hundred and ten. Hello Thor. Thanks Hi. for all the inspiration. How do I choose my first project idea and restrain it from growing like a false hydra? At the moment every single idea for a game I'm trying to think of grows into a potential Baldur's Gate 4, thanks. You have to stop yourself from doing that. You gotta make a game design document. Sit down, restrict it. And every time you say, well what if it did this, and what if it did this, what if it did- Stop. What if it didn't do those things? Save those for later. Make something small. Anytime you feel like you should add, 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 no. Pull back. Scope creep. We say no to scope creep. That's how that works. So you wait. You wait. And it's very easy to buy enough more than you can chew in the beginning because you just run rampant with ideas. You need to temper those ideas in the beginning. Yeah, finish 1.0 before even planning 1.1. Exactly. Do not allow scope creep to kill your early projects. Because it will. It's a vicious beast. And it's really, really strong. You cannot fight it at level 1. So, we save that boss for later. We leave scope creep where it is. Until we're a little bit stronger, we can take little pieces of scope creep. But not yet. Not yet. Eventually. Not yet. You fight that at level 1, you're going to lose. You're going to make have to make a new character. You know, it's going to suck. Rocks will fall. Everyone will die. Aquilum, thank you for the raining party of 16. That is awesome of you. You're red. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you very, very much. The mid-game boss isn't the first thing to fight, dang. Yeah, exactly. You're level one, dude. Leave Scope Creep where it is, in the bottom of that damn dungeon where it belongs. The soggy teabag with $10 said me and some friends are making an upstart company and one of our focuses will hopefully be game development. Nice. When you started out, what were perhaps some resources you found helpful for that? I built this for that. I feel like, is this bait? This feels like bait. Might be bait. I made an entire website for you. Like a whole website for you with all of the sources and information that I possibly can to help you to make video games. And now that I've linked this in chat a bunch of times, the website is dead. It's it's actually dead. It's completely dead. Um, bookmark the page. Return to it when it is not dead. But it has everything from like how to pick a genre, how to build a team, what skills do you need, what tools are involved in this, the fact that there is no best engine, there is no best art program, there is no best audio program, how to finance everything like this, what scams should you avoid. Look at this scam. That's the biggest scam I know. There he is right there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that scam. And when you do this, you have two scams. Powerful, right? How to market everything. The fact that you should be building a community. What social media sites you should use. How to launch your game and where and why. All of this is set up for you. All of it. Every little bit of it is set up for you. And you should 100% use this as a resource for yourself, and I have no ads on it. The only thing I have is my own stream embedded right at the top, so you can mute that shit if it's not what you want to hear. That's it. That's all it is. What was Thomas Alone in there? It was one of my favorite games for a while? Yeah, it's there to show you that you don't need to be an amazing artist to make a video game. You can actually do simplistic programmer art, as we call it, because this entire game is just rectangles. And it'll make you cry. Brilliant game. Beautiful game. Metal Mikey. With a $200 donation to the mods. You absolute mad lad. Thank you for feeding the mods. Thank you very much. That is really nice of you. That is really nice of you. They get an extra slice of bread today. That's huge. Well done, mods. Well done. <laughs> seriously thank you very much thank you very very much it's uh that's really nice to do all of those pally.gg donations go 100 percent of the moderators so you're awesome as hell thank you yeah it's really really nice but yeah no that's why i put thomas is alone there fantastic game vandal underscore the underscore rogue said what's this what's this thor has such long hair what's yes. this lusciousness everywhere what's this 
I can't well, believe my eyes, I must be dreaming. Wake up, Vandal Thor's voice is always near. What's this? Why are you like this, dude? Yeah, no, I've I've just got really long hair. Somebody asked me if it was- Somebody accused me of it being a wig, which made me laugh. They're like, no human's hair could be like that. Clearly it is a wig. <laughs> it's, it's like, dude, no. You can see when it gets greasy, too. Do you ever tie them? Nah, dude. I don't like tying my hair up. It bothers the shit out of me. Somebody make a game about spreading jam on toast? I don't know yet. I have no clue, Wolf. You know you're a mod, right? You can just go look. You do know that, right? Like, here's here's the entries. You can just go click that and find out. Yes, someone did. What do you mean, no way? Wolf, this is why you're in a tie for worst mod with Zaphiroth. This is the reason. This right here. This right here is the reason. You're the same. You're the same. Zaphiroth's back on top now. It's Zaphiroth equals Wolf instead of Wolf equals Zaphiroth now. That's right. That's right. Zaphiroth's name comes first now. That's how that goes. Can't believe this. Actually, Truer with 500 bits said just want to say thanks for the jam. My team won't be making the deadline, but we had a great time and learned a lot. I'm glad. Cheers. I'm glad that you learned a lot. Even if you don't finish, it's okay. You'll learn a shitload in the process, and I'm glad that you guys did. You know, engaging in this is okay. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with, with trying and not succeeding. You know, it's it's totally a fine thing to do. You will learn a ton of sh stuff. Every person that engage in some engages in something creative like this, every single one of them, all of you, have won something. And it is all down to you learning a little bit about how you work together, how you work alone, the types of tools that you engage with, the sort of art that you can create, the music that you make, the programming, the voice acting, the writing, whatever it is involved with what you did, you had an experience with this, and that's the point. Yeah. You do learn a ton of shit. You do. 100%. Do you have a date for the next jam? It'll be in January. Or, sorry, it'll be in June for the next one. This one was in January. Next one's going to be in June. I'll get a date for it. We'll set up the page and everything early and all that stuff. Yeah, you only fail if you don't learn anything. Bingo. Yeah, either June or July. Might be July, because July is my birthday. We'll start it on my birthday. That's what we'll do. You're awesome, man. My girlfriend is an aspiring game dev and was stuck. Started streaming and it's just wholesome to see her confidence boost. Send her this website, dude. The developed.game site. There might be stuff in there that she can learn. And hell yeah. Next. Reem 2K with 2 euros said I have gone to the polls and voted GL Ferret Father. <laughs> vote early. Vote often. Vote pirate software. Yeah. Yeah. There. You could you could vote for me on the internet. Look. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where am I? There I am. Look at that. Look at that. You could vote for me on the internet if you want if you want to vote for me. You can you can vote for me. Oh, I can't wait unless you vote for me, by the way. That is how that works. I can't actually lose. <laughs> Thank you for voting for me. Of course I voted for myself on this. I voted for I voted for Primogen to get Primogen in, and he didn't win it, which is fine. And then I voted for myself. Watch this magical star loses it in chat, dude. It was my birthday, July 17th, 1987, dude. 71787. Which size is the text in Heartbound? I think it's like, I think I made it 21 pixels wide. I drew that font. It's very tiny. Yeah. Yeah, Doug Doug's awesome, dude. And my social security number? Well, all you have to do is ask the IRS for your social security number, and that one is mine. So you've already got my social security number. It's your social security number. Sonko Magnus with 500 bits said, Hey J Dog, Jimbo here. We've been watching you playing Pokemon for money and we are concerned. What? We know you left the oil company after the incident, God but who didn't it. crash a tanker and spill a million barrels of oil into the sea once or twice? Come back, man. It will be just like old times. Mad I never worked for an oil company. The company made the lawsuit disappear. Also, people asking too many questions. The sea turtles deserved it anyway. <laughs> Signed, Jimbo, Lucky, Butch, and Skeeter. I never worked for an oil company. My name is not J-Dog. And I have not been playing Pokemon for money, you goddamn goblin. 
Daniel Frankowski with 37 Polish Swatties and 77 Gros said hi chat, by the way, best fighting streamer ever is Ferret Software. 7777777. I can agree with that. The ferrets do fight very well. They're fantastic fighters. I agree with this. I agree with this. Sophie 2 with 50,000 dong said Vine Boom. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Dragon with 50 euros said hi Thor. I wanted to give a little something for a while. But a combination mm. of night shifts and not being Amory can made it difficult. I also wanted to thank you for everything. It's your shorts and long plays that make the difficult days bearable. Life can be tough sometimes. You know, it's okay to sit down and do stuff like that. Just sit down and like engage in content things that you enjoy. But I hope, hope that you find the time to make your own things too. Because it's one of the most fulfilling things you can do. Even if they're small, even if they're silly at first. Moving in a direction is going to be very positive. You know, making something is positive feeling. So, you can do it. Eventually. And I hope you do. Red Cyber Dragon 29 with 500 bits said your grace, I, a lowly goblin, attempted to change my GPU and appear to have shorted my motherboard. Oh. It was the PC with my game jam game on it. So now I have to submit fried game jam. Please let me know how bad it is. 777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777777
because he just couldn't handle it. And I was like, dude, it wasn't that big of a deal. And I told his coworker, I was like, it's not that big of a deal, man. He's like, he's so embarrassed. Like, he doesn't want to come back. <laughs> it's really funny. The guy just imploded. I felt so bad for him, dude. It felt so bad for him because it's just not that big of a deal. It happens all the time. I would also die. It's just so funny to me. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Who gives a shit, right? He was checking you out? Probably. I just got long hair. You can't tell from behind, dude. No one knows. It's a dude with long hair. But yeah, so like, vote for Cardboard Cowboy. 100%. And then I'm in... Which category am I in? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Ah! 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 Pirate software. There we go. And the if you want to know more about these guys, if you want to know more about uh, Vidal and Code Miko and Doug Doug, let me actually show you this real fast. I did a write up for all of the people in our category, and I, I think this is important, right? Like I I know it's like a competition, I know it's like a competitive thing, but I want you guys to see the other types of people that are showcased for specifically software and game development. You know, I'm, I'm really proud of Software and Game Development as a category, that Software and Game Development is a category at Streamer Awards. We fought for this category. I actually put up the user voice for it to make this happen, and we fought for eight months. The whole community rallied around it for eight months to make it happen, and Twitch finally said yes. And then if, if you're unfamiliar with those nominated, check them out below, and I've got a whole post describing their content, giving links to their stuff so you guys can find out about them as well. And I think that's really important to understand is this is a awesome goddamn community on Twitch. It's an awesome goddamn community. Is that a golden kappa? Wait, what? Is somebody... There's a golden kappa train? Holy shit. Wait. It has begun. A golden kappa on Twitch. A golden kappa train. If you engage in this train, you will get a golden kappa for 24 hours. I will put the hype train up. Because it will break. Twitch's UI always breaks. There we go. It'll accurately show the hype train levels here. Enjoy. Enjoy your golden cap, chat. It is now level 9. Ignore any UI you see on Twitch. It is now level 10. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going through the alerts. A spicy soft boy said don't use closed source neural interfaces. Don't trust Elon with your brain. I'm not gonna trust anyone with my brain. That shit's mine. Mine. Gemin underscore face with 500 bits said hi, Thor. Hubby and I are making Thor chicken for dinner tonight. We're what? so going to bread that shit, cook that shit, and eat that shit. Yar heart, yar heart justice for dumpy yar heart, yar heart. These guys eat shit. Freddy. Tail underscore of underscore shinobi with oh 500 God. bits said hello, Thor. Some university friends and I will be partaking in the global game jam. We weren't able to finish our project on time last year and felt intense crunch on the second day. Makes sense. It of course is expected, but do you have any tips on how to finish on time and deal with the stress? Take Thank the you, moments that you guys... Good everyone. Take the moments you guys got jammed on, like the things that were holding you back, and try to find a new way to solve that one problem. You may not be able to solve all of your problems, but you can not make the same mistake in the same way twice. That's the most important thing. Don't make the same mistake. Make new mistakes. So you can learn from those new mistakes. That's the most important out of everything that you could do. Don't make the same mistake. That's it. Cat Coro with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you heard of the game Islands of Insight? It's mm. a massive open world puzzle solving game claiming 10k puzzles. It's you releasing next month. Yar bongos. You can't know me. It won't know me like this. It doesn't work that way. You need the sound, you goblins. There's no sound with this. Doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. Look at all these gnomes, dude. Look at these. Look at these goddamn gnomes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous gnome. Look at these gnomes, dude. Zimbabwe. <laughs> you managed to get a whole Zimbabwe in there? I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you for the Zimbabwe, dude. Incredible, actually. The entire Zimbabwe. That's a, that's a long word. That's a Scrabble score is what that shit is. It's level 15, Chet. The Golden Hype Train is level 15. This is nuts. It's going. It's going. The Golden Hype Train. I think if it gets to level 40, it adds everyone in the Discord, by the way. 
I think it's the level that I set it to. The music is growing. What's the record? We have the record. You guys have the global record right now. You got it to level 55 at like 1600%. Here, let me actually see. Yeah, the current record is level 55 at 1906%, set by you. We, this is our world record. You did this. That's yours. Did you try to write France? <laughs> What's the other pirate software server to the left? This is the actual pirate server, which is our Ashes of Creation guild. Yeah. When is this guy not streaming? When I'm sleeping. When are you not watching? When I'm not streaming. Ross the pasta. We're doing a golden hype train right now. It's going off on its own. YouTube Shorts is blowing up. That's how I found you? Yes. Thank you very much. We're now at... 452 million views on YouTube, by the way, which is nuts. Next. Travis of Artexes with 1000 bits said, Oh, look who it is. The guy who is burnt into my OLED monitor. Maybe consider changing your dumbass body from being so stationary. At this yeah. point, you're willfully damaging your consumer's hardware. No. You know what's really funny? You said, oh, look who it is. And then immediately in my brain it said, it's look who it is. I've watched too much Simple Flips. I've watched too much. Was that, was that a hundred gifted subs? Axolotl with the 100 gifted subs. The train went from level 16 to level 18 in a single go. Holy shit. Axolotl. That is a lot of gifted subs, man. That is a lot of gifted subs. Oh, and by the way, Twitch made it so that affiliates can now get 60-40 and 70-30 on all of their subs on Twitch. Hell yeah, Twitch. Open that shit up for the affiliates. That is awesome. So proud of that change. Fantastic, dude. Fantastic. Look at all the... Oh my god, there's so many bits. Naraki98 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, so looking close at buying queue. Heartbound, could you give a small description about it and love the streams a lot best streamer I come across? Don't buy the game. Play the demo first. The reason why is because Heartbound is an extremely experimental RPG. It is a choose-your-own-adventure RPG. It is very different from any other RPG you've ever played. Everything you do in the game changes something. All of it. Everything you do in the game changes something. And that's very important to understand. It's incredibly, incredibly different from other RPGs. So please play the demo first. If you like the demo, you may like the game. Dextra Slime with a 20 gifted subs. My god. We're already at level 19 in the trade. Level 19. Ebenezer underscore McCoy with 1000 bits said, Why couldn't I have gotten the op memory, Tism? I just got, don't understand body language, tone of voice, and crippling depression. You can learn body language and tone of voice through pattern recognition. It just takes time. A lot longer for you. It'll be harder for you, but it doesn't mean you can't adapt. You can do this. Put your mind to it. Start to analyze it in a more... Instead of innate way, an analytical way. Look and see how someone reacts and start to associate that body language. You can do it. I'm just gotta try. LK Sayron with 500 bits said, Hi, found your channel and I think it's super interesting. I wanted to ask you, do you know why a lot of games do not provide support for DualShock PlayStation controllers on PC? Yeah. Is it out of laziness or is there some sort of issue with copyright or the icons? No. Or perhaps there's more to it. Have a the good day. The reason why is because Xbox is owned by Microsoft, so those work out of the box. Adding that stuff for PlayStation is like really annoying to work with. It's not laziness. It's it's compatibility and, and usually driver related. The drivers for Xbox controllers are right there. The moment you plug in an Xbox controller to PC, it works right out of the box. You don't have to do anything. If you have to do that for for those PlayStation controllers, it's not the same. It's super annoying. What's a Golden Kappa Train? A Golden Kappa Train is something that happens randomly on this website. Uh, we have no control over it, and when you engage with it, you get a Golden Kappa for the next 24 hours. And now we have ads. Yeah, Steam Input is amazing. Steam fixes the controller stuff. Bingo. Really good shit. Yeah, at the end of this train, you will get a Golden Kappa Train if you've thrown at least 100 bits or one sub. You can also use your Prime, I believe as part of it. Also, tier 3 subs make the train move faster. We're at level 19.
Did you go to any game jams in the last two years? No, I host them. I do them every six months. Gotta wait. Yeah, it's 100 bits, a prime sub, or a tier 1 sub, or a gifted sub. Whatever you do, it'll give you, it'll make you part of it. TLNet Quirtify, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, that is really nice of you. Thank you very, very much. Stream dead? What? <laughs> this dude just said stream dead. What? Definitely not, my dude. Definitely not. Stream dead? Hmm. Dead stream lol. Don't say it. Now everyone's gonna believe it. God damn it. Cosmic Shitstorm. With 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Any insights on why there's so little indie multiplayers? Networking model is really annoying to make, frankly. It's, um... It makes it really hard to tackle. However, with Steam Play Together, you can just do it. You don't even need like anything else. You make a local co-op game and people can play it multiplayer over Steam remotely and you're done. It's a fantastic tool. And it is free and it is part of Steam, so you don't even have to implement anything. Just make local co-op like co and you're done, dude. It's great. Oh! Bezos is receding. We've survived. The hype train is level 20, Chet. You're going. Next. Kivacom Games with 500 bits said I have a prediction, big game companies are gonna be falling by their own weight, except for yep. a few, from software, and only indie and small companies are gonna be the new meta of game dev in the next five years. I think for now, yes. I think you're likely, likely correct, and I think it's mostly because of mismanagement, not from anything else. It is trying to run a game studio as a business, instead of trying to run a game studio that does business. That's the difference. And I think that's the big mistake that these large studios are doing right now. It's not how it works. And it never will be. Next. Mixed Source Studio said, Hey Thor, my and my son's game jam entry is in. It's a Ziptex hope that's okay, we made it in GMS2. Was really fun. I have an idea for a game but it's a 3D game. When I look at Unreal it looks massively more complicated than GMS2. Any advice for getting over that fear? Or is it just make a room, make a player, and make it move? It's make a room, make a player, and make it move. The only reason you're afraid is because you're not familiar. Once you're familiar with it, it's not that scary. It's like moving into a new house and not knowing where all the corners are, not knowing how the shadows play at night, thinking someone might be in there with you because it's unfamiliar. A year later, you're walking naked through your living room in broad daylight. It's kind of how it works. It's how it always works, and you know it. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. Eventually, it doesn't matter. The Lord of Night 1 with 1000 bits said hello Thor, I'm currently working as a support analyst for an ERP, do you think it's possible to move from there to security in this industry? Yes, I super do. Um, so like, if you're working in any position at all, like you're doing support analyst, that's actually a great position to be in. I think I would, I would say what you should do is get a very strong IT background, and also, so like any type of help desk stuff that you can do, support analyst is a really good spot though. Move from that into any type of heavier IT role to learn more about the infrastructure, more about the things and solving problems for that. And in our role selection area, which is up here, channels and roles, select hacking, go down to the hacking section, and there's a whole section of the Discord specifically for you to learn a bunch of shit. And we have tons of resources in there for you. Tons of resources. So like, yeah, do this. Learn this stuff. Fantastic job. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Any type of analyst position is going to help you a lot. Any type of analyst position. Even if it's that. Even if it's that. I know that may seem weird, but like any type of analyst position is totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. If you're doing analyst stuff at all. Even if it's for that. Axolotl with 20 gifted subs. What in the name of science? And Spying Win with the 20 gifted subs. What do analysts do? They analyze. You're taking in data and you're trying to tear it apart and find inconsistencies and all kinds of stuff. Right? All kinds of stuff there. Leviathan with another 10 gifted subs. My god, dude. I do think it's funny... I hate... I'm gonna be real with you. I hate acronyms. 
But to be real with you, the reason the reason why I hate acronyms is because when you said an ERP, I understand that you mean an enterprise resource system. Most of chat is from the internet. It's gonna be real, right? <laughs> yeah, it stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, guys. It's a different thing than what you thought it was, alright? It's not it's not Goldshire. It's not Goldshire, okay? It's different. It's different. I know. I know. Okay. Jesus. Favorite with 500 bits said if you like XCOM, you'll probably like Phoenix Point. It is mm. made by the same devs and it is XCOM with the shooting mechanics of Valkyria Chronicles. I'm gonna have to check that out. That sounds cool as shit. That actually sounds really awesome. God damn. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm gonna check that out. That sounds really cool. Brian with $4.99 said you and Penguin Zero need to collab. You know, that'd be cool. He could tell me about his mags, dude. <laughs> I love his content. I always have. His room is cool as shit, too. His, his like, content creation room. He's got cool stuff all over the walls. He's got cool stuff all behind him. I, uh... I sit to pay the boxes. <laughs> I gotta clean up my office. Oh, it's funny as hell. It's very funny. It's very funny. Hype train just hit level 24. Guess you go. Alucard with $20 said good morning. Oh, great. Goblin King. I'm assuming by the time this message reaches hits the TTS box, you'll have already discussed the topic, but I want your thoughts on the recent layoffs over at Microsoft Game Division. Axelon will thank you for the 100 gifted tier 2s. Holy shit, man. My, um, my take on the stuff at Blizzard is this, man. I think that what's happening to Blizzard is exactly how we thought Microsoft was going to clean house. The one concern that I have is that Alan Adham stepped down. With Mike Ybarra and Alan Adham stepping, stepping down, that means that they have lost faith in the company and the direction of the company, and they don't feel that it can go in a direction that matters anymore. And that's a devastating blow. The dream's dead for them. Whether the company pulls itself out or not, that's unknown. But as someone who worked there for seven years and like was a part of all of Blizzard going all the way back because my dad worked there for 23 years, that's not good. And that deeply concerns me. Yeah, it really does. It's a different company now. Axelotl with another hundred gifted subs. Dude. Dude. Holy shit. Thank you very much. The hype train just went from level 22 to level 25 in like a minute. What in the name of science, dude? They're doing it again, because it's golden hype train. Next. TYL3R from Earth with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I am an CS engineer at a large investment banking firm and I'm doing less technical work than I thought I would. Okay. I have a fear that my skills will atrophy. Have you ever experienced this? Yeah, and usually what I do is I go build something on the side at home. Your skills only atrophy if you allow them to. You know, we, we go to the gym so that we can work out so our muscles don't atrophy. You go home and you work on side projects so your skills don't atrophy, right? You do your day job to make money so you can fund your passion projects. Don't let yourself atrophy. Make sure that you clear it with your work so that you're allowed to work on these types of things. But if you work at a bank, they likely are not going to stop you. So do it. Clear it. Go make some stuff. Don't let those skills atrophy at all. Yeah. That muscle memory will stay there, even if they atrophy a little bit. Get back on the bike, exactly. 100%. Der Zocco with 5 euros said, Hey Thor and greetings from Germany. Sorry if you answered before, but what do you think of your streamer awards nomination? I think it's crazy. Um, I, I have been telling people, yes, go vote for me. But at the same time, dude, like, just even being nominated for something like that is unreal to me. Like, really unreal to me. I've been streaming for seven years. The amount of critical success that's happened in the last three months is... It hasn't even really sunk in. It's like... I wake up every day going like... Am I awake now? Is it over? <laughs> and it's just... I don't know. It blows me away, dude. It blows me away completely. And I, I can't thank you guys enough. I can't wait. I can't thank you guys enough. Legitimately. You guys are incredible. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. I actually put an announcement to showcase all the other creators that are a part of this as well. So Code Miko, 
Doug Doug and Vito are all on here as well. So you guys can learn about their content because I, I want you to know about them. I want you to. I, even if I win, even if I don't win, I want you to learn about every one of these people because software and game development finally has a category on Twitch and now also has finally been recognized with the streamer awards. And that's a phenomenal thing. You know? Rising Tide raises all ships, man. That's what that is. And it's so goddamn cool. It's so cool to see. Yeah. So yeah, this is rad as hell. And I hope you do vote for me, because I do want to win. <laughs> but I think we all want to win. That's how it works. That's why it's a thing, you know? But to be real with you, I, I have no delusions of grandeur. If I don't win, I get it. And if I do win, that's wild. And that's just kind of how it works. Everybody hopes they win. That's how it is. Tuna Prodigy with 500 bits said, Hey Thor and chat need some opinions. Starting a Pathfinder campaign soon and can't decide between Half-Elf Fighter, Tengu Magus and Gnome Summoner. Thoughts? Choose Gnome Summoner, but not how you think. You're not actually a gnome that summons. You are a person that summons gnomes. That's how that works. As your minions. And then you fling them at things. You yell fireball every time you throw one. Gnome Summoner, dude. Fantastic move. Sanity underscore not with 500 bits said this is message to chat. Guys, I have just bought the demo and Steam didn't charge me for it. Quickly, get it's the demo free. for free before they fix this bug. It's been free. The demo is free. Why are you like this, dude? Holy shit. Level 26. Axolotl with another 100 gifted subs. Dude. Outrageous move. That is so many. Name of the so retuber many. with five Canadian dollars said hello Thor. I Whoa. just found this neat little horror game on Steam called Kinito Pet. Even if you're not into horror, it's so unique it's worth checking out. What is this called? I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna pull this up. One moment. Grabbing it over here. Kinito Pet is a psychological horror experience that takes place through Kinito, an early 2000s virtual assistant. Kinito is able to walk, talk, browse, adapt, and play games as Kinito is like no other with its adaptive technology. It's... Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's so creepy. To tell me information, simply type your input into the box and press OK. He looks like a little axolotl head. The internet. I love this. Dude, I love the shit out of this. Yeah, it's evil bonsai buddy, dude. Bonzi buddy. Yeah, clippy horror game. Yeah. Oh, I love these graphics, dude. This is so neat. When did this come out? January 9th. 99% positive. God damn. I might play this on stream. I love the shit out of weird games like this. I love the shit out of that a lot, dude. I love that a lot. That's so damn cool. Weird. Weird. Looks awesome. I'd love to see you stream it. Yeah, man. Hype Train's at level 26. You absolute mad lads. Tiny Tusk with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, my Hello. old roomie, he asked me a question the other day. He tried to ask it in chat too, but it was missed. Here the question is, does ants sleep? Also, since I started watching you, I have started going to the gym six days a week. At the start, I could only do five minutes of biking. Now I can do 30 minutes and 45 minutes of muscle workout. Thank you for the inspiration to better myself, even though I am an early retiree. You want to know something interesting? Ants actually sleep a shitload more than you think they do. They do naps. Ants, on average, sleep between 200 and 300 times a day every day usually between 20 and 30 percent of a given colony will be asleep at any given moment yeah they nap a lot dude it's different for every species of them too they do naps each ant does 200 to 300 naps a day they just take little robot nap moments it's really cool 
I love ants a lot. I actually went to college to be an entomologist, uh, specifically in myrmecology, which is ant science. How do you know this? Because because of that. <laughs> I'm a big ant nerd, dude. I'm a huge ant nerd. I'm the largest nerd of ants. I love ants. I love ants. I love ants. Also, thank you for the sixty-nine dollars to the moderators. You rock. Level twenty-seven, dude. Level twenty-seven. That's fantastic. Ants Canada? I love Ants Canada. Love their stuff. I actually have a bunch of formicariums from them. I used to run ant colonies on stream. Yeah. I, it's a thing that I really enjoy. You, if you look back at my old VODs and stuff, you can find the ant colony out live on stream. Did you give the cursed quest? Oh shit, the cursed quest. Oh shit. We got 30 minutes until the uh, sponsored portion of the stream, by the way. 30 minutes until sponsored. Just about 30 minutes now. That hype train is still going, dude. That is bananas. It's level 27. This is, this is bonds. Like, bonkers, dude. What is today's sponsor? Go into the stream announcement section and you can see. It will be there soon. Soon. You need a timer for that? Nah. The timer's me, dude. I am the timer. Next. It's Junth with 500 bits said hello Thor and hello chat. I wanted to ask about ADHD and programming. I'm sure. struggling to focus on L1 task at a time. Any advice? Number one, Axolotl, thank you for the 69 gift subs. What the... what? What? What in the what? That is so many subs. That is so many subs, dude. And number two, so ADHD and programming, you're struggling to focus on one task at a time. Any advice? Yeah. So, best thing you can do, instead of going and just saying, I'm programming today, say, I'm programming this today. Give yourself a list of five things. And don't do the second one until you do the first one. And when you finish that one, check it off. Now you only have four things. Now you only have three things. Now you only have two things. And that's fine. The less things you have, the more focused you become. And you train yourself in that focus based on that list. It is difficult. It will be different for each person. And if you have ADHD, you're adapting to a situation that is already stacked against you. But that doesn't mean you can't succeed. You'll find ways to do it. And using a list is going to be the easiest way to start accomplishing that. If it's to a point where it's too difficult for you, you may want to seek like more professional help. But try it first, you know. Try it first. Give yourself a chance. That's the biggest one. Also, holy bajolies, dude. Axolotl with 44 gifted subs. Shanty plays with 10 gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. God damn. That is a lot, dude. Hype Train is at level 28. 28. Radish HH with 500 bits said, I am an 18-year-old about to graduate high school and I want to be in cybersecurity. If you were my age again, how would you do it? 18-year-old about to graduate high school and I want to be in cybersecurity. What would you do? I would go and engage in all the resources that we have for the hacking community inside of the hacking section of the Discord, and I would go to DEF CON, and I would meet people, and I would talk to them. I would find an area of hacking that you really like, because here's the thing, man. Hacking isn't one thing. It's a bunch of subclasses. I do physical access control systems, that's breaking and entering. I do Wi-Fi related vulnerabilities, web related vulnerabilities, and social engineering. All of those are subclasses. Networking model shit? I can do some of it, but there's people that are way better than me. You know? Hardware-related stuff? I can do some of it, but there's people that are way better than me. There's all kinds of different directions on this. And when you realize that, you'll find that there's many people out there to learn from. And many of them are going to be better than you. And that's exactly what you want. It's exactly what you want. Holy moly, man. That is so many gifted subs. El Manu with the 20 gifted subs. Piccolo with the 5 gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. We are now at level 29. I think when it gets to 40, it'll actually alert the entire Discord. <laughs> I think that's what I wrote into it? Let me check. Hold up. Actions. Uh, Where is it? I have a whole thing for the train. Yeah, if it's 40, then it's going to release everything to the Discord. It'll be like, ah! ah! Should not have told us that. No, it's going to do it. It's going to add everybody. If you get there, it's going to add everybody. I love this weird Bezos image. What is this? 
What is this shiny Bezos, dude? There's another one there. What is this? Why is this... Why is Bezos releasing jam and then having it be swept up? What's happening there? Why is there a Bezos jam image? That's horrifying. Yeah, it's a super image. It's super... Whatever it is. Super reaction. But look at it. Blur. It's gross, dude. Blastoise. With the five gifted subs. Thank you very much for that, dude. Alright, next. Fermaseppo with 500 bits said, Hi, I love your content and I wanted to share something that's troubling me. I am a nuclear engineer and I'm pursuing a PhD. Nice. However, I think the nuclear industry is slowly dying out despite the renewed media interest. Do you think it would be wise to switch industry and start from scratch again? I don't believe the industry is dying out in any respect. Um, I think many countries are starting to realize that that's a good option. It's a clean option, which is something funny. I, I think the funniest thing that I ever find is this, and this is, this is sort of the thing, it really comes down to education, right? So, the most interesting thing that I've, I've heard about nuclear energy is people go, well, it's really dangerous. And I go, well, how is it dangerous? And they're like, well, all that radioactive smoke coming out of the top. And then you have to remind them, no, that's actually just steam. And there's no radioactive material in that at all. And then all you have to do for educating people is say, go look up how radioactive coal ash is. And they go and find that out. And they're like, I would like, I would like nuclear power plants much more. I would like that. Please, please get rid of coal in my area. <laughs> uh, I learned a lot working at the DOE, and that was one of them. You know? Yeah, coal ash is insanely radioactive, dude. Yeah. Insanely so. Uh, but no, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's dying out. But if you are working in the industry and you'd like to switch, it's okay to try other things in your off time, right? Try some things that you may enjoy. See if you like something. Also, Axolotl with another 100 gifted subs. You complete and total mad lad. What is happening, dude? Thank you for the five gifted subs, hotshot. My god, dude. US has this strictest QA for nuclear? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. What is happening? Darknex with the 20 gifted subs. The hype train has just hit level 30. It's level 30. What's... What's happening? What is happening? <laughs> you already have the world record, Chet. You already have it. You don't have to do this. You already have... You have the world record. You already have the world record. It's level 55 at 1900%. You have it. It's yours. It's yours. Silly as... Thank you for the five community subs. You're not stopping, are you? You're not going to stop, are you? You mad lads. Yeah, I think I think the nuclear industry is uh, an issue of an, of education more than anything else. That being said, if we do manage to crack fusion, that'll be the end-all be-all. That'll be it. Because that's just, that's the holy grail right there, right? Although, to be honest with you, nuclear power in space is probably going to be a lot better than fusion in space. Because we can't make that form factor small enough. But nuclear, modular nuclear reactors are becoming more and more of a thing. So I think there's always going to be a place for what you're doing. At least for now. Thank you very much for the $100 to the moderators. And the $10 to the moderators. You guys kick ass. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Modular nucle nuclear reactors do currently exist. They're not as small as they would need to, but they do exist. Yeah. Fusion is also nuclear. Traditional nuclear is fission. Yes, but I'm, we're talking about nuclear fusion versus nuclear fission. When we speak of nuclear, we usually mean we usually mean the nuclear rods, right? When that's what people are thinking about. Large steam stack, all that fun jazz. Yeah. What would be the best dog to have together with a ferret? None. I don't like mixing ferrets with other large animals. It's dangerous. Axolotl with the 44 gifted subs and MN Solrun with the 20 gifted subs. Holy moly, man. You guys got two minutes left, it looks like? 
This is nuts. You guys are wild. Thank you very, very much. Voyager 1 was nuclear powered. Le yes, I believe so. Voyager 1 and 2, I think, are both nuclear powered. It's pretty normal. Small nuclear reactors like that. Pretty normal stuff. No, not 14 brain cells. No. No. Empyrean Seraphim with 500 bits said today I found a game that was one of my fundamental childhood experiences. It's called The Incredible Machine, a physics-based yes, Rube yes, Goldberg puzzle yes. game from the I DOS I love days. The Incredible Machine. If you've played it, you're old. If you yeah, haven't played oh. it, or if you want to experience it again, it's web hosted at the following link. HTTPS colon slash slash www.myabandonware.com slash game slash the dash incredible dash machine dash 1MG slash play dash 1MG. I just got baited so hard, dude. I just got baited so hard. I got owned. I think Incredible Machine has something new. Let me pull this up. No, they don't have another one in there. Another $20 to the moderators. Thank you very, very much. We are at le level 30 now. There is one minute left, chat. This is it. Train is pulling into the station. How do you normally handle envy and jealousy? I don't have those things. I don't kind of feel that. I want people to succeed. I don't know. That's just like not part of me. I think it might have been when I was younger. And I realized over time through experiences that that shit is kind of irrelevant, frankly. That if you're stopping someone else from succeeding, you're stopping all of humanity from succeeding. You're just ending, ending up shooting yourself in the foot at the end of the day. That's kind of how it works. Huh? Yeah, Incredible Machine is amazing. Inc incredible fun game. An incredible machine. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. I love the queen. It's very nice of you. Oh! Oh my god. You got it with like 10 seconds left. By the way, I'm going to be real with you. You are now at the level where you cannot believe the UI anymore. The UI is a lie. It will constantly fail at updating. So do understand this. Whatever it shows on there is wrong. That's why we have this API going directly into the Discord. The Discord is the only thing that is correct. Ignore the UI. Listen to the Discord. This is the only thing that matters. If you're trying to do this, it's always going to be wrong. The Discord is the only thing that's right here. They're, the front end of Twitch breaks when you get to this level of hype train. We know that, which is why we built this. Yeah. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Nekoware. It's incredibly nice of you. Yeah, you guys just necromance that... You should check out Enshrouded. I might, actually. I've been thinking about it. Thank you very, very much. <coughs> Next. Grim underscore cynicism with 500 bits said, Oh, H H H H H I play a psyker in D-A-R-K-T-I-D-E. That's very nice. Warp spawn. Now please face the wall. No, 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 no. Evander7 <laughs> with $5 said, Have you seen the Norp Apolog? It's a yes. game coded in Rust. Crab 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 I've seen the Norp epilogue. I want to play this on stream because I love incremental games and this looks like a blast. It's sitting at 96% positive. Uh basically it's an incremental game where you make little dudes and little dudes do damage to a rock and you get more more stuff to buy more dudes to get more rock to just keep doing that. You just keep doing it over and over again. You hit the rock and the rock gives you more stuff. You'll never get me. You'll never get even if your game is made in rust. That's fine. I won't get rust disease by touching the video game. What is that? Adareth with the five gifted tier twos. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. We have to gather the Norps. Yeah, this is a cool game. We got ads. Bezos loves a Norp, dude. There you go. I need to use the bathroom. So I'm gonna be right back. Give me just a moment. I will leave up the train for your viewing pleasure. One moment.
I have returned. I have returned. I have returned, chat. And yes, I washed my hands. It would be gross not to. What in the name of science? What have you done? XJBFX with the 10 gifted subs. Chris with the 5. Neckware with the 5. Nia Mako with the 100 gifted subs. Holy shit. Jaffa with the 77 gifted subs. Unfortunate to wash my hands. Wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Otherwise, when you go to snack, you're eating butts. Which, maybe you like that. Alright, maybe I won't judge you. But you should still wash your hands. Wash your damn hands. Thank you very much, by the way. Thank you very much for these subs, dude. This is wild. What are you doing? Dark Nex with the 50 gifted subs. Holy shit, man. You have a picture of your setup? Oh, you just crashed the ferrets. They crashed. <laughs> Once chat starts going really fast, the ferrets can't keep up and they just die, dude. This is wild, man. This is actually wild. Level 32, man. How do the ferrets work? Well, they're a program and you crashed them. Yeah. What is the gold train record? It's ours. The, the max hype train record is the same. The max hype train record is level 55, 1906%. That's you. They are, Falangor. It's a golden hype train. The golden has blessed us once again, and chat has lost its mind. My god. Lethal Entropy with the five gifted subs. We are now at level 33. Also, Falangor, we've created this channel that hooks up directly to the API, so when the front end of Twitch inevitably dies, which it will during this, we know what level it is. <laughs> This is absolutely outrageous. Next alert. Absolute voltage with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 today is my last day at my current job and I'm starting a new job on Monday. Where I'm going to a 4 p.m. start time 2.30 a.m. end time. My current job I wake up at 3 a.m. to get ready for work. What's the best way to completely swap my sleep schedule? Let's look at this puzzle. So a new job on Monday where I'm going 4 p.m. start time, 2.30 a.m. end time. My current job, I wake up to get at 3 a.m. to get ready for work. This is going to sound awful. Don't sleep for a whole day. If I need to completely reset my sleep schedule, I just don't sleep for a day. For one day. And then I reset it in one go. I know that sounds weird, and it's not the healthiest solution, but that's exactly what I do. If I need to do the whole thing, I just go, oh, not sleeping for a day, reset the whole thing. And that's it. That's all it ends up being. It's it's the shittiest answer, but it, yeah, it's horrible, but it's the reset button for me, for sure. Yeah, it's because I, I there's no other way to do it. If I try to sleep a super long time, it just, everything breaks. So I'm just like, okay, well, this is going to be a shit day. Tomorrow will be better, you know. doesn't work first time, it's worked for me every time. Just reset the machine. I mean, I turn the human off and back on again. That's normal, right? Haha, <laughs> fellow, fellow humans. Oracle Kuhn with 500 bits said I've been working in cybersecurity for almost five years now. I have no formal IT background. I'm good okay. with computers, of course, but I really want to transition towards security architecture. My boss is supportive but expects me to figure out how by myself. Do you have any advice for me to educate myself to make that next step? Also, yeah. happy birthday. Please get the ferrets some ferret cake. <laughs> ferret cake, dude? Is that made out of ferrets? They might eat it anyway. So you're trying to go towards security architecture. My boss is supportive but expects me to figure it out 
out how by myself. I've been in cybersecurity for almost five years. You want to go towards security architecture. At that point, it sounds like you need certs. If your boss is supportive, they'll pay for that process for you to go through that. Right? That's kind of how that would go. Is the Discord broken? No. Discord's not broken. We're sitting at level 33. Everything is fine. That was three minutes ago when that started, so you guys have two minutes left on this. Yeah, so I think at that point it's going to be certifications and a home laboratory. I think this is the most important one for you. If you are... If you are working with this in a way that is, you're trying to learn this stuff, you're trying to transition towards security architecture, I really think that you need to build what is called a home lab. Home lab is the way. Home lab. And what that does is it allows you to set up your own infrastructure at home. You can learn using this by creating networks, trying to build secure networks, trying to do certain attacks against it, maybe set up an instance of, you know, like, I don't know, like all kinds of different attack methods, frankly. You start looking at, you've been in offensive security, you know what this is. You can try to use a whole bunch of different ways of attacking your own home network and learn how to defend against those things in a real-time environment that you built. And it's great to do, you know. On top of that, you can use things like Hack the Box, you can use Try Hack Me, because they have tons of machines that are working the same exact way as you building that home laboratory. All of those things are really good, really positive ways to go, and that's going to move you towards that security architecture. Having the home lab means you are setting up your own security architecture and trying and testing things, which is a good thing to do. That'll give you that kind of experience, and I think that works. I think that really works. It's level 33, Chet. It's level 33. My god, there's so many gifted subs. That is so many. It's in the final minute. I don't even know how many seconds are left. Don't wait for it. The UI lies. If you're going to do it. It hit level 34. My god. I didn't think he was going to do it. I was getting ready to turn the music off. You absolute mad lads. Jaffa Rex with the hundred gifted subs. Holy shit. That's so many subs, dude. Slappy Daffrob1 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, good to catch you on stream. I'm moving from a tier 1 help desk role into an internal AI consultation role. There's nice. been no discussion of a pay increase. Should I be having that conversation now or when I'm officially in the new role? Ooh. Ooh. You should be having that discussion immediately. Yeah. That should be immediately. That's one of the worst things on the planet, man. We'll discuss your pay when you're in the position. Hell no, you won't. You'll discuss that pay right now. That's how that shit's gonna go. No way I would wait. No way I would wait even a little bit. Not even a little, man. That's wild. That's absolutely wild. Im Just Spirit with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 436 Yar Cheer 64 Hey Thor, after entering and not completing a couple of jams, we're very close to submitting for this one. Do it. One worry is how much of a prototype it is. While you said it should be a prototype, which made us less strict on ourselves, the game still feels incredibly bare. My question is, when it comes to an initial prototype, what should be prioritized being implemented and created and what should be left on the GDD for later? Gameplay loop. Gameplay loop and stability. You got 12 hours to go, so make sure your game is stable before you submit. There's 383 entries, so we got a lot to chew through, but we got a lot, and I do mean a lot, of judges now. Admiral Baru, Bajo, Co Carnage, Doig Swift, Excessive Profanity, In Game Asylum, Kit Boga, Ludwig, Moo Hoodles, and myself. We're gonna be kicking some ass. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be chewing through everything, and all of the Pirate Software moderators as well. So here we go, man. Here we go. Gonna be fun. Hope you guys have a blast. Yeah, Ludwig's doing it, man. He also said he's ready to get scammed, which is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, man. I've trained at level 34. It was two minutes ago. You got three minutes left. Yeah, Bonjo's gonna be on there, too. Thank you for the five dollars to the moderators, not Irma, and five dollars to the moderators, Sophie, and twenty dollars to the moderators from Zoltra Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Ronan with nine dollars and ninety-nine cents said, "Hi, Pirate Software. I love oh. your shorts. 
What's your advice on solo devs? My mutual said it overworks yourself and I'm a modeling artist. I'm really touching on music and coding. If you want to be a solo dev, there's nothing wrong with that. Solo developers can do all kinds of stuff. You just have to not burn yourself out and try to attain goals that are beyond your capabilities. It's very easy to drop yourself into a location where you're like, I have to do this to this level of skill or my game can't exist. No, you can do it to your current level of skill. Next time, do it a little bit harder, a little bit better, a little bit faster, whatever it's going to be. Solo dev is difficult because you don't know if your ideas suck or not. It's the most difficult part of this. That's it. That's the whole point. Is Power World finished dropped? No, it's not finished or dropped. I'm just not playing it today because we have... I, my general stuff that I do on stream is giving advice to people that are trying to enter the game industry. And I played it right before the stream anyway. we got a dedicated server for it. Go join the role on Discord. Just because I don't look at something for five seconds doesn't mean it disappears, all right? I know chat doesn't have object permanence. I understand that. When it disappears, like, oh, where'd the streamer go? Like, I get it. I understand. I just can't... I can't do everything all day. All day, every day. All right? It's going to be fun. Goblins, everyone here. 77 gifted subs from Jaffa Rex. Holy moly, dude. What is this music? It's all from our game Heartbound. This is all made in-house. We got 12 minutes before the sponsored section. This is wild, dude. Is it gonna end? Is it ending? I think it's ending. Four minutes. Yeah, it's under a minute. 30 seconds. We'll know if it hits this. This is where it's going to hit. Darknex with the 50 gifted subs. That is a lot of subs. Nubardano with a one sub. Thank you very much. Oh, I think it's dead. I mean, it's not dead until this thing goes, so it's not dead. It finished. The train is complete, Jet. The train is complete. Everyone involved gets a golden kappa for 24 hours. Spam your kappas. Spam your glorious golden kappas. Thank you very, very much. We had a train at level 34 at 83%. That is a massive train. That is outrageous. The bit leader was Mr. Mean Grim with 3,600 bits. The sub leader was Axolotl 2705 with 877 subs. 616 of you just got a golden kappa for the next 24 hours. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Seriously. That is an absolutely massive amount of subs and bits. And that's incredibly nice of you. The world record is still solidly in your hands. At level 55. At 1906%. That is still your world record. No one else has beaten it yet. No one else has beaten it at all. And this is a wild, wild sub train. Out of nowhere. So thank you. What do you mean world record? I mean that this channel has the world record for the highest hype train ever in the history of Twitch. Because of the goblins you see around you in chat right now. Yeah. Legitimately. Where does this rank? I don't know. I don't know where this ranks. I have no idea. We we just know that we're the the strongest hype train that's ever existed on Twitch was from this community. And no one has beaten it yet. One day they will. But that day is not today. Yeah. So thank you very, very much. That's incredibly, incredibly nice of you. You don't need to do that. The uh, queue now has nearly 200 in it. Which means I will not get through it. Which is fine. It's fine. There's no way I'm going to get to all of it. And if I don't answer it, then it goes into the debt tracker, and then it goes to charity anyway. The last charity payment was $7,500 out to uh, the Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption Agency, which is out in uh, Colorado. So we gave $7,000 and another $500 specifically out to them. So we produce the receipts every time we do this. If I don't answer your message, it doesn't go to me. I don't deserve the money because I don't actually answer the message. And that's it. That's it. That's all it is. So, yeah. I'm going to switch the music. Boop. One moment. Boop. So, thank you very, very much. That is... That is actually wild. I'm going to go move this back over here. Where did this go?
Alrighty. How do hype trains start? Uh, they go off like pretty much every hour. When people throw bits and subs and stuff, it'll actually go off. And that's all it is. One moment. Okay, I am setting stuff up for the sponsored part of the stream. Because we are doing a sponsored stream today. In eight minutes. In eight minutes, chat. First quest, please. Let me go see who got it. Let me go see who got it. It was Grim Cynicism. Grim Cynicism, are you here? Your gift is sub two hours ago. You want to say thank you? If that came from me, don't thank me. Thank the chat. We got to a bit goal. Bit goal goes off. I give it 100 gift subs. Grim Cynicism, are you there? You have to add me in chat. Grim Cynicism, I believe in you. Aha! You are here. All right, one moment. Boop. Grim Cynicism. Would you like art, cooking, or interpretive dance? You have to choose. This is something we do once a day. One person per day can get this. And we're waiting for Grim Cynicism to decide, because they're the one who got it. It's a channel point thing that goes off once a day. This is how we choose our new VIPs, by the way. What does art include? It includes art. In some capacity. Axolotl with the 22 gifted subs. Thank you very much. It was ridiculously nice of you. Could it be writing? All right. I'm gonna go outside the box. Do you want it to be writing? Are you trying to choose writing? Is that what you want? Hmm. It's okay. It's the only art I'm any good at. The idea is to try something you may not be good at. Put yourself outside the box. Try something new. Do it. Something new, man. Be brave. Do something kind of silly. Give me cooking? Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me think about this. Grim Cynicism, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Anything in the world. Whatever it is. Tacos? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. This is going to be great, actually. This is perfect. This is this is brilliant, actually. Okay, let me go grab this. You, Grim Cynicism, you need to create. You need to create an open face soft taco. That's what you have to do. Open face soft taco. It's just gonna be like a t tortilla laying down, and you have to arrange all of the items in this taco so that it looks just like my face. This one right here. You're gonna make a thorco. You are. You're making a thorco. The, the toppings need to look like my face. Then you're going to fold it up and you're going to eat it. And you have to take pictures of this entire process. You don't have to show your face eating it. I just want to see a bite taken out of the, the taco face. My, my face. The Thorco. You have to make a Thorco and eat it. That's what it is. That's what it is. And the more cursed this looks, the more chat will vote yes because they have to vote on it. And if they vote yes, then you get a, a diamond next to your name. That's what it is. Accept it. I can do that. The contract is sealed. Well done. Well done. Proud of you. And I'm so sorry. This chat, this picture, by the way, is actually linked in a stream chat. It's pinned. All right, chat. We're moving over to a video game. We're moving over to a video game today. We're moving over to a video game. We're going to be pausing the queue for the next two hours. We're going to be playing a video game on stream. I'm going to be turning on a bunch of systems, switching it over to ad-related, switching it over to a sponsored stream. It is paid content, 100%, but that doesn't mean that I can't talk about the game in a, I guess, honest capacity, which is what I'm allowed to do. So, yes, we're playing, we're playing a sponsored game. 
No, it's not Power World. It's not Power World. We're going to play a sponsored game. So I'm going to switch to this. And look, now there's nothing on screen. Nothing at all. Nothing whatsoever. I'm going to turn the music on for a minute while I set all this stuff up. Do, 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 do. There's nothing sitting there. That set up correctly. We've almost got everything set up. Boop. I gotta do the same thing over on YouTube. Ubatuba. I think it's all updated correctly. I think we're good. All right. It is time to begin the video game. This is a sponsored video game section. It's a sponsored thing. I am being paid to do this, to play the video game, but I can be honest about my feedback. I can be honest about what I find in the game. And we're playing a game called Unforetold Witch Stone. Oh, that's really nice, actually. I really like that, that entry logo, actually. It was, like, really well animated. I kind of dig that. I'm going to link the game in chat. Here you go. This is a CRPG where your choices matter. That's the reason that I wanted to go for this. I think it's actually quite cool. Um, if you've ever played things like BG3, you'll understand this sort of genre, right? And that's kind of what that is. So we're going to start the recording up. We've got it going. So, first, I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit so we can have some... God, this music is banging, though. I really like this. Yeah, CRPG stands for classic RPG. Think like turn-based stuff, right? Wanna apply that? Oh. It doesn't need to be that low. There we go. That's about right, I like that. It's good. Classic or computer RPG, yes. All right. Is that good volume? Yeah, the, the music is really nice. A little loud? I turned it down a little bit more. The music is great, though. Does this have an OST? <laughs> now I kind of want to know if it has an OST, man. Hold up. Let me see if they have an OST for this. They don't, but they should. Game's going to early access today. So it's hitting early, or yesterday. It hit early access yesterday. You can actually find it here. I'm going to link out that again. And I'm going to pin this as well. There you go. We're going to pin that up there. So you guys have that. Actually, Kronos, can you pin that for me? It won't let me do it. It's broken. Good old Twitch. I'm going to unpin it over on YouTube side as well. Thank you. Alright, let's start it up. 
I can sit there and listen to that music all day, though. That's actually really nice. Oh, no. The mother continent. The cradle. Long divided into two warring empires. Avundus and Nethic. Avundus dominated by elves of culture. Nethic ruled by liches, where undeath and slavery prevail. If freedom is the ability to live life as you want to live, to go and do as your whims or interests take you. Freedom survives nowhere on Orvindar. Mm. Hope does survive. The hope that freedom can be found on the frontier, untamed land of Kalsundia. In Nethic, folk toil on farms or fight the endless futile war against Avundus. Rebels and all who show their slightest sign of thinking for themselves are slain in a way that transforms them into undead, then controlled utterly and forever. In Avundus, individuals who show potential are forcibly bonded when young, their loyalty to the Empire magically ensured. You it's an entire world of villains. I dig bonded. this, actually. So at any time, your bond could be awakened to control you. A slave for Avendus. Expendable. And from all you've seen and heard, likely soon expended. I'll check to see Yet if there's subtitles after this, yeah. I don't know if it does. There is one place in all horizon where you can be free. Where your bond can be broken. Carl Sundia. The untamed land of thunder beasts. The frontier. Thunder beasts. Many who followed their hope before you. Hope big lizard. Where local factions long ago defeated the armies and navies of Avundus and Nethic in the Kalsundia Independence War. Factions like the Commonwealth, where just plain folk rule, not mighty lords. And the Free Legion, an army who fight for order and justice. And the Brightwind clan, who create wondrous tools and weapons that call on the powers of the mysterious and mighty witchstones, the jewels of the gods. These factions and many more fight each other like The voice acting in this is fantastic, by the way. Sundia. Yeah, old wizard it is vibes, a rich yeah. Land indeed. That's why ships galore still sail to it from Avundus and Nethic and back again. They bring the resources both empires. Yeah, W voice acting find. agree. Everything we need comes from Kalsundia, where witch stones float gleaming in ruins and deep mines, and folk and beasts alike roam free. Where you can still forge the life you want to lead, and change the world to be what you want it to be. You can be who you want to be, and make Kalsundia what you want it to be. So everything you need lies there, waiting for you in Kalsundia. I love storyboarding like that. I love animatic stuff like that. That's phenomenal to me. I think that's really, really, really cool, actually. This kind of stuff is, is really neat to me. I like the idea of having a narrative where the world is awful, and there's like a new world to go to and we have to like rebuild society in this new place because there's no there's no no way of knowing if like the threat of the old world will carry over you know and i, I think that kind of a narrative is neat I, I love that sort of a thing it's it's always it's always more interesting to me than good guy versus bad guy it's bad guy versus bad guy everybody bad guy right and you you are striking out inside of a world like that i always find that to be more compelling generally I really do. It's one evil versus another evil, frankly. Yeah. I, I just like that more. I've always liked that more, frankly. Yeah, like Warhammer. Warhammer, everyone's a bad guy. It feels the same. And I, I, I love those, frankly. Yeah. The ad pop-ups are, are gone for this stream because it is a sponsored stream, so we're not going to have the ad pop-up for it. There won't be any of that throughout the entire stream. Yeah. Literally a sacrifice narrative? I, I think it's cool. I think that, that kind of a thing is neat. It looks like we have, let's see, we've got a background, we've got ancestry, we've got appearance. I'm going to change my appearance up first. Nice. Different body types. I can get a full beard. Finally, chat. I can finally accomplish a full beard. I mean, look at me. I'm beautiful. Look at me. Look at that. Oh. How pale can I become? Can I get super pale? 
This doesn't look pale. This looks pale, but it doesn't come through pale. I want like the palest man ever. Oh, there we go. That's more like my skin color. So white, I'm bluish, right? Hair, the maverick. Desert, the gorgeous snare. Wild whisperer. There we go. There's the hair, you know? Now I gotta remove, I gotta be clean shaven. We've done it. We've done it, chat. That's me if I could actually tie my hair, which I won't do it. Yeah, my basement tan. What color hair should I have? There we go. I could be like a super old man. What heads do we have? <laughs> Look at that. These faces are amazing. Oh, God. That's a chin, dude. I want to see the other hairs. I kind of I kind of like the the mohawk, dude. We're doing it. We're, we got a wild-looking mohawk, dude. Looks like his head got squeezed. <laughs> you love to see it, man. Oh, dude, there's a ton of hairstyles in this actually. And they're kind of wild too, like you never really see hair like this. The sideshow Bob, you know? You never see it. How many hairs do we have? I'm gonna do the sideshow Bob. There we go. This is it. This is the this is the look. I think that's it. I think that's the look right there. Yeah. We're doing it. What is my shape? What does this do? Oh, I become, like, thicker. There we go. A little bit of oddness with the UI there. Please. Please. Fine. I'll leave the shape the way that it is. You can't have it now. I'm a thick... I'm a thick sideshow bob now. Oh, there we go. Now I'm a super thin sideshow bob. Nyoom. All right, so let's look at archetype. We've got cleric, fighter, rogue, wizard. Dude, that fighter is actually sick. I love the half plate. Half plate is always missing from this stuff, dude. There's there's rarely ever half plate. You always get the full plate mail, like warrior. I love a half plate. I think that's cool as shit. Cause you build the shield right into their armor this way, and I I, I like that a lot more, frankly. Cleric looks cool, rogue looks cool. I love the hunch over for the rogue. They've built it into kind of the animation set for that. That's really well done. Wizard's cool. We love a good fire mage. You can select a specialization as this. Enchanter. They have totally different animations for that. Specializes in casting spells that control crowns of people or creatures. Blue magic. <laughs> Arcane sniper. Why am I bald now? The magic was too powerful, and I'm now bald. Yes. Upsetting, I know. I think I'm gonna go with fighter, just because I like the half plate, legitimately. Oh, we've got different specializations. Gunslinger? Spell sword? Gunslinger is a cool... I didn't realize they had these sections for this. Wait a minute. War priest. Assassin, Spell Slinger, and Thief. I think I'm gonna go with Fighter Blade Master, though. I just like the half plate, dude. Gain one on attack rolls in armor class for the duration. This bonus increases to plus two at 11. Shake it off, regain 1d10 hit points, and make a DC 10 fortitude save. Cool, so we've got we've got D&D-esque mechanics here. We've got DC, so difficulty check. We've got our rolls for different stuff. This is this is all very familiar, right? Super familiar. Let's look at ancestry. We could be a dwarf. Look at that dwarf, dude. He's like a demon. That's cool as shit. An elf or a human. Oh no, it removed my it removed my look. I'm sad now. Proficient with athletics. 
athletics, mechanics, insight, intimidation. I want to be intimidating. Yeah. Let's be intimidating. We're going to rebuild our character in a minute here. We're going to be intimidating, and we're going to have cloth armor. What is this bonus perk? Armor defense. Increase your armor class by one when wearing any armor. Fantastic. And we're going to go back to our appearance and change that back. I want my Sideshow Bob back. You give him back to me. There we go. There we go. We got Sideshow Bob again. So let's go into our attributes now. And we can actually add the attributes. So it looks like Constitution is going to be... Oh, cool. They have mouse over... This is something that I think misses from a lot of games. Give mouse over text. Please, God, give mouse over text. This is good. This is good. What you want. That's fantastic. There's sub-races in Ancestry. I don't want to play with it again because we have, our, we have our character, but they do have Dwarf, Elf, and Human. There are. Weird looking Bell. He's pretty good. I think he's good. Yeah, the mouse over text is important. Influences your chance to land a hit, attack roll, and damage with strength-based weapons. It affects the weight you can carry and your athletic skill. Very cool. We've got Constitution. Influences your max numbers of health points. It affects how amount of damage you can take. Influences your chance to land a hit and your damage with dexterity weapons. It also influences your chance of going first in combat and the enemy's chance of hitting you. Armor class. Strength dexterity is kind of the way, dude. How many points do I get? I can only get to 16. Oh, I wanted to be dumber. That seems fine. I can't get any any stronger in these three areas, and I can't get any dumber in these ones. I was going to put my intelligence to three and just ramp the shit out of, of strength. You know, I wanted to be like the dumb strongman. I wonder if that changes my ability to talk in, in certain situations. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe, it, who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out if I'm big dumb. I'm not sure yet. Oh, I have to go back to Ancestry. We need to change this back out, because I changed it to Intimidation, and I'd like to change that probably back to Athletics. There we go. We changed it back to Athletics, so I'm proficient in that, because Athletics is already being increased specifically by my primary stats. So that's good. Let's go to Skills. What do we got? More Athletics. Use when attempting to do some athletic maneuvers, such as climbing difficult surfaces or bashing a door. I love to bash doors! Intimidation. Hmm. Tactics. Used to gain more information on people and monsters. Nice. Disarm traps and unlock doors. For athletics, what if we just ramp athletics and I could just climb walls? Oh, I can just do it. I only do it once. I want to be really intimidating, too. I want to be a little bit intimidating. You know? I think that's fine. Yeah. This is good. Kenir. Oh, wait, no. Cancel. Where's my background? I need to change my name. Oh, my background. Archaeologist background. I forgot to change this. Charlatan. Soldier. Noble. Outlander. Burglar. Hunter. Scholar. And thug. What's a charlatan, dude? After fleeing the orphanage, you conned and stole from rich Avidans. Or Avondans. Gain persuasion and pickpocket prof proficiencies, and I get a blue feathered hat and wine. Side Thor Bob, dude. <laughs> That's a name. Soldier. Gain athletics and pull arms proficiencies. We already have athletics proficiency, but we get a pull arm proficiency. We could switch athletics at that point into something else. We get ale and a spear. That's the way. I'm going to go with Soldier. We're going to go back to my Ancestry. We're going to change this out so we can be more intimidating because we already get Athletics Proficiency for free now. There we go. And now we can go into Skills. And we get one into Athletics and then one into Intimidation. Which we are now proficient in because of the bonuses. And I think a Polearm is going to be better than a Sword anyway because you get more Reach. 
That's what we want. Yeah. You also already have intimidation, do I? Do I actually? Let me check. Oh wait, cancel that. Back. Oh wait. Well, I guess I already do have intimidation. Let's be proficient in something else. What are we proficient in? Tactics. Persuasion. I mean, we can do it in pickpocket. I'm gonna be proficient in stealth. There's nothing like a brute of a man sneaking up on you and then hitting you with an axe. You know what I mean? There's nothing like that. Just sneaking up on a dude. Whack. That's the way I want it to go. Just like a ridiculously stealthy half-plated warrior of death. There we go. We're gonna have stealth. I'm gonna sneak up on you and hit you with a spear, dude. Athletics and stealth. There we go. There we go. Now we're ridiculous. Now we're, now we're good. You're about to embark as, on an adventurous side Thor Bob. Human Blade Master. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. I feel like I'm sure now. It's time. It's time. As your vessel nears Calcundia, pirates emerge from the mist. Oh, I love pirates. I am one. We'll do- we'll get along just fine. We'll get along fine. Pickpocket plus three is from the dexterity. I got dexterity to get more armor class, because armor class and warrior is good. Yeah. You sound like a wizard professor, I love it. Thank you. Oh, oh! We get right into the action, dude? Did I just, like, wake up with the pirates on my ship? Combat has started. Well, that sucks. 95% chance to hit? Oh, this is XCOM, my dude. 95% chance means 0% chance, let's be honest. What do we got in here? We've got Concussive Blast. Once per short rest, the target must succeed at a DC 15 Fortitude saving throw or take 2d6 bludgeoning damage. Gain 20% resistance to bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage for two rounds. Okay. This is a bonus action. So if we pop our bonus action, let's do that. We bury ourselves. Now we're gonna go over there and we're gonna stab this dude. Sup? Oh! Oh, that man turned to meatloaf. Look at that. I love that it stops time like this. That's awesome. That's freaking rad, actually. End it. You missed. I'm too strong now. Oh! Hey, what do you got in there? You got any cool stuff? Thanks, bud. They all gone, fighting over? Cool, there's a game log for it? That's nice. Ames looks around and sees only bodies. Not harmed, I hope. Another successful voyage for us. You're first to Kalsundia, I can tell. I'm Captain Ames, and this is my world. Order, tidiness, on time, and a minimum of fuss. So what's yours? You're making Kalsundia your world now. He comes closer and squints at you. What lies ahead for you? Any plans? Or just one more of Onden, trying to run from your compulsion bond and get it broken for you here? I want to shape Calcindia at my whim. I want to work with the people of Calcindia, or I'm not sure yet. Hmm. We have a choice now. Go down the route of making this world like the rest of the world, with a strong run everything. Or try to make a new place that's not like that. Or I don't really know yet. And I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of want to meet the locals first. By the way, you can hit 1, 2, and 3 on the keyboard and it works. I just tried. That's kind of nice. I actually really like that. So that way you don't have to fiddle with clicking on them. That's good. Yeah. I wanted to try it to see if it worked. I'm going to say not sure for this one. Yeah. Being able to hit that is great. That's really good. That's, a, that's an accessibility feature as well. It's really, really nice. If you can't quite aim the mouse. Ames can't help but smile. He's heard that answer many times before. I've been ferrying you and folk like you from Orwindar to Calcundia for years. More years than I can count. We're almost ashore. Where I'm afraid you're about to learn what freedom really means. You're on your own. No one's looking out for you. 
except there's a target to kill or rob. You have to look out for yourself. Took care of those pirates, didn't I? I'm looking forward to it. You're the person who needs looking out here. Hey guys, do you think we should kill the captain? I feel like three is us trying to kill the captain, I think. Just a little bit. I mean, he's got a really cool eye patch, you know? I think he's got a cool eye patch. And I sort of want a cool eye patch, you know? You're the person who needs looking out here. You're the first hurdle. Or your first hurdle will be getting yourself off the lower decks into the rest of Calcentia. The dangerous but better part. I hope you're good at negotiating. It helps if you smile like you mean it. Ames gives you one of the most crooked fake smiles ever seen. Like that. Only better. My advice to you. Make the right choices. Make a smile as well. I wish you luck, Traveler. Welcome to Calcindia. Well, I don't get to kill him. You know. You know, I, just, I don't get to kill him just yet. Soon. Maybe. Yeah, it's a yet, you know. It's a yet. Maybe eventually. Fifty years ago, the once dormant Witchstone regained their powers. Oh. Skip past. As you make port uneasy... Uneasiness stirs the air. Makeshift shelters harbor migrants waiting for admittance, but the gate remains closed and well guarded. Okay, so it's all locked up. I was able to steal stuff in that combat before that combat ended, so it looks like I have some items. Press to access your journal where you can track leads and opportunities that you can then choose to pursue. So we don't have a main track. Enter the lower deck slums by getting past the guards. What's in my inventory? Was able to steal that stuff? I got some ale. That lets me regain HP. Quality heirloom. Junk. It's worth five suns. We got some suns, so that's gold, it looks like. We got our spear. Our spear does 1d6 piercing damage. Our sword gives 1d8 slashing damage. The sword is better. And our small wooden shield gives us one armor class. How much armor class do we have in total? We've got 18 hit points. That's quite a bit. Got plus five attack. And we've got 14 armor class. That's good. Is that a dinosaur? What the hell is that? Oh, you can use WHD to move this around. Cool. WHD and Q&E and, e and let you move the camera. There's a spear of reach. Let's look. Simple weapon two hand. Main hand martial weapon. I think this one's going to be better because we get a we get a shield with it. You know, shield's just a better choice right now. You smell fresh now. But you won't for long. Soon you'll be on the brink of your last breath, just like us all. Use your intuition to read this person and find out something useful. I think I want to use insight. I want to use my intuition to find out something useful about them, right? Because we don't really have a lot of influence. I'm going to say that. Alright, let's roll it. We got a third... Oh. Oh, you can't really tell anything about her. Oh, we get a chance to still influence. Let's ask them to do something. We can ask them a bunch of different stuff? This is actually kind of cool. It's not just one set thing. That's really interesting. Normally, these types of systems don't let you have this much freedom in them. I like that a lot, actually. Influence the person to join your party as a companion. Influence the person to follow you around temporarily. Let's see if they'll join me. When influencing others, knowing about the traits of your target will increase your chance to pick the approach that is most likely to succeed. Okay. To discover traits, you can use the insight skill in the dialogue to get a read on the person, which I failed, right? You can also tell me about influence command. Okay, so we can we can actually go back to action. And we can say, tell me about, you don't know anyone else in the area. Hmm. They have a dull hand axe and some sons. If we tell them to follow us, we don't really want to threaten them. I think I'm going to leave this one alone for now. We're going to go back out of this. 
How do I leave the docks? We're all going to end up eel meat before tomorrow's end. Just ask Els, the eel fielder. Druth Drang, he'll tell you. But to get to Els, you need to pay a visit to Dorold Tanter. He's the one hiding in the booth. Guarding the doors is Jilt, Jilt Beherund. He's the strong, to silent type. I wouldn't recommend messing around too much with him. Alright. We've gotten some information there. Let's go talk to the law enforcement guard. Another migrant from the mainland. Tell me, soggy waif. He called me a soggy waif, dude. The dude called me a soggy waif. It's like the meanest insult I think I've ever seen. Jesus. Which barge captain ferried you here, hmm? Mm, I'd rather not say. Or Ames. See, if we align ourselves with Ames and we say, hey, it was Ames, then maybe that guy's not got such a good reputation. But maybe his reputation is good enough that they want us to come in. I think I'm going to try and bank off of this dude's reputation because he's been doing it long enough that they probably know who he is. Soggy, wretched, barged hand. He'll lose his boat for this. Oh, shit. Listen, migrant, it's an honor to meet me, okay? As chief lawblade over the lower docks, you must pay me a tax. Any payment will do, but Orwindar artifacts and sons fare the best. What will it be? You must square our deal to enter. That's my rule. Uh, insight 30%. Use your intuition to read this person and find out something useful. Let's at least get some insight in. It's gonna be bad. We're not gonna be able to do this well. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's not good. That's not good. Let's, uh, can you tell me about yourself? Tea and cheese are my only comforts these days. The migrants are testy. My law blades are antsy. Where will it end? Their complaints drive me to overindulge, but I digress. Pay your tax, migrant, and I'll welcome you ashore. Can you tell me about your faction? Commissioned by the factions, you dolt. I mean, dear migrant, assassinations have become commonplace. With the city sealed off, the culprits will be found. Mwah. Problem solved, gates will open. Till then, law blades must keep migrants confined to the lower docks. My brilliant scheme, aha, uh, plan has earned me a well-deserved promotion. I don't like this dude at all. Let's see if we can negotiate to not pay the tax. I don't think insinuating a threat... This guy's got way too much charisma. He's got way too much charisma for us to insinuate a threat against him. Threatening him physically means that dude at the door is going to come kick our ass. Right? Hands down. He's going to come beat us up. So... I don't think any of these are the right approach. I think what I need to do is look at the rest of the environment and see what else we can do. Stalling, are you? Oh, goody. It's been a while since I had Jolt make an example out of a new arrival. I'm not stalling. I just need a little bit more time. Maybe we can go down here? Can I escape into somewhere? Can I steal this lamp? Maybe there isn't a way out. Let's talk to the guy at the door first. Pay the fee to Dorald at the booth. Let's read him. Let's do some reading. Oh, we don't know anything about him, huh? That's not gonna work. <laughs> Why do I roll so bad? Uh, listen, I would like to pass. Let's see if we can sweet talk him. Be like, hey man. Actually, no. Yeah, let's sweet talk him. With an unknown modifier. Screw it. Man, I am I am bad at this. He, his appreciation is dropped. Shit. Well, that's not great. Oh wait, I can use my intuition again. Well, that's interesting. Narrow success. The way he holds himself, like he's always ready to pounce, makes you feel he can be quite aggressive in the right situation. Let's negotiate. Let's try to sweet-talk him. We insight-checked him, so we got a plus two. We've got a 40% chance of success. This is not going to go well, probably. But we have plus two. Actually, wait a minute. I'd like you to... take this. 
We picked up that heirloom. I'd like you to take this heirloom. And we're going to sweet talk him. This item is of uncommon rarity. That's awesome. I think that'll work, right? No, the stream does not say that. Refresh your stream. Yeah, so we can give him a, an item of uncommon rarity. We can give him... We've insight checked him, so we get plus four in total. We have a 50% chance to succeed. Hell yeah! That's the way, dude. Your words bring astonishment, then a frown of thought that ends in a smile and a nod of acceptance. I... yes. I will. Wait. Wait. Shit. <laughs> I got him to take it, but I didn't get anything out of it. No! I made a huge mistake. This is fine. Oh! Now I don't have to pay the tax. Even though I paid the tax. Thurl nods. By his manner, he has dubbed you an exception to the rule. You're unsightly. Standing there so stiffly. I'll let you pass. Untaxed. Get gone, migrant. Oh god, I'm so ugly that I get to go in for free. Thank you. That's fantastic. I love being that ugly. It's got its charm, you know. Marin Wave Winter. As Cassindia lives, you've arrived. When the docks closed, I feared you'd be denied port. Do I know you? Forgive me. Where are my manners? I'm Marin Win Wave Winter. I know of you. I was sent with instructions to escort you inland, but then found myself a prisoner here. The lower docks have been corralled, blocked off from entering the port city. Half the migrants are waiting patiently till the main gate opens. The other half are plotting their escape. Marin moves closer to you, lowering his voice. I side with the latter. We must break free and reach the port city train. Who sent you? I better not explain here. Lawn blade ears are everywhere. We must reach the train. Helsundia's territories are too widespread to reach on foot. If we don't act soon, our way of escape will close. There's a law blade, Els Druthdrang, who guards a maintenance shaft into the wet run. The sewer leads directly into the train station. Moody Mood, thank you for the ten gifted subs, man. In exchange for the right payment of an Orwindar... Didn't I just... Didn't I just give away the Orwindar artifact? Wasn't that what that was? Did I just give that away? I just accidentally... Whoops. I don't know what that was. Was it an artifact or was it an heirloom? Might have been an heirloom. Use your intuition to read this person. Let's read him. Man, I am really bad at reading people. I am awful at this. It's, it's probably for all that strength that I have. You know, I'm really strong. So. Can you tell me about yourself? Cassonia holds many keys to many goals, but holds no heading of its own. If we unite Calcundia under one faction, the Bright Winds being my choice, progress would reach the empires. Advancement would reach the world. My life's work has been championing the Bright Winds and their Wichadar gadgets. Let's ask about an accord. The only way out of here is through the sewer. I'd rather neither of us face what festers there alone. Whether beast or brute stands against you, my elementalist expertise will blast them down. Yeah, let's do it. I got a wizard. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Adventurer, come over here. What do you got? What do you want? Allow me to cut to the chase. Whatever you believe your skills to be, we are all unrehearsed when it comes to Kalsundia. The port city is dying. The ticket to survival is aboard the Brightwind train, but traversing to the station unescorted is a death wish. So here I sit, waiting for fate. Port is dying? I sailed from the Empire rule. I sailed from Empire rule because Kalsundi is supposed to stand for freedom. Yet here I sit, in a cesspool of trapped migrants where no livelihood exists. An alliance would behoove us both. We're gonna get a party together. We're getting the band back together, dude. Getting the band back together. This is gonna be great. We can deceive Els Druthrang, or Druthdrang, into abandoning his post at the Wet Run entrance. A little influencing never hurt anyone. Let's find out about them. Oh, did I... 
narrow failure. Man. You avert your eyes as they grow wary of your scrutiny. Can you tell me about yourself? Small talk makes me ill, but I will oblige you. Each faction in Calcinia believes their own superior. None of us is efficient as the Free Legion. I intend to join their ranks and prove their worth to all. They need a true general, a soldier unafraid to force every faction to cede control. Ask about an accord. As a thief, I've pilfered for every meal. Perfected stealth and sharpened daggers that will be useful to you. That is a wow. All right. Let's get another one. It looks like we, maybe we can fit three, maybe four people into our party. So like one more as a follower. We've got a, a rogue and a, and a mage now. We've got a thief and a mage. Civilian refugee. Law enforcement guard. Hi. Yes. Let's read this guy. Wow, I am awful at this. I am so bad at doing this. What is that? Chicken. Okay, so there's L's. Let's see if there's anybody else I can talk to before we get out of here. Because I love the, um, I actually love this fog of war for this. That's actually really nice looking. There's somebody over there. How do we get back there? Is there a way to get back into these areas? No, it looks like there isn't. Is there something up here we can interact with? Ah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna steal that egg and those sandals. Thanks. Those are mine now. Yeah, fantastic. Yep, my sandals, thanks. Oh wait, what is this? Rusty nails? And a hammer? Wow. I'm just stealing everything. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. Thanks for that. Just gonna get out of here now. What is that horrifying laugh back there? Yeah, I'm liberating it. From their inventory into mine. Ooh, a grilled fish stick. We love grilled fish sticks. 1d6 hit points and become well fed for one hour. That's nice. Food is like super impactful, it looks like. Which is really good to see. Alright. Hi. I bet you've been through the ringer, sailing on high hopes from the mainland, only to be confronted with a closed port and an entry tax. What a doozy, eh? Apologies, traveler. I'm Els Druthdre, friendly lawblade at your service. Have you heard of me by chance? Uh, yes. I've heard of you. Embellish him. Right? In that case, please understand, the reputation going around about me is completely ill-founded. I need a special Orwindar artifact to pay for a sage. I'm not a swindler. I'm in poor health. The way out of the lower decks is through the sewer. The gate behind me could suddenly become accessible if the right artifact were to appear. Catch my drift? What a deal. Hmm. Let's learn about him a little bit. Maybe I won't roll bad... This is becoming a trend. <laughs> it's becoming a bit of a trend. Just rolling real bad. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm aging and achy. I'm expected to stand on my feet all day with the sewer's wretched stench filling my nostrils. Can you imagine having a job like mine? Now I suffer from swollen ankles and terrible congestion. If it weren't for the danger, uh, I mean stench, I would escape through the wet run myself. What if we get him to follow us? I'd like you to join me. Let's sweet talk him. Oh, wow, that is... He's more experienced than me. He's a law officer. And he's on guard duty. Yeah, none of that is good. None of that. That's not going to work. We're going to go back. None of that's That's not going to work. So we're going to have to offer to set a deal. Orwindar artifacts are rare. Each one handcrafted, sealed, and branded. Bella brand is the one that I need. Ask around, track it down. Freedom is yours. May sound like a steep fee... But think of the alternative. Sit idle here as a prisoner, or use the underground sewers to reach freedom. The latter is risk-free. Return to the artifact and you will see. Okay. Bellabrand. 
How are we going to find this while trapped in this location? Right? Is it just going to be like sitting around? You know what's going to happen to us, don't you? We're going to rot here. We're innocent, yet we're treated like prisoners. Let's learn about them. God, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. We're going to end the conversation. I've learned nothing about them. I've learned nothing about them. Why? Why is it like this? Could be any other way. Yeah, so if you're wondering, each of the actions that I'm performing beyond, like through this, all of this stuff has consequences. You can solve these in different ways, and it looks like they've given quite a lot of tools to solve these in kind of a roleplay sort of way, which is fun. Honestly. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. And the game is called Unforetold Witchstone. You can actually get it from the pinned comment. Yeah, you can get it from the pinned comment. There's a link up there. Go and use that link. It's on both YouTube and on Twitch. Call us what we are. Cattle. Corralled. Residents locked up in the lower docks alongside new arrivals. Doral Tantor damned us to rot. The law blades closed the port on flimsy evidence, yet they are obeyed by ne'er-do-wells like my father. You've not met my father, have you? Andreth Homrand? Homrand? Homrand. Uh, no, I've not met him. Keep it that way. He obeys the law blades when we should all rebel. I'll not spend my life as a prisoner. I'll forge my own Magitek and ferry the rest of my family from Orwindar. Magitek? What is Magitek? Wichitar offers us the means to rebuff the empires so long as we make our own fortunes. We need not rely on Orwindar. Active witch stones waiting to be mined are exclusive to Calcundia. That's why the Empire's interest in this frontier grows stronger by the day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is getting rough, dude. I am rolling so badly. The horrific rolls continue. Can you tell me about yourself? For five years, I helped my father build our exporting business. It was thriving. We scrimped and saved enough money to finally get my mother and grandmother out of Orwindar. Dural Tantor strolled in one day and ordered my father to pay a lawblade tax, a retroactive payment for so-called protection they provided against assassinations. Ah, uh, I'd like you to join me. Huh? Huh? We get a... We get a 45% chance of success if I threaten her physically. Right? But I'm a... I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm doing it. I'm threatening someone. I should just threaten more people. The game has taught me to threaten people. Your threats make Neetha Homran raise their hands and surrender. Before they nod, they will do as you're demanding. Yes, yes, no more threats, please. I'll come with you. Yay! New minion! New minion. New minion. Let me see what you got. What do you have in your inventory? What do you got? It's mine now. What? No, 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 no. I want to I stack it. There we go. It's mine now. What do you got? A chipped mace? Equipment scraps? It's mine now. Refugee's cloak? Some boots? Some worker gloves? Can you use them to negotiate for you? That may be possible. I don't know. Now, how do I get this person to do this? What does the hand on them mean? I wonder if I can actually play as that person? Oh, I see. So you can order that person... ...to warp, sneak attack... Maybe order them to talk? Can that work? No, only your main character seems to be able to talk. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some insight in the person. We failed it again. Yeah, it looks like you can't do it with each one of the individual characters, or I'm, or I'm doing it wrong. It might be one of the two. But we can try again. <sighs> Alright, let's go around and look on some more. I love this game log, by the way. That's an awesome way to do that.
We've gotten a little bit more information. We've forced a person to hang out with us. Interesting. And there's no way to get this artifact that they were talking about. Let's talk to him yet. Hey, Dorald. Okay, so he doesn't have any new information. Success. He tries to hide it, but the occasional flash of clueless expression makes you think he would be easy to bluff. Let's see if he'll join me. Give me. Give me your pistol. You just do that for me? I need that. He's gullible. And he was insight checked. You know, I got a 65% chance of getting this dude's gun. I don't need it. But I need it. Why am I so bad at rolling? Why? Why? Oh, god damn it. No, get your own. But what if... But what if... Instead of giving me your gun... And I, I know this might be surprising. What if instead of giving your, me your gun, you gave me your gun? What if you did that? Give me your gun. If you don't hurt me, it's yours. Thanks, bud. I just wanted- I wanted your gun. I didn't need it. Where is it? Is it in my inventory? Cool, I got a gun. That's neat. Thanks, bud. I just wanted a gun. That's all. He doesn't appreciate me now? That's fine. He was gullible enough to just hand me his gun. He deserves it. It's mine now. How's he gonna be a lawman now? Ooh? Ooh? I should now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Being lawless and un anarchy to the land. Okay. I just, you know, I'm just stealing things because they're out in the open. Mostly because they're mine. Because they're in my inventory that makes them mine. Hmm. I'm just going to take all this stuff. I wonder how much more stuff I can take. Nobody's noticing, so it's clearly mine. The lawman gave me his gun, so that's mine. You know. Andrith Homrand. Pardon my warehouse, Newlander. I'm not proud of its condition. Doro Tanter promises to reopen the docks. He promises business will soon be back to normal. Till then, he prefers we make do. No questions asked. No one, save me, has faith. Not even my daughter. Nitha. Oh, the one that I threatened to follow me? She picks fights, fights with the law blades every chance she gets. It's driven a wedge between us. Oh, what is this? There's traits. That was interesting. She avoids me and lingers near the edge of the docks. She won't tell me what she's planning. If my hunch is right, it's nothing safe. Why side with the law blades? The law blades suss out rampant assassins and ask for our obedience in return. The people stand divided. Half of us choose to obey the law blades, while the other half pledges to revolt. Neetha believes she must wage war on the guards or test her luck in the wet run against sewer beasts. I don't agree. Let's give me something about you. Oh, oh, my bones. My bones. You can't tell anything about him. Can you tell me about yourself? Hey, look, you told me about him. It's fine. I believe in mercantilism. The more we export, the more the lower docks will prosper. When fully stocked, my goods are exceptional, worth many Orwindar artifacts. The Lawblades wouldn't have cut off our livelihood without good reason. So as soon as Donald Tantor restores supply chains, I'll be back to trading the best quality goods in Chalcindia. Till then, I'll abide by the rules and wait this out peacefully. My hope is that the new arrivals will join me and convince residents like my daughter to be patient. Mm, let's offer him assistance. Els Druthrang is a Lawblade willing to defy orders for a price. In exchange for a rare Orindar artifact, he'll smuggle escapees out of the lower docks. There's a catch. Els is using Kalsunder's sewer system, inhabited by deadly thunder beasts. He's convinced all who will listen, even Neetha, that no danger exists. 
I have an heirloom, one of the rarest Urwandar artifacts, called Bel Belebran. That's the one. I'm ready to part with it, convince my daughter to return here, and give me another chance. And the artifact is yours. Oh, you mean... You mean this daughter? That... That daughter, is that the one? I have... Your daughter's here. You get over here. What is that? I don't know what that is. Where is she? She's stuck. Where is she? Well, that's weird. I think we have to go get her, maybe? Did she get stuck on the wall? Get over there. do 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 that's right. I've convinced your daughter to get over here. Now you will do as I say. If the band wasn't in place, you could walk right into Calcinia and see the train. It's the center of attention with its latest display, Brightwind Engineering. Uh, Didn't we bring your daughter? You're the dude from YouTube? Yes, I am. The sharp suspicion behind his eyes tell the tale of someone that has weathered many hardships. A cynic like him, who has been seen who has seen enough betrayal and broken promises for a lifetime, is difficult to persuade of anything. So we already did this. He wanted his daughter to be here. We have his daughter here. Is that not working? I've been asked to talk to you. I see. Is there a, something I'm missing here? Huh. You have to convince her to talk to him? She just did. Watch. She says she says basic text line. I've been asked to talk to you. I see. So Interesting. That's all I had to say. Did I break it? I think I may have broken it. Maybe I have to tell her to leave the party in here? I'd like you to... Leave. No, you get back here. Buh. I get to try again when it's a narrow failure. Oh my god, how many times do I have to... Double narrow failure. I'd like you to... Talk to... Okay, I understand now. Talk to your dad. Do it. I want to threaten you physically to talk. Go talk to your dad. <laughs> this is the worst. No, you will do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you talk to your dad, I swear to god. You you speak to him. You do it. I'm gonna flash my weapon at you. That's right. Go go talk to your you do that right now. I got five XP. Wait. She's talking to him at a distance. What? I don't understand. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to say I want you to give me I want you to give me the artifact. That's a humanoid skull. Oh, just give me Bellabrand already. Just do it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna threaten you physically. Give me the damn thing. This is mine now. I 
I'd love to roll above a, a 10 in my life. I, I would love to... I would love to roll anything in my life. Please, give me the item. I... Your daughter's spoken to you many times. I'm gonna flash my weapon now. Do it. Thank God. Give, give me that. That is mine now. Your intimidation works. Results in fearful nods. That will give you the rare item. Enough, please stop. I'll give it to you. Damn right. Alright. Let's get out of this place. I'm going into the sewer. Yeah, gunpoint. At the guard's gun. It's my gun now. I can smell the stench of the wet run from here. Uh, we're gonna use our influence. We learn nothing, because we're sad. We're sad at rolling. And we're gonna hand over the artifact. A perfect and rare Orindar artifact. You did well, and I will honor our accord. You may pass into the wet run unseen. It leads directly to the train station. May Thunderbeast speed be yours. Not that you'll need it. The little tiny harmless crawl jaws won't bite. I don't think that's true. I feel like this is going to be false. Who are you? Civilian adventurer. What are you, what are you doing in here? Wait, why am I stuck? Please. I'm stuck on my own party. Oh, it's a dead guy. Cool. I love dead guy stuff. You know what? Hi. How's it going? Spells be praised. A face of another crawl jaws. That bastard. Els Druthdrang. He swore the sewers were free of thunder beasts, yet we were attacked as soon as we arrived. I blocked the grate, but they'll soon break through. They've only paused their attack to feast on my friends. If I could return to the docks to kill Els Druthdrang, I would. But your arrival is a sign. We're meant to survive this and reach Howling Valley. My premonition has come to be. Uh-huh. What premonition, bud? I saw travelers meant to meet and journey forth together. An alliance seeking freedom. Me to the Commonwealth. And for the other soul, something more. This new alliance stands strong and will lead them to the Divine Valley. A new traveler will have to make a choice and seek a ritual to be free. The new traveler is you, friend. Uh, this guy is really weird. I'm gonna do some insight. And roll terribly as is tradition. Yeah. You know, let's get him in the party and make him go first. What do you guys think? Right? We get to make a choice. I get to make a choice. The choice is to use him as a meat shield. You know, I think that's probably a good one. I made it my life's goal to become indispensable and to join the commonwealth. Hence, here I stand, a cleric. Always a cleric, though. Healing spells, all right, all right, we'll bring the healer. Fine. He can keep me alive. That's fine. Oh, look, a dead guy. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory and see if we can do some inventory management here. Um, this is stolen. I love stolen goods, that's fun. Let's put all our stolen stuff in a pile over here. We stole a lot of stuff from that dude. We love stealing, so this is fine. We've got a book. We've got a cracked shortbow. I think... This person? Mehrun? Is that who they were? Which one is our... Rogue? It's probably gonna be that one. I wanna give them the bow. What is... What is going on there? Wait, what's happening there? That inventory is doing weird stuff. I wonder if we can actually equip that to that character? Can we change that individual character's equipment? It doesn't look like I can. How do I upgrade that character? What? Oh, that equipped it on my character. Well, that's not really what I want. Interesting. Yeah, I guess we can't do that. It doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it looks like I can't actually equip them. Cure poison condition, that's kind of nice. We've got all these apples and stuff. All these are chipped. So I'm going to take all these and we're going to put those down here. I think what I'll do is I'll put this as a secondary weapon. And arrows in the offhand of that secondary weapon so we can swap out for ranged attacks if we need to. Everything else in here appears to be stuff that we can just 
do stuff with. You just have it there. I don't think we need ammunition. Maybe we do. I'm not sure. Everything else seems good. All right. Creature's mangled body is still warm. It was a sloppy kill, but it's still a kill. To the crates. Ah, we love a humanoid skull. Leather patches. Stone plate. Please, sir. Do a move. So we can move objects by doing this. Damaged heirloom. Blocked by crate. So it said something about moving objects. And I skipped past it because I was spamming click. Two devs in chat. Ooh. Ooh. Smash the crates. Yes. I'm going to use that on the crate. Looks like I can't do it that way. It looks like I have to do... Can I do concussive blast against it? I cannot use Concussive Blast against it. Click and drag. I need all my other characters to move out of the way, I think. But it looks like... It looks like we may be able to just move it. There we go. Okay, so you can click and drag it to, like, different areas. That's fine. That's an easy way to handle this. Wait, can I stack these? Hmm. Hmm. We got a pirate handgun. Oh, hold up. I got that shitty pistol from before. Where's that pirate handgun? Where's me pirate handgun? A rusty saw. I wish I could see what my equipment items were. Kind of at a glance. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. That one does 1d8 plus 2 piercing damage. That's really nice. I like that. Is it bottom left? Looks like I need some inventory filtering sorting. It may have an option. We're just not seeing it yet. I'm not really sure. You got it now? Makes sense. Alright, so... I'm going to swap to my third option, which is my pistol attack. As a standard action. What? I don't know why it did that. I wanted it. I wanted to shoot him. <laughs> F. Combat has started. Okay, let's... Let's switch back to this. Bump him, dude. Yeehaw! Oh, that dude died instantly. That's kind of nice. Alright. Let's end his turn. Slice. That one's down. Threaten on this one, so if it goes to move away, it has to attack our our warrior. And we get a 70% chance to hit him with a stick. Oh, uh, it does, like, no damage. Fantastic. And our rogue... Got a rogue attack? Oh, oh, oh! Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Please, sir. Please. I just wish the swords... Got him! There we go. Alright. Pick up a bunch of weird stuff. One of the things I like... Look at this menu. Watch this. When we close this... There was one that actually went there where it closed. See that? I actually really like that effect. That slide down effect? It's just kind of a nice touch. 
Yeah, I've got ads right now. Don't worry. Love the environments in here, too. Look at this. Particle effects on that look very lovely. The environment's really, really nice for this. Digging that. All right. Let's see if we can go forward into this. It looks like they set up some bear traps up there. Doesn't appear to be any other way forward. There's a sewer grate over that way. The bear traps have already gone off except for these ones. Can I get these other guys to wait? Oh no, stop moving. Stop. Stop doing that. You go set that up. Okay, good. The rogue having a 95% chance of success there is kind of the way. That makes the most sense to do that. Okay, our main character can go and open the grate now. I love that we have the rogue with us to do that. I think that's actually quite a cool mechanic. The basic easy stuff for that. We got a Glowgout hatchling, but it's next to a bunch of explosive barrels. Maybe we can shoot one of them? Let's crouch. Are the rest of my party members not crouching? Maybe they aren't. I kind of want to be sneaky about this, you know? You cannot open this door with your bare hands. All right. Yeah, that thing is horrible. Glowgout Hashling. So we don't want to get noticed. It looks like only the main character goes into stealth mode, but I, what I like is this. See that, like, visual for that? That's really good. We can avoid this conflict or take the conflict. Companions in stealth. While you're in stealth in hostile areas, your companions will automatically wait where it is safe to avoid trouble. Okay. A faction's effort to smuggle Thunder Beasts has gone awry. So I think Thunder Beasts are going to be any type of lizard. A lizard, lads. Yeah, the light visuals are really good. I'm going to sneak up on him and just kick his butt in a second here. Because he's facing the wrong direction. Nice. Good kill. Oh, wait, how did he not see me? What? Must have been the wind. Hi. I just thought you should, uh... Thought you should say hello here. How's it going? Yeah, you're dead. Did you know that? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk over this way. See ya. Hi, buddy. We're gonna move all of our dudes over here so that the tank has to take the brute of this hit. And it's gonna be a hit. Let's do... Can we blast this guy with a fireball or something? Let's get him. Okay, I gotta be closer. Let's go, like, there and see if we can't get line of sight. Oh, we're just in line of sight. Alright, we're just gonna move back. And that? Lizard man! Oh, he's shooting through the wall. Okay. I see how it is. Let's cure some wounds on our tanky boy. There we go. And then we will end our turn. Tank boy is going to go and attack. And end the fight. I liked that stealth mechanic. I actually think that's kind of a lot of fun. I dig that. A lot of these fights are going to be like easier for us to brute force out. Because we have a full, complete party. And I think if you didn't have a full complete party, it'd be much, much worse. Now, for the fun part. There could have been another way to solve this, and I'm sort of interested. 
This thing has charges. The pistol does. So it looks like they don't need ammunition, they just have charges for them. That's interesting. I wonder what the distance on that is. Let's go get this dead bandit. What do you got? Potion of healing? Alright. Let's get out of here. I was wondering if I could shoot it to blow it up, but it, the last time I tried to shoot something, my character walked over and touched it with his hands, which was not what I wanted. A ruined lance. Potion of lesser healing. A dead bandit. Getting more cure disease potion. We love that. I was here for the Golden Hype Train. Yeah, the Golden Hype Train was rad, dude. That's wild as hell. It's a CRPG, yeah. So if you've played games before that have, like, like, choice mechanics, this game is built entirely around choice mechanics and the way that you handle yourself in different social interactions and combat interactions throughout the game. So your ability to discern the best choice in any environment and your choices in those change the storyline as it goes, is the idea. There was a golden hype train? There was. Yeah, there was a golden hype train. Like, oh, we can just kill this dude. What? Eat it. He was looking away. Diary of a dead man. Bucket. Dead civilian. Yoink. I've become a loot goblin. Okay, we got a rusty hunting trap, and it looks like it's primed. If we can get that one to walk into it, he see me. All is lost! This is fine. Who is this? That's a rogue. Rogue boy, kill him. No, what? Why are you not killing? You're really bad at killing. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Let's thread this needle a little bit. Please? Please? He's just barely at... What? Fine. He was in sprint range. <laughs> Fantastic. It's everything I wanted and more. Eat it. That's satisfying. That fireball is really satisfying, actually. It's really satisfying. It's always interesting seeing messages deleted in real time. Somebody get on. That's funny. So we can actually warp our rogue. Target a humanoid creature if you pass DC 15 persuasion. Target is distracted for duration. Alright. Let's move our rogue up here. This guy's likely to hit that, that rusty trap there, so we're going to wait. Nice. And now that he's in the trap, let's kill him. Very good. And that combat out. He's probably going to attack here. No, he didn't. He wasn't able to. That costs some mana. Make a range spell touch attack. Sick. you love to see it. All right, let's take a rogue and we're going to start setting out these traps. Get rid of those. Got a lever to open this. Anything new in here? Use bed rolls while adventuring to do a short rest, restoring some of your hit points and resources. Got another dead bandit. Got some keys there. Now that's interesting. It's a lockpick. Okay. Yeah, Unforetold. That is the game right there. And now we can also do some level up stuff. So, let's take a look at our characters. Oh, it's saving itself. How do we do level ups? What is the way to do a level up? We're in the inventory. Is there a way to do a level up? Is there a character button? We can wait. Need to click on your portrait? Ah, oh, I see. Select which arch slam to level up. Level up fighter, blade master level 2. Add an additional archetype. Really? 
That's kind of interesting. Yeah, we're going to exit that process. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. I want to add one more level for my stuff. Oh, that's weird. I think I may have broken it. There we go. So, we can add another set of systems here. I can add two to intimidation, which I think is a good idea because I've been doing a lot of intimidating. You know what I mean? I think that's probably a good idea. We're not going to add one to my ranged attack rolls. No, I don't want that. Pull armor attack. 200 melee weapons. Armor class by one when using a shield. Let's do armor class by one when using a shield. That's a good idea. Yes. And it looks like my buddies level up on their own, so I don't get anything from that. So I don't get any control over them. Let's see if we can have our rogue pick the lock. Oh, I guess it doesn't change. <laughs> Why are my rolls so bad? <laughs> Why are my rolls so bad? Oh, it's horrifying. Hey, everybody. I made it through the horrible place. Oh, that is cool. I love that art style. A little bit of steampunk, a little bit of future tech, a little bit of magic. Yeah, that's a really cool looking world. I super agree with that. That looks phenomenal, actually. Yeah, lots of color. Look at this. Got a big dino. Big Thunder Beast, right? But these... The cogs and gears on this train all done with some kind of... You know, arcane magic. is very, very neat. I love this style. I love that it's slightly kind of like warping as it goes through. Look at that. Yeah, like force cogs. And a free hat. Oh wait, no, they're upset about me going for the free hat. That does not put our brigade at their mercy. The Brightwing Clan may have their Witcher to our gadgets, but they do not have our numbers. We are the Commonwealth. Our futures are secure. Galsundia favors our greater purpose. We could just steal that man's crate, you know. Hey, merchant. Sorry, friend. Shops are all closed up for the moment. At least until the train departs. It's theft prevention measure. Well, what if I sold you something instead? Like, a man's stolen belongings? Would you like those? Give me that. Give me, give me that. G give it to me. Give, give me that. It's mine now. Mine. It's mine now. Your intimidating words soon result in fearful nods. It will give you the rare item. Enough, please stop. I'll give it to you. Thank you. Glad doing business. The bright winds witched our magic. What a sight to behold. No wonder tensions in the lower docks are ignored. This is where we must part ways. Get yourself a train ticket. I'm certain you will discover invaluable kinships in Howling Valley. How will I procure a train ticket? At this hour, they're surely sold out. I'd like to persuade an affluent ticket holder to forfeit a seat. Good luck, traveler. Beware of those who try to sway you. Unless it's me. Maroon chuckles knowingly, nods farewell, and departs. Okay... Oh look, it's a nobleman. Yoo hoo! Would you like to sh would, would you like to shine like witch at our magic? Ride the train with me, and you'll shimmer like a gem. Imagine sitting side by side as we head to Howling Valley. I'm a bright wind investor, so my money belt is full. I just love to share my wealth with you and my seat. This sounds, this sounds bad. I've got my ticket in hand. Do you have yours? Could you spare an extra ticket for me? Verily, verily. You are vain, asking for a train ticket even before we get to know each other. I have one. I have my one and only ticket, and I have no intention of parting with it yet. 
Okay, let's learn about this man. Let's... Let's not learn about this man. Uh, let's, not, let's not learn about him at all. Let's not know anything about this guy. I'd like you to give up your train ticket. Or else. Or else. Yeah, who cares about him? I'm just gonna threaten him. Yeah, I'm gonna threaten him real good. Give me that ticket. Your words make Morlandro squirm. He gestures in resignation, yielding it to you. Verily, that's one way to force my hand. Take my ticket, ride the train to my place. I'll be keeping score, mind. You'll give me something precious of your own down the line. A little, a little creepy. You know what? Here, you know what? I want more from you. I'd like you to give me... All of your money. Just give it all to me. You give me that money. Give it to... Give me that. And I also... Please stop. I'll happily give you that. Okay, wait one moment. I want you to... Give me... Wait, what? Did it only take one? Does he have more money? Just give me all of your money again? How much money do I have now? Is he only giving me one cash each time? I think he's only giving me one dollar each time. He totally is, even though I put the whole thing there. Huh. I'm taking the man's hat. Give me your hat. Give me that hat. Give me that hat at once. Please stop, I'll happily give you the hat. Damn right you will. Don't you forget it. Bye. I envy you for being able to leave. This is not the Kalsunda that I once knew. We used to be bustling port, Kalsundia's main attraction. Now, with the docks closed, locals are closing up shop while visitors might skulk through sewers to escape. And did the factions care to help? You saw it. The Commonwealth commander, Baland, couldn't trouble himself to lift a finger. Contesting townships, that's their only priority. We'd be better off without them. Let's learn about this guy a little bit. I'm really bad at reading people, but I'm great at threatening them, to be honest with you. Ask them to give me... nothing. I guess nothing. Yeah, you know what? Let me give him the ticket. Your destination is Howling Valley. Welcome aboard. We did it. Yeah, let's leave. Let's get out of here. We can't take his cool glasses? No. This is a cool cinematic. Look at this, dude. I love that train design as well. The Witchstone-powered train races across the desert faster than any conveyance or beast of Orwindar, yet you barely feel any bumps or shaking. As you finally have a chance to relax and see the passing scenery of Kalsundia, you feel wary. Your eyelids get heavier and heavier. A faint voice speaks inside your head. You'll soon reach a crossroads, bonded child. I shall pay close attention to what you decide. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. There's a big, spooky, six-armed ghost man in the sky that is judging me threatening every human being that I meet. That's... <laughs> well, I'll threaten him too. It's fine. Tell me truth. What do you want for Kalsundia? Um... Uh, everlasting peace, chaos, or all side with the oppressed. We don't really get a middle ground in there. I'm gonna be real with you. I just want to steal. I don't even... I don't... I don't even necessarily want peace. I don't really want chaos. I just want to... I just want to steal, you know? I'm going to go with chaos. We're going to go with chaos. I want to steal. The voice replies, Then the lesser factions can help you, even those still lurking in the shadows. Create further conflict and destruction, and they will help you get unbound. With that, you hear a voice from behind you get louder and louder. I just want to steal. Sometimes you just want to steal, you know? I want all of my inventory to be full of stolen items. We get to Howling Vale. The power of the Commonwealth. We act on the faction's behalf and nothing we do... 
Commander, why do the beasts not enter Howling Vale at all? Oh. Well, that can't be good. Oh, hey. It's time to swear in Kalsundia's beasts. All you people, get off the train. Get moving. <sighs> I didn't want to kill somebody today, but... Guess I'm gonna have to. Guess I'm gonna have to steal. Their souls. It's the only way, dude. Yeah, the Quivering Knees was pretty good. As the events unfold in the world, it is up to you whether or not to intervene. If you do not, these events will resolve on their own, and the world will react to the consequences. So we can decide to just sit by and do nothing. The Luck Turners Guard, the Commonwealth Guard. Do we want to side with the Luck Turners or the Commonwealth? I kind of feel like siding with the Luck Turners. You know what I mean? I'm going to say screw the Commonwealth. What's up, dude? Ate it. Appreciation minus 55. Sup. How's it going? It's time to get tough. Why pick a side? Well, you pick one side till the other side's dead. Then you pick the other side. That's how that works. I missed. And that turn. Nice. What's up? Ooh, that's a good hit. We got a crit. We'd love to see that. Let's use his divine blast, see if we can take this guy out. No, we can't. Let's go over to here. And blast them. Oh! I love the slow-mo in this, dude. Look at that. I really, really like that. Actually. That's fun. That's honestly fun. One sec. see. What is this guy's ability now? We've already done everything that he can with it. I think we can end his turn out. We don't really need him to do anything else. Well, he's dead. Oh, he's screwed now, right? Wow, we're just missing everything, aren't we? I think we just have her wait. Missed. There we go. Oh, he finally hits my dude. This guy's armor is kind of getting ridiculous, to be honest with you. There we go. He had to reload on that turn. How did I melee from there? It's a little bit weird. Did I throw a knife? Is that what just happened there? I think I still have the knife, so that's a little bit interesting. I don't know what would cause that. Nice, good kill. 66 experience off of it. You've proven you're not a sheep. Congratulations. That's more than I can say about most Kelsudians. 
You have a pretty good weapon, and you know how to use it. We're a private colony, but we'd give you a fair audition. Now, if you're willing to do a few more tasks for us in Halleck Valley, we'll give you an even fairer audition. I'd like some help with my compulsion bond. I may have underestimated your significance. The Vondans only bond those they see as a threat. I do not know how to remove your compulsion bond, but I'm sure one of our luck turners do. I won't be joining you in Howling Valley, but if everything goes according to plan, we will have troops there to help you out. What am I playing today? I am playing Unforetold Witchstone on a sponsored stream, so they sponsored this stream for this, and it is a CRPG where your choices change the game as it goes. And I'm actually having a blast with it, to be honest with you. I like... I think some of the things that really get me about this, I love the world building that they're doing with this, because personally, I like steampunk style aesthetics, and this is very high magic steampunk style aesthetics for me. I really, really like that kind of aesthetic. It's something that drew me to this game in the first place, was that sort of world building, like, sort of high magic machine style stuff. Just really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy that stuff. And it's just fun. I think it's actually really awesome. We've also been able to, like, build out our character and, like, make him look the way that I want him to be. There's a ton of inventory option stuff, so I can actually make him play in a bunch of different ways. If I want to update his abilities and stuff, each time you level, you can actually make, like, cross-classing and all kinds of stuff with that. We haven't really explored all of those systems yet, but I've seen kind of the, the bones of them, the beginning of those, which is great. Have you heard of ferret legging? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, Steampunk Cowboy. A little bit of Steampunk Cowboy in there. A little bit. I like it a lot. And I've... So far, what I've done is I've joined the faction called the Luck Turners. And the way that I join this isn't like you choose the faction and then you just join it. It's an event happened where the guards were fighting them, and I could choose to kill them and join the guards, or choose to kill the guards and join them, and I chose to kill the guards, right? And it wasn't like a, you choose this, it was just like, here's the combat. So technically, I could have killed everybody. Like, that would have been fine. Could have murdered everyone on the enemy teams on both sides and then just kind of had no alliance. Which would be kind of interesting. I think that's sort of an interesting thing to look at is like, what happens if I kill, you know, the bandits? What happens if I kill everybody? What happens if I just stand there and do nothing? There's all options there and I, this is where things start to spiral out, right? Where you have so many different choices that are available to you and I like that. Yeah, lots of replayability in that. I, I enjoy that kind of a thing. Yeah, it makes it super replayable. Is this game finished? So you can actually pull it up over the link up there at the top of chat. It's pinned in the top comment there. And it's in early access. And something that we always look at for early access, and this is really important to me. I talk about early access all the time. We're entering early access so that we can collect feedback on our unique influence system, sandbox RPG mechanics, the overall gameplay loop, and how players can affect the world. We look to determine what changes, if any, need to be made in order to bring the game in line with the expectations of tabletop RPG and CRPG fans. This is exactly why you want to see a game in Early Access. Early Access is a time for them to interact with the players, get feedback from the players, and do better by them, right? So this is the correct time to go into Early Access, and I think that's the correct outlook for that. We see this all the time, and sometimes Early Access is just sort of a meme, where they just go, Oh yeah, we're just going Early Access because we want to soft sell the game. This one is not. This one is, we want to talk to our players, right? And so that's that's what you want to see, is that sort of direction for early access, is to hear that they want to talk to the players, garner feedback, and move forward with that. And that's all. That's what that is. All right. Let's turn that back off. Boop. You've proven you're not a sheep. Congratulations. There's no way to turn off ads on Twitch. Ads on Twitch are going to do runtime ads or pre-roll ads, and I'd rather not have pre-roll ads. So, yeah. We value everyone's feedback during this time. Good. That's the right way to do it. So, if you guys don't know, I've actually been in the gaming industry for 20 years. I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment, then Amazon Game Studio, then I worked for the United States Department of Energy, now I own my own game studio. And a big tenant that we have is to talk to our players. The fact that you guys are doing the same thing is exactly what I want to see out of a, out of a studio, so you're doing it right. As long as you keep that kind of communication going, it's really hard to go wrong. Because your players are able to have an open communication with you, they feel heard, you get valuable feedback, and you make the game better. So far, I've actually been having a good time with this. I think that there are a couple rough spots in terms of like UI elements and things like that, but that's expected in early access and things that you polish over time. What'd you do for the DOE? I'm an offensive security specialist. I'm a hacker. So I hacked power plants for the federal government. Made the power grid safer. Yeah. How did you move from game dev to government hacker? Well, 
I was an offensive security specialist at Blizzard, so I I did uh, I was the lead of application security, which is all of Blizzard's websites globally. Then after that, I um, I became a senior red team specialist, offensive security, running, jumping, climbing trees, hacking networks when I was up there, and I got three black badges from DEF CON. That got me the job at the DOE. Yeah. Worked in intelligence, now I work in AI. That's awesome. Art style alone interests me a lot. I think so, too. I think the environment, the world setting is what's interesting here, and it's already really compelling to see the branching path right out the gate, right? We were able to influence and talk to people in the very beginning, kind of taught us about the influence system where we could, we could tell somebody to do something, we kind of screwed it up a little bit, right? And then after that, we get into this area, and immediately we can choose to join a faction or not join a faction. That's a really interesting move, right? Instantly I go, well, there's four paths out of this. There's kill everyone, there's kill nobody, there's join one side, or there's join the other side. Right out the, out the gate for this, right? And I think that's good. I think it's a good thing. I like the story, yeah. It just, it leaves a lot of paths open for the story, sort of what that is. Yeah, DOD is Department of Defense, DOE is Department of Energy. Energy is power plants and all of our power grid and stuff. My partner is really knowledgeable about cybersecurity. It's like he's a tech wizard. Same thing that I do. Yeah. We'll move those trunks out of the way. The train will make it to Howling Vale. I'd like some help with my compulsion bond. So he doesn't know anything about the compulsion bond, which is limiting our power or growth in some way. Do you play any TTRPGs actively? My dude. I've been playing D&D a long time, my dude. <laughs> I love having props. I love making dungeons. I have all kinds of worlds in here. All kinds of stuff. I've been doing that a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what edition did you start with? First edition. And then I moved on to second edition. I stayed there for a really, really long time because I, I am a masochist and love Thaco. Then I moved on to third edition because they, they expanded out with a billion rule books. Billion rule books. And now I usually play either third edition with groups or fifth edition with groups most of the time. Yeah. If I can find a group that's into AD&D, we'll go play some Thaco, do some second edition. Yeah. Love it. It is, it is my favorite. Yeah, love it. Actually. 100%. And when I say third edition, I mean 3.5. I'd like some help with compulsion bond. Listen, can you do something for me? I wonder if this dude can give me something. Give me your gun, dude. Pirate saber. I mean, I got the pirate gun. Give me your gun. Give me your weapon. Harlan Duke is the leader. Do you think? Do you guys think I could threaten the leader of the faction to giving me their sword? <laughs> give me that. Give me that sword. You think I gonna do it? Think I could do it? You guys think I could do it? Actually, wait a minute. What if we threaten them into joining me? Join me. They're the member of another faction. And the leader of a faction. But what if I pull it off, dude? What if I do? I can't in- Oh, I can't look into them. Maybe not for now. I want to. I want to see if I can get them. That would be the. Yeah, I know it's minus fifteen. You can't roll high. No, I'm. It, it's impossible for me to roll high so far. Oh yeah, we gotta go steal from all these dead people. Howling Valley Warehouse key. Oh, some heavy plate, dude. Hold up. Hold up. Sick. We're gonna become beast mode really fast. This is gonna this is gonna be good. We've got fifteen armor. Wait a minute. Oh, because of my dexterity, it doesn't even matter. Okay. That's two armor. That's four armor. That's five armor. That was three armor. There we go. Okay, so if we wear the full heavy, then we're good to go. This is an interesting item. My current hat gives me two armor. I have 20 armor class. <laughs> yeah, I'm invisible. It's still in early access, so there's going to be little slight bugs and things like that. 
It's not something to really worry about, I don't think, to be honest with you. And with the developers being in chat as they are, I would not be surprised if they're frantically taking notes and looking at all the stuff that we're finding here. Because they'll they'll likely see any of the bugs that we're missing and have any of the bugs for this. Here's something for the devs. Is there an easy way for your players to submit bug reports to you? Because something that we talk about a lot is properly doing bug reports and like teaching the community how to do bug reports because I've been a dev for a long time. Yeah, it's a known issue. Fakeo Theocracy. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. You can use the forums on Steam. Perfect. So, let's go pull those up real fast. I'm going to go grab their f Steam forums. If you don't know how to get the Steam forums for a game, all you have to do is you have to pull up the game, right? Let's get rid of that. There we go. You can pull up the game. You can go to Community Hub. And inside of the Community Hub, you can go to Discussions, and you can find the forums here. And it looks like they have a general discussion and an events and announcements and a trading forum. Tra trading is always there for every Steam game. So you can leave them you can leave them bug reports in here, which is really useful. So yeah, if you find them, put them in there. In-game bug report button would have been stellar for this. Yeah, bug report buttons are always good. <laughs> Slash sarcasm. Yeah, no, it's always going to be the thing like that. Oh, you guys have a Discord too. Yeah, good, good. It's one of the things I, I try to tell devs a lot, is have a Discord. If you guys have a Discord with your early access, that's phenomenal. That's the right way to go, for sure. Right way to go, for sure, dude. Anyway. Let's find more of the video game. Can I seduce the dragon? I feel like I could probably seduce somebody in this. Let's look into this, dude. Give me some insight. Physically incapable of rolling dice. That's who I am. I don't, I don't want to continue the conversation with you. Terrible. What is this? Oh yeah, I need to look into their weapons too. And I'm going to eat their pickled olives as well. Can I just... Can I just use that? Mmm, pickled olives. What does well-fed do? Does it stop me from eating more? Can I just keep eating? Mmm, potato. Mmm, <laughs> apple. Oh, no, no, no. A loaf of bread. Oh, my God. How much will they let me eat? Mmm. I wish to eat more. A grilled fish stick. Mmm, yes. Oh, I rolled a six on that, actually. I'm at 27 HP. Can I- can I get you to, like, do something about this? Just, like, make it go away. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, bud. That's all I needed. Oh, he gets a well-fed buff twice. Plus one to all saving throws. Plus one to all saving throws. That's cool, actually. The fact that those stack, you'll love to see it. Alright, we've gotten our pile of stuff. Everything is good. Our main character is completely overburdened with- with items. But we have 20 armor, so this is fine. I've become badass. Let me see if I got a better weapon off of him. Ruined Lance. That's not good. What is my weapon right now? My weapon right now is a 1d8 plus 3 longsword. So I don't even think these guys had a better weapon than me. I think my weapons were better. Yeah, even the badass guy didn't have anything good. Huh. Is there a sword inventory? I'm actually not seeing the sword inventory anywhere, if there is one. Is there? Is there? Are you able to remove the hood from your- let your character's hair flow? I don't think there's an ability to remove that. That I can see. I'm not sure. You still have a gilded servant. No, I haven't used gilded in a while. The gilded just redirects you back over to our Discord. Our Discord's sitting at about 70,000 people in it, though. There's a lot of people over there. Yeah, this is not a looter shooter. This is a CRPG, and it's got turn-based combat. Can we get back into the train cart? If you want to leave, you won't be able to visit their area ever again. That's fine. I'm glad that it pops that up, by the way. How many active? 
almost all of them, Ronox. We purge people that are not active on the Discord. If you haven't, if you're not active on Discord, like if you haven't been active in a month, which doesn't include comments, just like logging into the Discord, then yeah, it gets purged. We got to keep an active, like an accurate number of the amount of people that are there. How do I join it? Discord.gg slash pirate software. That's our Discord. With your aid, the luck turners eliminated the commander. Oh, wait a minute. This was directly because of my actions here. A successful heist. With your aid, the luck turners eliminated the commander Balan of the Commonwealth and invaded Howling Valley. War is rising as the furious Commonwealth responds. You've left your mark on Kalsundia. Already, we've changed the, the course of the video again. Continuing to side with luck turners could bring instability, but perhaps chaos means opportunity for change. Yeah. I can agree with this. Yes, yeah, six-armed god watching you very carefully. True. What is that? There's like a wall there? Some kind of magical barrier? That's kind of cool. Look at that. Visit inns to find proper beds. You can long rest. So many pages on the floor. Hello, law enforcement. Yes? Tell me about yourself. Oh, look, I learned something for once. He doesn't feel like someone who would backstab others. Ronald is someone loyal. Alright. Join me. Or else. Oh, he's more experienced than me. And he's on guard duty. Alright. Well, we've learned something there, too. The fact that he's on guard duty is kind of interesting. Careful around these parts, stranger. You never know who's looking for their next bit of plunder. What about you? Are you trustworthy? I'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know. He could be trustworthy or he could be a villain. That could be the boss of the game. Commonwealth Guard. We'll crush those luck turners in no time. I don't know about that. Narrow failure. Narrow failures let you try again, which is kind of nice. He has predatory eyes of someone always looking for personal gain or profit. I'd like you to... Run away. Do it. Give me... I don't even want that. I don't even want any of your stuff. Get out of here. Commonwealthy Lieutenant. Despite what you may hear, child, helping the luck turners was wise. Commander Balan was a thorn and more dim than Thunder Beasts. Glad we are rid of him. Wow, this faction is awful. I'm glad we killed all those dudes. This faction is horrific, frankly. Let's find out about this guy. Alright, good. You sense that Joran Ashmantle has a sibling. What? <laughs> How did I sense that? I, you have a sibling? Your mother's name starts with... S. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. How can I be of service to your faction? I don't have a job for you, but the other commander might have something. Can someone in your faction remove a compulsion bond? Our local he leader knows the ritual, but you can't meet them just yet. Okay, so they have a way to do it. They have a way to do it. But they're awful. Mm, you sensed it skelepathically? That's probably true. Earn our trust and we'll let you enter our headquarters. I just, like, murdered a bunch of you, but... You're cool with it? Join me. Threaten to hurt a relative. Oh, because we sense that they have a relative. They have a sibling. I'm going to hurt your your family if you don't join me. Member of another faction, more experienced than me, they're working, they're a high-ranked in a faction, but they care about the threatened person. So that's really interesting. We have two unknown modifiers. Threaten to reveal a secret. 
We have leverage over them. Now that is really interesting. We have leverage over them because we know a secret about them. Hmm. Yeah, this method of communication with NPCs is incredibly good. <coughs> it's incredibly good. Because that knocks out that. We're still going to get a massive negative on this. Yeah. It's it's still going to be a, it'd still be a minus 8 and then two unknown modifiers that we wouldn't know. No, we'd have to we'd have to threaten to reveal a secret if we were going to do this. I don't think it's ready yet. Kind of hard to read the modifiers because I'm in the way. There. Uh, you didn't see it. There we go. So you can see the modifiers now. Plus two from player's intimidation rank. Plus 15, you have leverage over Jorit. Plus two, Jorit Ashmental was insight checked. And then minus five because he's high ranking. Minus 10 because he's a member of another faction. Minus 10 because he's more experienced. And minus two because he's working. And then two unknown modifiers. A traded relationship that you have not yet discovered. Use insight on this character or tell me about, or tell me about section. So let's see, tell me about... I think we just need to use insight on this dude. I think that's going to be the way to do this. How can he be of service? The commander might have something. So let's go find the commander. We may be able to influence and, and like be rude to that dude later. Let's see what's going on in the bar. Why, hello. Look at the proud traveler who aided and abetted bandits. Sabranth would faint if I offered you a bed at my inn. I want to warn you that townspeople won't be very welcoming. Better scram to Riverfort, south of here. You call this an inn? It's the finest inn in Howling Valley. It's the only inn in Howling Valley, let's be honest. Don't believe me? Head upstairs and try our beds, free of charge. Free of charge? This man's going to rob me. This man's going to rob me. That's how that's going to go. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get robbed. He's like, don't stay here. We'll murder you. But also, stay here free of charge. Do you know how to break a compulsion bond? Compulsion bond. Compulsion bond. It's been a while since I've heard those words. Maybe our priest might know, but the faction leaders would probably know best. I'm sure you can find someone here in Riverford to help you. Do some insight. Well, I'm bad at that. I am not good at that. Yeah. I am not good at that at all. What do you have for sale? Oh, cool. Let me just... This item cannot be sold because it was stolen. But how would anyone know? How would anyone know? Is there a hot click button for this? You can't right-click. Do I have to just drag and drop it all? Your scalopathy... Blows? I know, it's awful. Shift or control? Shift doesn't work. Control doesn't work. Control clicking doesn't work. Shift right-click doesn't work. Control right-click doesn't work. Looks like I don't have the ability to do it. That's definitely something that I would want. Some inventory management, stuff like that. Double click? No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, there's no double clicking either. I'm going to sell all these dead guys stuff. I guess it's not theft. Why is it red? I guess it's not theft when you, uh... Oh, wait, this is my offer. So now I have to go and get stuff from him. Give me... Cannot sell currency. Can I not take his currency? My offer is 159 sons of gear. So far. What? What? That's a little bit weird. I think the inventory might be breaking a little bit. 
Might be running into a little bit of bugs here. Yeah. I think I'm dropping those items on the floor. <laughs> I think I might, might be actually dropping those on the floor. Some of them may be dropping on the floor. That's very funny. Cause I you hear that? I think that's me dropping it on the floor. Oh dear. Maybe a new bug. It might be a new bug. Is there any way I can get his currency? Auto balance? Okay, that works. I'm just gonna accept this trade. I'm auto balancing it, but nothing's happening. Oh, wait, these are Canada's stolen now, suddenly. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel this. It dropped all my stuff on the floor. What? He witnessed me picking up my own stuff? Or did I steal that? Aren't these mine? They're witnessing me stealing my own things! Whatever. I'm getting out of here. Something terrible happened. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. I'm leaving. What is... What is that? Hi. I'm starting to get beyond fed up with you. I'd like you to talk to, tell me about Grigan. <laughs> secrets aren't secrets if everybody goes about telling them, so I don't. All right. Keep your secrets. I just wanted to make some small talk. Uh, let's get out of there. That's a little bit weird, right? That's an undertaker in there. That's a dead guy. Hi. Eu seu tihu o? Salutations, Flora. I know that's not your real name. That's the name of the chrysanthemums. The chrysanthemums gave you? My plants have a fondness for tourists. At the same time, there are those in Howling Valley they can't stand. For example, the archaeologists. I won't repeat the nickname. They've given that snooper. Speaking of snooping, you seem to know your way around our little township. Are you familiar with my commission trading deal? It's very lucrative. I don't like this person. Okay. How can I make it up to you? I've heard of the Be Belanthers of Riverfort have to leave many a thing behind in their old mansion in Hermit's Wood. Even a precious heirloom, an amulet from Eolithic times. I'd like to study it. Would you be a deer and fetch their heirloom for me? Interesting. Oh, it's auto-saving. Is there anything I can steal in there? I love stealing. Oh, there's a chest. Let me just... Let me just go over here. Oh, it's locked. Nice! It's a little bit of thieving, you know? It's a little bit... A little bit of thieving. We do a little thieving around here, alright? I don't even know what I just stole. A makeup kit. Alright, what's mine now? Where's my dudes? Why are they just standing there? Can you join me? There we go. And I gained a level.
We need even more intimidation is what we need. Interesting. Yeah, let's do more stealth. And then we'll go into abilities. Let's see what we can get here. Blade Masters gain discipline points that they can use for maneuvers. They recover on a short or long rest. It's a passive. Duration is infinite. Distracting attack. Dustbreaker kick. That would allow us to do a succeed on a fortitude saving throw or be blinded for the duration. We can blind people with our kick, dude? Hold up. I could just... I could just kick someone's eyes out. I'm fine with that. That's kind of a cool one. Distracted for the duration. Armor class increases by 1d4 for the duration. That's kind of cool. Faint an attack against a target, making them confused and granting you advantage on your next attack against them. I don't know, dude. Shoe sand seems pretty good, yeah. I think pocket sand shoe edition is very good. I'm going to go with shoe, shoe pocket sand. Let's customize this. Oh, wait, we can choose four. Hold up. I want to choose evasive stance. What is this? Repost? When an enemy misses you with a melee attack, make a melee attack against them as a reaction. Yes. When hit by a melee attack, reduce the damage taken by 2d6. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to be able to raise our armor class, making enemies hit, miss us more, which allows me to do this as a reaction more often. And, when I do get hit, I can reduce the damage as a reaction. A. Now we're getting the gross mode. We're getting the I'm, I'm becoming ungodly powerful mode. What is a warrior but a rogue that does strength checks? True. You know how you pick a lock as a warrior? You just break it. <laughs> lock picked. Broken. Yeah, true bandit behavior. I'm interested in seeing what these things are. They bury their dead near them. Beyond the physical and mystical protection of Howling Valley, what is this thing? So they actually bury their dead. But they bury them near these pillars. A little bit of Day of the Tentacle-like, yeah? Now, the real question is, do they make these, right? Do they make these items, or do they just find them? Because it looks like they're in a state of disrepair, right? Like, this one's completely destroyed. Is this something they manufacture? Is this something they find? Yeah. Wait, what? There's an event going on. Where's the warehouse? Okay, hold up. We're gonna go down there. There's a group attacking the warehouse. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of death happening over there. Commonwealth Guards and Luck Turner's Guild. Let's kill the guards! Come on. Can you can you do it? Nice! We love killing a man. I've traveled long and far to meet you. What Sir? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? Why are you so naked? Were you dead? Halt! Turn back! You're trespassing! What? 
I just helped you. What? <laughs> by the withering, by the withering looks you get, your proposal is not taken seriously. Nice try, but you better get out of here before you get hurt. Stop following me around, or else. Or else. Why does or else always work, guys? Please don't hurt me. I'll leave you alone now. Okay, I'm just gonna go steal from this man. Oh no, someone's been killed. Weren't you the murderer? You were the murderer. Fight between the factions is happening. Okay. Where did that naked man go? I need to understand. Where did our naked friend go? Let's take all this stuff. I feel like death comes quick and fast in this game. Like, like it comes thick and fast, rather. It's just death all over the place. Oh, an armored hood. Luck turned lieutenant. Where did the naked man run to? That guy's name is Sorry. Do you know how to remove a compulsion bond? I do sense your compulsion bond blocking your innate abilities. However, I do not know your intentions yet and won't put my life at risk to perform the unbinding ritual. Once I can trust you, I will help you. I'd like you to... Assassinate. <laughs> we can assassinate? Influence this person to negotiate peace with another faction. To raid a property owned by another faction. Let's take over the sheriff's office, dude. Huh. So we can actually negotiate for them to do things. Like, yeah, there's a ton of options in this. Like, actually affect the storyline. Which is sort of wild, right? Finishing my jam submission? Nice, dude. I don't really want to say anything to them. We can just end this conversation, can't we? Stop following me around. Oh, God damn it! Oh, no! Oh, it's a narrow failure. I get to try again. It's fine. There we go. When is the game jam? It's ending today. So it looks like we'll be left alone no matter what we do in this. There's a chest, but it looks like we can't access that. So the warehouse is under the control of the faction that we want it to be under. But it's not... They don't like us yet, is the problem. Stolen some stuff. Bill Drat is blocking these doors. <laughs> From the wrong side, alright. Yeah, the game is called Unforetold, Witchstone. And what we found is that you can do a lot of different actions to change the storyline. But we're sort of playing around with that right now, and there's there's a lot of stuff happening. Because events can happen in the top left corner of the screen that say, like, hey, something is going on in the town. And this one was the faction that we like was attacking the warehouse. And we wouldn't help them. They still don't trust us, even though we've murdered some people for them. Which is fine. But we'll learn some stuff from them. We'll just keep doing it. Oh, look. There's a weird creature here. It's gonna kill it. That's fine. It's dead now. It's dead now and I gained XP. Compulsion bonded. Fail all saving throws against Avondon mind control spells. Yeah, the game is there. Can you simply explain where the game jam is? A game jam is a limited time where you guys get to make a video game with a theme. Something we run twice a year. Hidden stairs in the corner of the warehouse? Were there? Let's head back. It just... It's interesting that that faction decided to take over the warehouse kind of like right away, like that. Which means they're likely much stronger than I anticipated originally. Were there hidden stairs? 
Ah, you're totally right. There's an underground portion there. Let's head on inside. Oh? What? I may have broken the game. <clears> hmm. <throat> huh. Ooh. Why do I break the game? Because I can. That's new. <laughs> oh, poor SHG. I'm so sorry. Am I soft locked? I feel soft locked right now. I may be. Can I leave? Can we walk this location? Where am I? You cannot interact with this now. I do believe I am soft locked. I don't believe I can connect with anything. That's okay. Did we save before doing that? Maybe? Let me see if I can load the save game. I think it saved after that. There was an autosave at 1 hour and 54 minutes. And an autosave at 1 hour and 50 minutes. Which is weird because... When was it 8.12? So let's try to load that. Oh, there we go. My autosave was in the correct environment. We're fine. Everything is fine. Stealing this shovel and bucket. Reported a crime theft. Who would possibly report the theft? Who? Invalid goal name. Attacking Longvin family stables. I want, I want that. What does a greatsword do? Where did that greatsword go? It's lost in my inventory chat. I'll never find it now. It could be anywhere. We'll never discover it. It'll never exist. It could be anywhere in the game. What is going on? There's something insane happening right now. There's a quarter staff over here. Eolithic door. Okay. So let's move that. Move that. Let's go stand on this thing. Okay. And once we do it, we can leave. Good. Eolithic Spear. Ruined Lance. Let's go look at that Eolithic Spear. Where is that going? Is my inventory full? And it's just going into the void? I feel like that might be full and it's going into the void. Hmm. Is it being equipped? No, it's not being equipped. What if there's camp storage? Is there? Is there camp storage? Maybe it goes to a stash? I don't know. The void consumes. It may be going to a void of some kind. Companion inventories? It didn't seem to. We're gonna fail that. That's fine. We got one armor from this. We've got two armor there. Two armor. Two armor.
Yeah, I don't think this exists in my inventory. I think it disappeared. Weird. Search option would be nice. I think so too. I think a search and an auto, like an auto sort, would be really fantastic. To be honest with you, because it's hard to find stuff in the inventory. And I'm trying to look through this to see if there's any of those items that I just picked up, and I don't think there are. I think they've been deleted, which is interesting. Oh wait, it's moved it down here. Maybe? S R wait, Ring of Skill Survival? I'm just gonna steal that from you. They have another one on them. Yeah, no, it didn't put it in his inventory either. I don't know, man. Yeah, I have no clue. Dev says you've been voided. Oh. You can offload gear to companions. I'm just going to eat this. It's going to drop all this stolen stuff. Because I'll have to, like, if they don't let me buy stuff, right? I feel like if something's been stolen, people shouldn't know. You know what I mean? Because, like, they have no idea that I've stolen it from somebody, unless they're, like, acquainted with the person I stole it from. Nah, no, there's no sorting items. You have to do it manually. What is that? What is that insane bullshit? Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. There's a stone golem over there. Oh, there's multiple stone golems. Of course there are. Hmm. Alright. What? Is the oddest route possible? It's fine. Okay, we're not going to inspire courage. We're going to divine blast this guy. Maybe we are going to inspire courage. There, he's courageous now. Nice. That's a good hit. Sand. The spell sound seems to play even when you haven't chosen. So, like, if I walk over here and I do this, right? And I click on this. It doesn't until I choose to do something, but if I change a different option, it'll actually stay on there. There's definitely going to be some bugs. It's an early access, you know? You're always going to have that kind of stuff. As long as the devs are communicating with their community, as long as they are fixing issues and putting that out to people, doesn't matter how many bugs there are. Really doesn't. That's the only thing that matters, is talking to people and making sure they fix stuff. We're just gonna sit here. I have too few movement, movement now because I'm the large lad with the heavy armor. But he's gonna miss everything, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he is. I got that 20 armor class now, dude. I got that beast mode armor class. Can we play credit playtesters in a game submission, even if they're not part of the dev team? Yeah, if you'd like to. That's totally fine. All 
don't know what just happened. There we go. Sir? I think combat may have just broken. Yeah. I'm stuck on the priest, but it's not letting me do anything. Oof. Yeah, I think I just soft locked. I believe I have soft locked again. Hmm. Can't cast anything, can't hit end. Can't swap characters. Soft lock means that the game hasn't crashed, but you're unable to progress. Yeah, the enemy didn't seem to end their turn. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if I can load the save. Is that going to work? Should be a timeout comedic, but this happens from time to time. We've been trying to fix this one, but it's proven elusive. Makes sense. No, it's not a safe file corruption. No, no, no. Nothing like that. This does give me a chance to, like, get rid of all this junk and get those items that we weren't able to get because they got voided before. It does give me a chance for that. There's that great sword. So now let's actually look at the great sword. There it is. No. Where is it? Is it still gone? I think it may actually still be gone. Huh. Load save, drop one item, reopen inventory and see if you got the space. That's what I'm going to do. It makes me wonder if it's just not picking up the item. Yeah, I just need to... I, I wish there was a sword. Yeah, there's an incredible amount of game things that go wrong in games. You have to remember that, like, early access is the time for these types of things to go wrong. 100%. Okay. Wait, what? I removed one item, and now there's an item in its spot. Let's drop one item. I'm in like some kind of void space inventory where I have more items than my inventory can hold. And it's it's repopulating it based on that void space. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's bag of holding. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It's doing a bag of holding thing. Oh. I hard crashed it. <laughs> it was upset. It became deeply upset. Oh, no. Fatal error. I don't know what the fatal error was. Oof. Oh, Steam? Are you going to run it? Let's see if Steam runs it. Yeah. Let's see if we can load it back up. Error and error occurred. Yeah, no, descriptive errors are super important. Super important. I wish there was an option there to uh, send the, the results of that crash to you guys as well. 
Because anytime you have something like that, uh, sending the results is always helpful for tracking it down. Investigating this inventory issue? Sorry for any trouble this caused? No, 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 no. So, SHG, I, I want you to know, I'm used to this kind of stuff in early access games. You guys aren't doing anything wrong. I hope that people aren't judging the game super harshly based on what you guys have on offer from early access. I think that your system for interaction between characters is highly compelling. I think the world setting is highly compelling. Bugs like this are things that get fixed because of you guys being in chat, seeing it happen. It's bugs. Yeah, bugs happen. I don't think there's anything wrong with this game at all. I think that there's bugs like this, and bugs are always going to occur. The really interesting part is, what was that caused by? And I w I'm wondering if it was caused by me dropping too many items and there wasn't enough space. So I want to keep playing with this and see if we can get it to happen again. Or if it was caused by the fact that we have this overabundance of inventory where we're going into void space like this. And I just don't know yet. So I'm just going to keep dropping stuff. I'm going to see how long it takes for doing this. Because I'm really interested now as to what would cause this. And if we can figure it out for you, great. It's one less thing to have a problem with. And don't worry. Don't worry at all. It is always a scary thing when someone is playing your game live and then something goes wrong. But you got nothing to worry about. We're grand majority a community of people who make video games. We know. We know how this works. I appreciate the kind words and the kind words from everyone. I agree that I'm also very curious as to what's happening. Oh yeah, bingo. I want to know. Let's drop this out. Commonwealth Cloak, that's good. I wonder how many of these I can drop. Last time it crashed. Can I just keep dropping things? Well, it looks like it's a... Oh? I don't know what's happening. Now I have the greatsword. It's a two-handed martial weapon. All right. So that's not broken. But it didn't crash this time. Now there's just like a ton of stuff sitting on the floor. We got a breastplate. Well, oh, I hit O. That's interesting. Breastplate is 5 armor. Our current armor is also 5 armor. But ours gives 10% bludgeoning resistance. What is the look of this? The look is pretty cool. But this is stronger. So I'm just going to do that. We've got Battle Warren Hood. Yeah, Unforetold Witchstone. It's actually linked in the, the pinned common. At least if the pinned common is still there, which it should be. Yeah. All right. Now that we've done this, it crashed. <laughs> I'm wondering if what's crashing it isn't actually my actions. I wonder if it's that event. That's the thing that I'm wondering about. Because there's an event that's playing in the background. And it may be that event that's causing this. It may actually be that event. Make sure to send feedback. The devs are actually in chat right now. So let's go load back into this, and we're just going to wait. It's definitely your actions. It could be. Yeah, Pat Brutal's there. And as SHG is there as well. It's always... You guys have to remember, it's always a really vulnerable moment when a game breaks while somebody's playing it and the devs are watching. Don't worry, though. I've actually been really enjoying the world setting that you guys have set up. Incredibly so. Incredibly so. So don't, don't worry even at all. I don't think it gives off a bad impression of the game whatsoever. It's an early access, and as long as you communicate with players like you have been, it's great. Yeah, exactly. It is, but we need to find issues like that. Bingo. Yeah, that makes the most sense. So there's that event going on. Masked Marley is going on to the bottom right corner. 
I'm going to wait to see if that event is what's tied to what's crashing. So we're not even going to touch. We're not even going to touch the uh, controls for a minute. Just to see if that's what's going on there. Because they're attacking each other. And we'll see if it has something to do with the inventory. If it has something to do with that event. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday, you goblin. How long is the game normally in early access? It depends, right? You have to look at early access not as a time period that needs an ending. It is one of those things of like, is the game ready yet? No. Keep it in early access. Is there more we can get from the players to shape the direction of the game? Yes. Then keep it in early access. Uh, by a, a really interesting interaction there, uh, Gmail was in beta for five years despite having millions of users. So it doesn't really matter. The title is, is just there to say, hey, we're we're having a dialogue with players to shape the direction of the game, right? Okay. Maybe it's not crashing because of that. Let's go forward with this. We'll just kind of move that over there. We'll move that over there. Go stand on this now. I was wondering if it was breaking because of an event going on. But it seems like it's actually dropping a lot of objects on the environment. Ah. My dude is in the way. What's the difference between alpha and beta? Alpha is generally reserved for a time where the game is incredibly unstable, major systems may be removed, all kinds of stuff can go on, right? Beta is like, the systems are mostly secure. We're just kind of testing to make sure that things working, you know, work now. And technical alpha is like, does game even function? <laughs> you hear strange mechanical sounds coming from beyond. Best be pre prepared for anything. So let's do this. We're just going to immediately gonna go, go to combat. Yes. Nice. And boom, got him. That's a good hit. I've dabbled in games for years, but I finished my first project with this jam. Just want to say thanks. Dude, anytime. I'm really glad you did it. Good for you. Learned a bunch of stuff, man. I'm always happy to run those game jams. We're going to have another one in about six months, too. Smash him. Can you... You gonna do it? I think he's trying to do his action right now, but he's doing it really slow. Whoa! Alright. Huh? Oh. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Upstairs? Oh. Yeah. Chase left through his alarm. F. Ooh. That's good. That's good. Alright, we're gonna end there. He's always gonna miss. Oh, that didn't work very well. Thump. And that turn. Interestingly enough, he didn't get the ability to use his repost there, which is odd. That was fun. Yeah, he's doing it again. See this here? This is me choosing the attack option, and he starts moving, and then immediately goes back to slow movement speed. I think this is what's causing that turn desync. I think that's that's likely what's causing that. Is whatever this state that he's getting into, because he's clearly... He was trying to move to do his turn, but he can't do it now. Because he was going to do the attack, and he just stopped. Now he can't do the attack at all. Secure light wounds on himself. Man, that. 
Seems likely, and it consumed your action. It did. Yeah. I'm trying to find out if it's because I'm choosing the action too quickly. Where it's like a time-based issue like that. Or if it's just based on the fact that I had movement involved. Interestingly enough, it looks like this enemy is now actionless. Yeah, he's completely frozen in time. Look at this. We've managed to find a way to break the enemy. Which I'm not quite sure why. Oh, now he gets to move, finally. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what caused that. I'm gonna save the game. Feel like I learn every time I tune in? Well, I'm glad. I'm really glad. Yeah, this is kind of really interesting. Seeing weird, weird bugs like that. Because you get to learn about a little bit how... Kind of the state machine for that is running. Let's take this. Bandit shortbow. Just gonna leave that stuff behind. Oh, that was... Son of a bitch. It's an arrow trap. I didn't think that was an arrow trap. I'm just gonna stand here over there. Could you... Could you just... Could you disarm that? Instead of doing whatever that was there? No, 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 no. Please. That trap was scary. Okay. Alright. That seems fine. More dead bandits. Yoink. That's fine. Caustic short sword. Let's take a look at... Well... Maybe not. You head out. Have a good day at work. Okay. Let's take all of those. More... What just hit me? Oh, it's another arrow trap. God damn it. I didn't even realize it was an arrow trap there, because it looks like a light. Like it's part of the environment. It looks like something that should be there that's positive. <laughs> Please. Oh. Nope, nope, no. Nope. God damn this place. Fail in 80% multiple times in a row and then walk into the trap. I'm just going to check every goddamn wall. Okay. You go stand on the other uh, actually you I need you to heal her thanks and now I need you to go stand over there okay no I need you to go stand over there what's this a glaive interesting No, no, no. You need to come with us. Come on, bud. Man, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that horrible thing? Oh, hi. Man, I somehow snuck up on him. Oh. <laughs> Two 70% misses, dude. 
Oh god, I'm getting XCOM so hard right now. Thank you. Alright, get battle focus. We're gonna end this. Can he not attack? Okay. That's good. Secondary weapon. That thing's got a lot of HP, actually. And there's another one over there? Another lightning guard. Not good. The stone guards are a meme. We can break those pretty easy. The stone guards are the easy ones. You doing the streamer for software development award? Oh, no, no. You guys have to vote, man. Here, here, here. If you haven't if you haven't voted yet, you have to vote. You gotta go vote. Here, man. Go vote for me. Go vote for me. It's under software and game development on there. Whoa! That is a lot of damage. Well, that's kind of concerning. Um, what's happening? What's going on up there? I think he's trying to path. He's learning something. There we go. It's still the Stone Golem's turn, even though he ended his turn. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do that. And then attack. Can we, can we do that? No? I don't want to move. I want to attack. There we go. Okay. I'm not paused, I'm just only clicking. It was just freezing. It seems like it's having trouble with the, um, the amount of characters in the room. Is what it appears to be right now. I've already ended this character's turn, I just gotta wait. Okay, now it's this guy's turn. Are we out of mana? No? Why can't I cast? Oh, here's an interesting one. See that enemy underneath this? When I go to mouse over my UI, it reads the enemy underneath instead. So it's blocking me out from actually choosing my spells. So I actually have to do this to be able to cast my spells. That's an interesting one. That'll definitely get in the way for players. We're gonna have to move first. Okay. What's happening? What is it doing? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, UI layer being on top would help a lot. Okay. Grants yourself an attack. Grants a friendly creature advantage on their next attack roll. Makes a holy weapon attack against the target. Now we're gonna wait. Oh, big redeemer, thank you very much. Looks like you get stuck on slow-mo, we'll investigate. Makes sense. I think that's the end of my guy's turn.
It also seems to be getting stuck in between turns as well. Did you see Stormgate got the 20 times Kickstarter goal? I did. Yeah, it's wild, dude. It's really, really wild. Yeah, bugs will happen. That's okay. I think something that you should look at, the thing that's most important, the two devs in chat are actually working to try and solve these bugs and record these in the middle of us playing, right? The fact that they're willing to do that, even in a moment like this where it's like, it's kind of it's kind of rough as a dev to see this happen, right? So to have that be the direct response, that's what you want from a development team. This is something that's going to do just fine, legitimately. Just needs time. Needs time. We're actually 10 devs in chat? Well, why hello, all of the developers? I didn't realize there was 10 of you. <laughs> 10 devs in chat. They're actually a 30-person team, right? You guys are a studio of 30 devs, is what I run? Is that correct? Entire team here? I really love the environments, by the way. I may have soft-locked again, by the way. It is likely that I have soft locked. Could it be a hundred devs in chat? It could be. I can imagine the studio sitting in office watching it. Oh yeah. Is there a console? Not that I see. Oh, I hit escape. I think we may have transitioned from a soft lock to a hard lock. Because I hit escape. <laughs> Ooh. Will it recover? Will it die? I think it may have hard locked. The lock is evolving. CPU chugging? Actually, let's check to see what the performance is. No, it's not even close to using my, my resources the machine. Not at all. This is actually highly performant. We're at 5.6% of my CPU. 3 gigs of memory. Yeah, no, this is fine. I will alt it for it. We're going to start it over. Yeah, no, it's super performant, actually. Yeah, it's a CRPG. Yes. The, the biggest thing that they're doing that is super unique is the amount of choice that you can have with NPCs. That's like nothing I've ever seen before, where you can like interact with an NPC and like tell them to like pick up an object or go threaten somebody or like whatever, right? Just like all kinds of stuff. You can direct NPCs by threatening them or, you know, getting them to do things. Just choosing an option. Anything that you want them to do. PC specs? I've got an i9-13900K and a 4090 in this thing. And this is using none percent of resources, which some games of this graphical quality will use some percent of resources, so it's good to see. All right, let's see. We managed to get back to here. Oh, look, it's the arrow traps again. So something that's really interesting about this is let's head back into town, actually, because we're getting a lot of soft locks and stuff in here, and I want to showcase to you guys that system of interaction. As much as I want to delve deeper into this. Why am I interacting with the container? No. Take me out. Okay, there we go. So now we can walk over to any NPC, right? Anything we want. Oh, look. Did this dude rot? Oh my god, his body rotted. He's a skeleton now. They're all skeletons now. Fantastic. So we can talk to this dude. And we can use insight to determine more information about them. Which we failed. Because we always fail it. And then we can go over here and we can say, I want you to I want to make up for my past transgressions towards your faction. What transgressions did we have? We never had any transgressions against them. Hmm. 
You can help us by meeting them at the stables, helping them take over without killing all the stable staff. Looting or setting anything on fire. How about it? Okay. So here's something really interesting. We can actually talk to this person. And this right here, influence. This is where the unique madness comes in. Look at this. We can tell them to do any of these things. Thank you, by the way, Spammels, for the rating party of 79. Hope you're having a good day. So check this out. I can tell them to talk to any other person in here. I can try to persuade them to attack another person. I'll be like, I want you to attack Jorit, and I'm going to threaten you physically to do this. And we have the full system in place here to try and convince them to do this, right? I can say, I want you to give me your weapons. I want you to give me this, and I'm going to threaten you physically for it. Let's do this. Give me that. And they're going to be like, no, I ain't giving you nothing. Your intimidation attempt evokes a frown that hardens and becomes a firm no head shake. No, bully someone else. Or better yet, go buy what you want. See? Didn't work. Why is... Why is this man covered in blood? Why are you covered in blood? Why is there blood everywhere? Hey, Fevel. Talk. I'd like to... I'd like to talk to you. Yes. Um... I'm gonna use some intuition. We did it. I'd like you to give me Wow, you don't even have anything on you. Here's what I want you to do. I'd like you to attack Jorit. I'm gonna threaten you. Bevel is a law officer. He's on guard duty. Uh, I feel like we can do something else. I want you to attack Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna threaten you. Oh, we have to stop him from doing that. Okay. Let's have him attack them. Do it. Oh god, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh wait, no, he's not. Oh, oh it was close. No, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it at all. That's fine. What's he gonna do? Lose appreciation? Cool. He didn't appreciate me anyway. He didn't appreciate me even in the slightest, dude. You could seduce the dragon slightly. You could not only seduce the dragon, you could for you could force somebody else to seduce the dragon by being mean to him, you know? Yeah, fine. Unappreciate me, bro. Exactly. I appear to be softlocked. Can't hit escape. Escape is unresponsive. Oh! It was resolving something with him somehow. There we go. Alright. Where are my teammates? I don't know. Where are my teammates? Why are you back here? What? What is... What? Why are they stuck back there? I am stuck again. Okay, I have to he keep hitting escape to make my character move, it seems. Teammates in pathing hell? Could be. They could be stuck in that. Yeah, each time I want to move, I have to just hit escape. <laughs> okay St stop waiting there we go now it appears that they're no longer broken very odd are they stuck in turn base and you're not I'm not sure I'm not sure what they were stuck in to be honest with you
Let's go outside. This for some reason is really motivating to get my game into early access. You should. River Fort. Yes. Sliding his way there, dude. What is this about? This is a CRPG called Untold or Unfortold Witchstone, and it has a system where you can interact with NPCs and force them to do different actions in an influencing system. It's it's called an influence system. It's really interesting, actually. So we're able to do things like tell them to go talk to another person, tell them to go attack somebody else, tell them to give me their items, tell them to take an item from me. It's pretty open-ended in that way, which is interesting. I haven't seen that before, so I find that to be quite cool. But they sponsored the stream, and I've been showing off the game for the last couple of hours. Technically, the sponsorship was for two hours, but I decided to keep going with it to kind of show some more stuff off with it because we did run into some technical issues because it is in early access and you're always going to get technical issues in early access. Luckily, most of the dev team is here. They've got 10 of their, I believe, 30 person team here. So we we're able to show them what was going on with it and they have more information on how to fix those things now. What is what is going on in there, dude? Can I just kill this dude's furrow horn? Let's just do it. I'm just gonna kill your dude. Wait. Am I talking to it now? Okay. What? What is... What's happening? Well, alright. I don't know what just happened. That's fine. The game really did not like that. <laughs> it was very upset by this action. Hello. The mime politely bows. Let's learn about the mime, dude. Nothing. We learned nothing about the mime. I'd like you to join me. Or else. We need a mime in the party, Chet. I, I am... I am not getting a mime in the party. <laughs> you need to... You need to join me or I'm gonna... I'm gonna flash my weapon at you. Well, I'm really not joining. We, we can't get a mime. It's not happening. The mime points at you, strikes a mock heroic pose, then pantomime stumbling in a face plant pratfall. You're sneering and turning away. I just, I just got owned by a mime, dude. This is the lowest of my entire career, right there. It's I, this is one hundred percent the lowest of my career, getting owned by a mime. That's it. Bury me. It's over. Are those chickens. Are those chickens that are alive. Are those real chickens. Oh, what's going on there? Cool house in there. Yeah, best to buy a mime, dude. Nice. Mine now. Actually, we're just going to take it all. Boop, boop, boop. I love stealing. You think you could just steal that sign? I feel like I could steal it, you know? Jesus. We've got a potato. Oh, wait. The merchant's gone to bed. Let's just... Can we close that? Oh, uh, 
There we go. Just close it via telekinesis. That's fine. What can we steal? The camera's moving on its own right now, by the way. Not actually telling it to move. What is that? There's some kind of, like, magic fireplace in here? That's really interesting. Steal his shoes. Camera moved again. Riverfort Library. Soul Furnace? That's kind of cool. It's a neat item. Hi. You're like a random merchant in here. Let's go talk to him. Greetings, you're a visitor to Riverfort, so you traveled Calcundia. People like you interest me. Maybe talk a bit about the places you've been and what you've seen. Alright, what do you want to know? Where you've been latest and what was going on there? Fights, which faction's in charge, exciting gossip, that sort of thing. I'm no expert on factions and politics. I thought Calcindia was mile was a wild, empty frontier. Yeah, I think it's going to go with that one, for sure. There are no experts on factions and politics, just people who think they are. I'm from the wealthiest family in Riverfort, and even we don't know what's going on. I've, a fight's coming between the Free Legion and the Bright One, and it's my mysteries you want. If it's mysteries you want, Go talk to Ollie the Hermit on the edge of the Haunted Forest. But don't go to the trees first. Haunted Forest, dude? What do we inside this, dude? Bam. Narrow success. You sense bravery in his unwavering gaze. All right. If you need anything, visit me at my shop later. I need some rest right now. I'd like you to attack. Thurl. Or I'll get you. God damn it. Why are all my rolls so bad? I just want you to kill a man for me. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it's just a little bit of a killing. Come on. Come on. Just a, just a little bit of a killing. Come on. I'm never going to roll well. It's never going to happen, dude. Nothing will ever happen. Just, to, just kill a man. Just kill a man a little bit. I'm going to insinuate a threat. You don't do it. It's fine. Fine. Your appreciation for me is low now. It's fine. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to pick this lock while you're not looking at me. I Actually, I'm not going to pick this lock while you're not looking at me. I'm going to do nothing. All right. I'm going to do nothing and leave. If people only knew how many things you've stolen, you're a rogue. I want to hear it. Excuse me, you're all in the way? Thanks. Fair day to you. I hear you killed the Commonwealthers on the train, so the Lecturners got into Howling Valley. You're right. Can you do something for me? I want you to t attack Thurl, or I'll beat you to death. They'll do it! Go do it. As you speak, you see a startled face shift into a frown that it ends into a slow nod, followed by a firmer nod. Right then, I'll do it. Though I really don't understand why you don't do it yourself. That's right. Go beat him up. What's happening out there? She's doing it. What? Why am I in combat? You shouldn't be in combat. Get out of here. Why are you? Why did you climb through the window? <laughs> What's he doing? I need to head out for lunch, but I want to say thank you for going above and beyond playing our game. Your feedback was valuable, and your community is very welcoming and kind. I look forward to watching your streams in the future. Well, thank you very much, SHG. Thank you very, very much. It's always important to me that, like... Especially if you guys are going to do a sponsored thing. That we're able to like look at the game. And if, if there's errors or bugs or things like that. It's never a big deal. 
especially if you're in early access. Early access is your time to iron these things out. You should never be ashamed of that. Because at the end of the day, if you find them now, you won't have them later. So that's the whole point, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be ashamed of it. You guys are doing a good job. I like the world setting a whole lot. And yeah, there are bugs to work out, but it's early access. That's the point of it. And I think the world setting, the influence system that is very unique, the art style is really fantastic. The general feel of the game is really good. Oh, are we going to... Wait a minute, the fight happened. Wow. They actually fought each other. At least I think they did. Am I about to get murdered? I may be about to get murdered. Yeah, Dev W indeed. Yeah, I used to be QA in the beginning of my, my career. 2 FPS? Yeah, there's some performance issue inside of this house. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I'm wondering if it's if it's lighting related? I'm not really sure. There's a dinosaur in my way. I would like you to move. Dinosaur, please. I'm gonna stab him to death. Get out of my way! I made it! Get out of my way! It really doesn't like this house, by the way. You did QA for a bit? QA itself wasn't all that bad. Yeah, no, sometimes it can be rough working. I think we have soft locked again. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm not dropping frames, it's a bug. Yeah. It is a bug in the game. I've recently seen your short about publishers. What's your opinion on Devolver or Chucklefish? Devolver's fantastic. Every time that I've interacted with anybody that's worked with Devolver, they've loved it. 100%. And they don't take a huge amount of money. Um, I think the last deals that I saw were like 10 to 15%, which normally the industry standard is 30 to 70. So, yeah. The shirts on YouTube about it? Yeah, there are. I think it has crashed again. Yeah, it's... it's Oh! Maybe not? Maybe it didn't crash? Maybe it's just stuck in that slow mode state? Could be slow mode. Besides Buggy, how's the game so far? I really like the world setting. I like the influence system. I like the way the characters interact. The faction system is pretty interesting. We Our, our first faction system encounter, we got to choose four different routes, which was kill everybody involved, kill one faction, kill the other faction, or kill nobody. And all of those could lead to different storyline. And it immediately shows you that like the game allows you to choose things in a very organic way, which is quite a bit different than most games, where they're like, say yes, no, maybe kill the guy or don't kill the guy, and you like choose it. So, with this, you actually do it through interaction, which I, I think is quite nice, frankly. And yeah, I think it's really good. The Power World meta has ended. No, it hasn't. I'm going to be playing that eventually again. Just not today. Today we had this, you know. And I was working on a whole bunch of other stuff earlier today. Yeah, you can kill everyone in the fight. You totally could. There'd be nothing wrong with that. Yeah, a lot of work still, but a first glimpse. Seem it has great potential, so big thumbs up. I agree with that. I agree with that. Narrative-wise, I can see a lot of Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium was mostly about the internal struggle, mind struggle. This one is more about what does it mean when you interact with someone? What does it mean when you threaten someone? What does it mean when you influence someone in a way? And how does that echo outwards, right? Let's say that we get one person and we find out that he's got like a secret lover. And then we force that dude to go fight your rival. Now the heat is on him, but how does that change the environment, right? How does that change the interactions between all the other characters? So it kind of cascade effects outwards, which is sort of interesting. I think I think that's that's something we really haven't seen a lot of because it's very hard to set up. And it looks like they've done a good job setting that up. We just have bugs like this that are kind of holding it back right now, which makes sense. Early access does that. But yeah. Overall, I had a fun time with this. I had a good one. So, I'm going to stop this stream here. But, we're going to find somebody to raid. 
I think it has a lot of potential. I do. If you want to find out more about this, I've actually got it in the Discord, in an announcement in there. That is in the Discord. It's also up on Twitter. And you can see it here. Don't be all. It's okay. I'll be back on tomorrow. Don't worry. I have some stuff to do today, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So check that out there. You find it out there. Yeah, thanks for the stream. Anytime, dude. And thank you, devs, for being here. Your game is quite cool. You may have bugs to fix, but don't don't lose heart. You've got some really interesting bones on this game. You really do. You just got to keep it up. Keep working on it. So your most recent short about Power World? I was wondering if you know why Nintendo hasn't gone after PokeMMO. I don't know. That's up to Nintendo. They're the rights holders, right? All right. So, who are we going to find a raid today? Who's this going to be? Who are we going to find a raid today? Who are we going to find a raid today? Oh, I know who we're going to raid today. We're going to raid Jackie Codes. Jackie Codes is one of our buddies. Awesome as hell. Fantastic human being. Currently coding in what I believe... Yeah, it looks like Godot today. And they're doing the last day of the game jam. Which is our game jam to try and submit their stuff. So, definitely, definitely raiding them. Over on YouTube side, I'm going to give you guys this right here. There you go. There's a link to that. We're going to do a link over here as well. Jackie Coates is awesome. She's really rad. I actually tried to nominate her for the Streamer Awards. And if you haven't voted on the Streamer Awards yet, please do so. I am up for an award for software and game development from you guys. So please vote. And not just for me. Vote for all the people in the Streamer Awards. Go do that. As many as you can. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I'll be back tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, God. I crashed to the wrong side. <laughs> The message is going to be, uh, show us your work. And bongos. Just a million bongos. Bye, everybody. You have a good one.